In any case, we're back to it. Pokemon Radical Red. I mean, we've heard the heard me talking about the start of this every time. What are we going to do first? Well, I need to grab some Pokemon. So I'm going to grab... Ooh, I think Brelix is the one that does the Pokemon nabbing. And I will journey with just Brelix in case I somehow get blindsided by something. I can't imagine we would, but let's be prudent, shall we? Danimo is going down a hero, if they even go down at all. I cannot believe how much I was saved by electric types last time. <laughs> Beaten by Surge so much that I've become Surge. Now where's Brelix? There you are, down there with the... the BR trio. Let's get you out right there. And Brel uh, Borm here is untouched. So Brelix has the ability to bring a Pokemon down to one hit point. False swipe, that's it. Not that powerful, but given the level difference, I imagine you're going to murder whatever we come across. Now, I need to get a bunch of Pokemon. I can't remember their name, but I'm sure I'll find them in Mount Moon. I think I'll find them in Mount Moon. So let's go there. Tyrogue. Thank you, Tyrogue. Somebody explained to me how the evolutions worked, and I managed to forget all about it, so hopefully I'll get it all sussed out. Because apparently this is the only way to get Hitmonchee, uh, Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee in this game. So where is it at? Timepole? No? Where's Tyrogue? There's Tyrogue. Ooh, he's pretty far down the list. Let's register you and try and suss out where you are. Or maybe we just randomly find you? No, that's our good friend, Geodude. Yeah, I'm not, not having any of this nonsense. I've spent so much time in Mount Moon looking for one thing or another. Clefairy, Moonstones, Soft Sand, Hard Rocks. Anyway, um, I think the first thing I should ever do is just lob a Quick Ball. I have a ton of them. Seems a bit overpowered, these quick ball. Oh, well, I say that and it just immediately breaks free. Alright then, Brelix, it's time for Ultra Violence. Just swipe the thing. Probably quite ineffective due to type difference, but as long as it keeps it alive, we're okay. Oh, what a joke. Right, get in the ball. One needs to be more attack than defense, the other needs to be attack less than defense. They evolve it. 20. Cheers. Sounds like we're going to have a bit of a force feeding program. Wow, this thing does not want to be caught. Maybe it has some kind of high resistance to the Pokeballs, or maybe I'm just getting very unlucky. Whatever the case, I just keep lobbing them. I'm sure I'll catch one eventually. Although I need two. Rombic, we have just started. We've been live for eight minutes. We have not defeated Giovanni. Well, not this time. We beat him before in the game's corner, but this is Sylphco. Come on, it has one hit point. How is it holding up against my barrage of Pokeballs? Oh, it, it does... It is not interested in being my slave here. One, two... Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this is all sorts of childhood frustration rising up. This guy's putting up more of a fight than Heldon did. An excellent point. Yep, that's Brelix, all right. That's right, down plus B, that's what I'm missing out on. There we go. 100% of the time works every time. We'll, we'll name them when we get our Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. I won't take names just yet. I remember trying to capture Zapdos or uh, Articuno and losing... 50 Ultra Balls and 20 minutes in the process, says TBW. Well, I only have one shot at it, so let's hope I don't muck it up. 
because I'm almost certainly going to want those legendaries. Then again, Flying Ice is probably a terrible, terrible type. Oh, there we go. The second one was very nice and compliant, and it was an even higher level. Wait, it was a higher level. Is that a problem? Does it only evolve at level 23? Let's have a look at your summary right now. It's all the same. Huh. What happens if it's all the same? Well, let's see what we can do with nature first. It's a bit expensive, but what you gonna do? Uh -huh. If it's all the same, it becomes a new mon- Ugh, not having any of that. Um, so let's take your nature and make you full-on attack. So Tyrogue has more attack than defense. So if I give you a... hang on. Giving is not the same as using, is it? Give, take, move, cancel. Okay, now I need to go into my bag then. Reach into the purse, grab the old rare candy. I need to top up from my PC there. And let's see if we can get ourselves a Hitmon something or other. Mm. Oh yeah, that's Hitmon Lee. Now, I don't really regard either of these Pokémon as particularly useful, but I need all the Pokémon I can get to send into the meat grinder. <laughs> don't trust the eyes. Alright, double kick for you. I don't know what your moveset starts out with. Ooh, I do like Fake Out, though. Fake Out's really nice. Um, we don't like Foresight. The idea of Hitmon Chan learning all the punches is quite appealing, though. He'll have good coverage. It's just the punches aren't that powerful. Surely he gets something better. Okay, now then there's a slight issue of you, Tyrog. You already have boosted... Ah, oh, I should have evolved you then. Crumbs, you already had the boosted attack. But I'd want to change your nature anyway. Because that seems like a pretty crummy nature. So, Tyrog, you will be... Defense up, and anything down, because I will definitely be switching this out. Well, maybe I won't. Might be nice to have a Pokémon with some actual defense for a change. My Pokémon like to get slaughtered. So, let's rare candy up the Tyrogue. Yes, 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 yes. 1000% blitz through it. And, huh? It's evolving? Jake, what failed Pokemon do you miss the most? Ooh. Arbok. Our s -s -s Spengler Arbok. Whoa, Hitmonchan looks a lot less happy than I remember from Gen 1. Maybe he was done dirty, or maybe he's angry that he's still in his skirt. Match Punch. Never heard of it. Fighting type. Certain to strike. Well, that is good. We're keeping that. A priority attack on my fighter? Yes, please. Excellent. Alright, who wants to be Hitmonchan and who wants to be Hitmon Lee? I'll give them the names and then I will deal with them accordingly. But Hitmonchan, I should probably switch out to be uh, punchy. I'll drop their special attack and increase their punching abilities. Bye bye, money. At least I'm in the area for slaughtering more Meowths. Attack up, special attack down, sounds about right. Go figure it's the most popular, it's at the top of the list. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Whoa, we we're very lucky there. So Death Shed wants to be punching things and they just barely have the right length for it. Death. Oh, they keep it all lowercase. Death. And who's going to kick some ass? If indeed our Hitmon Lee could kick anything. Now we're going to call you Calmest. 
the, both of these Pokemon look pretty cheesed off, but we'll, we'll go with Calmest. Focus your fury into the foot, not to your head. So, what to do with them? Well, something I want to check. I My level list tells me that my new level cap should be 57, which is only one above what it is right now, so let's go and quickly kill something. Okay, yeah, we, we can go up one level then. That raises our cap to 57. This is what I do when I do my level ups. I bring them up, but then I check. Kill something else, and... Oh, don't, don't play with your food there, Bunnery. Oh, I think we might have learned a lesson there. You somehow didn't kill it. Maybe it's sturdy. I will punch the thing. Or maybe that's what Endure is doing. Couldn't you just use Endure forever? Or is it something that stops working after a while? Sounds like you could use it if you're bringing on a lot of attacks in a double fight. Protect. Protect moves have an increased failure chance as you keep using them. Okay, all of them. Alright, so that one EXP point confirms that we are now at the level cap, so 57 is what we can push people up to. Now, I have the list, and I have no reason not to trust the list, except the list once didn't have the level cap of... who was it? It was either Brock or Misty. So I am making sure, first and foremost. Might as well bring these Pokémon way up. Uh, what is faint? Hits a protected target. Yeah, nah, screw that. Surely we're not going to fight against Pokémon that end up using things like Protect Walls. Seven, eight, nine... Ooh, I love Sucker Punch. Boosts the power of the allies. Nah, forget that. I'm sure we won't have any more pair battles. God, I love Sucker Punch, though. Although I might give Sucker Punch to Death Shed instead of his other priority attack. Mind Reader. The user predicts the foe's action to ensure that... No, 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 no. Yeah, we just had a pair of battle against... Who was it? Archer and Ariana? That's what my notes tell me, at least. And I have a lot of notes. I don't think I've ever done a stream that has this many notes involved in it. Possibly I have, but nothing comes to mind. Pokemon lists, item lists... The type chart, my setting date and time. The user protects itself and all its allies from wide range to... Yeah, no, forget that. Look, I just want you to be heavy hitting. I don't want any of these fancy schmancy attacks on you, Calmest. Blaze kick, now we're talking. High critical hit ratio may burn the foe. I like that. I like it more than I like tackle, for sure. RF5 notes? Mm, I don't think so. Of course, it had the dictionary, but I wouldn't exactly call that a notebook. 8, 9, endure. I mean, I like the sound of that, but... In the end, you're just sacrificing your turn. Sounds like it'd be very good in a team battle, but that's about it. One thing I should do is save, just in case I mess this up and overlevel. I'm not accepting any overleveling for this run. Although, once I... If I get to the Elite Four... A lot of rules are going to be thrown out the window. In fact, perhaps even every rule will be thrown out the window. Because that looks like a lot of pain. Thankfully, they learn fewer moves as we level them up. Although we get to high kick. Isn't this the one that can miss and damage you? I might take it just for the... Uh, dare I say the lols. If it misses, the user is hurt. Yeah, get rid of get rid of that. You have your priority move with Sucker Punch. And Dark. Eh. It's so so against most things and really ravages those psychic types and ghost types. Right, so there's you at 57 now for Death Shed to catch up. And I think unless it is a punching move, I don't want it. Because he's got a priority fighting move, and then I want the uh, the elemental punches on him. Ice punch Oh, but you can't learn ice and fire punch together. Hmm. 
I don't have a lot of fire coverage, sadly, but I do love ice. Protects itself and its allies from priority attacks. I do hate priority attacks, but I'd hate to spend a turn defending against those. Two, three, four, five, six. Chan didn't get Frisk. He got an ability that boosts punch moves. Oh, well that does sound good. So does Thunder Punch. Thunder has carried me through a lot of things. And it may paralyze. Well, we're good at paralyzing, so let's bring on the Thunder Punch. Oh, and we're bringing on the Ice Punch as well. That's great coverage. Electric and Ice. That kills water, it kills grass, it kills ground, it kills flying, it kills dragon. And on top of that, fighting kills normal, and ice, and rock, and dark, and steel. Oh, death shed here. Making me a little hot under the collar here. I hope your stats just aren't garbage. Your, your hit points certainly look pretty bad. Oh, but do we, do we bring fire punch into everything? Fire would hurt grass, but ice covers that. It hurts uh, grass. Sorry, let me try again. Fire hurts ice, but fighting covers that. Fire hurts grass, but ice covers that. It hurts bug, but when do you ever fight strong bug Pokemon? And it hurts steel, but so does fighting. And fighting gets the stab. He might get bullet punch, a steel move. Ooh, this is getting difficult to decide. And I want to keep Fake out, just because it's so good for getting that first hit in. Curiously, is there any fighting move that lets you back out? A physical fighting move, not the buff up one. We saw Incineroar use some kind of buff move that also lets you retract the Pokémon. I've become quite fond of those kinds of attacks. Uppercut. Yeah, too risky. Misses too often. What else do we have? 42, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mega Punch. Muscle packed power now. Way too, way too likely to miss. 7, 8, 9, 50. Oh, you're hurting me here. I love Sucker Punch. Strike first if the foe's readying an attack. They almost always are. I like Dark as a type, it covers against... Well, I wouldn't fight a Psychic with you anyway, because you'd die to that. Which leaves you against Ghost. And... Hmm. How often are we really going to be fighting Ghosts? Isn't Sabrina a Ghost one? That might be important. <laughs> Sucker Punch is better than Fake Out. But Fake Out gets you that shot without anything. And Sabrina's Psychic. Well, all the better, Dark Murder's Psychic. But I, why would I bring in Death Shed against uh, Psychic Pokemon? Heavens no. It's a lot stronger than Fake Out. But Fake Out's just lovely for that free hit. Although that's so... No, it's only usable in first turn, right? That's not good enough. Get rid of that, and then you'll have nothing but punches. And that will that will still work as your priority move. Because the enemies are almost always going to be using some sort of attack. Four, five, six. Focus punch. An attack that is executed last the user fl oh heavens no. Heavens no. I bet that can be worked together. I'm told that there's an item that ups your priority or something like that on all your attacks. Somebody said it's used in competitive play. Alright, there you go, Death Shed. I think that's as good as we'll have you. And let's check out what these abilities are on them. You should absolutely have the expert belt with all those different kinds of attacks on you. Boosts punching moves. Does anyone know how much that boosts it? As for you, Calmest. Double speed if item is lost. That sounds terrible. I wonder if I can switch that to your other ability. Maybe it's a lot better. Where are those things? Mm, I forget what it was called. Some kind of fancy looking stone thing. Ability pill. If I use that on Calmest, I could change them to Reckless. 
Don't know what Reckless is. But we'll go for it because the other one seemed pretty useless. Boost smooth with recoil? Well, that's. that's even less use. None of these have recoil. Unless it counts high jump kick, but I doubt it does. Not really sold on Calmest here, but if I could get the expert belt on Death Shed, which I think I will, they'll prove quite useful. Alright, grand. That's certainly a start. I'll ditch you guys in the PC for. Actually, no. I need to think about fighting uh, Giovanni right now. Punch based attacks have 1.3x power. I believe Sucker Punch is boosted in the ROM hack. Should expect so. It is a punch. Right, 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 right. What do we know about Giovanni? He loves ground type Pokemon and he has a Mega Gangaskhan. We were able to defeat Gangaskhan before by utilizing Sabletooth, our Aerodactyl. I suspect we will try that again today. Mm, I'm quite keen on testing out Death Shed. I have a bad feeling about Giovanni, says Bernd. We beat him first time we saw him last time. You're not that fast, dear Death Shed, but I do love that coverage. Really love that coverage. That Mega Genghis Khan, though. I might use my attack that switches it out so it doesn't buff up. That way our Dragonite could take it on quite handily. I don't recall knowing any ice moves, but that's... That just means I don't remember if it did. <laughs> this time Giovanni might use a Mega Stone to turn into Mega Giovanni. That would be a whole load of... Whole load of nonsense right there. But the one thing is, I don't think any enemy is going to have multiple Mega Stones. I don't have any Mega Stones though. What's, what's up with that? Why they gotta do me like this? Get out of Strike 1. You're not Strike 1, you're fresh. Right, I do think Dragonite could help us out here, especially that uh, tail attack to slap the uh, Genghis Khan away if it goes grim. Unfortunately, normal type is not reduced damage against Dragon. Uh, neither is fighting, oddly enough. And Power Up Punch is a fighting type move. That could be a problem. Um, thinking about what else destroys normal type. It's really just fighting. And fighting is equal against fighting. If I had a... Someone with fighting moves that could beat him up. Well, yeah, you know, I've got Dragonite, but... Hmm. Unsure, unsure. I also don't know how fast that thing is, although I recall Aerodactyl being faster. Might bring in Rhydon. Rhydon... Ah, that double weakness to grass is hilarious. You die so easily. But you have a pretty nice bunch of moves available there. Gotta remember though, I'm probably gonna fight some ground types here. Ground types won't like water, grass, or ice, none of which you have. So maybe I should leave you at home for now. There is also Aether, which can be switched in to uh, completely ignore any normal or fighting type. Although, if I kill you off, I'm gonna be very sad because I want to have Mega Gengar at some point. Well, whatever. Get on the team. Your, your utility is the only ghost-type Pokémon from Gen 1. Could really help me. Speaking of really helping me, seems risky to bring our beloved electric types into the Frey Bentos, but they did really well before. Really well before. Mega Gengar just dies to ground moves. Uh, I'm just thinking if that Genghis Khan comes out. I'm often thinking about that Mega Genghis Khan. Cursed JJ's around there with ice. But ice is your type. And ice is pretty weak against a lot of things. We could have Mosmoris fight fighting with fighting. Mosmoris has some nice coverage going on. Ice Punch is there for the groundy ones. Finally have a bit of fire on my side. Mosmori's got wrecked. Yeah, Mosmori's frequently gets wrecked, but Mosmori's... We always win when Mosmori's is on the team. 
and he won't ever miss with cross chop. Never ever. He's even stepping up in chat saying he will punch anything into the ground. Potentially including himself, but we'll bring you onto the team. Wouldn't mind a bit of water type for once. Maybe I could bring in Golduck, that'll cover Psychic as well. I don't often use you, Golduck. And I feel a little bad for that, but only a little. Why do I lower your defense, though? I should lower your physical attack. Even though Flip Turn is physical. That's ah, nice to have Flip Turn, though. I really do like Flip Turn. It's such a troll move. Yeah, I think we'll bring you out. Bit of a ragtag bunch, this. I reckon they could make something come. Come together, that is. Ooh, need some items in here. What do I want on Aerodactyl? Do I want the flying or do I want the rocks? Dragon Fang, Expert Belt, Black Belt. Ah, I know you like having Expert Belt. I'm actually going to take that and give it to Death Shed. And you... And you. I need to think about the items to give them. My life expectancy ain't looking good. Listen, Victory Bell, our bell cat, and our Electrode, and our Magneton are all still alive despite taking big heavy fights on their last life. Have some balls there, Moss Morris. Or else you're raising your own red flags here. Right, not to lose sight of the situation here. Flying or rocks? I'm a little less sold on Fly these days, because it gives the opportunity for the enemy to switch out Pokémon. I'm not the biggest fan of that. However, if it means he's going to switch out his Mega Genghiscan and lose his buffs, that's quite good for me. And why do you have Ancient Power? It's Special Attack. I need to switch out Ancient Power with another Rock move, or maybe, maybe some other kind of Bite. But I think I will boost your Fly attack. I think I took the sharp beak off of you. I need to get more of those. And as for you, Ether, it's hard to say. You have a lot of coverage, including grass. I might actually boost your grass. They would never see a grass attack coming out of you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. What boosts grass again? Mm, rock, electric, grass, the miracle seed. God knows I have more of those than I need. You wanted Ancient Power for the self-buffs? Maybe, but no. It's too... it's too unpredictable. It's way too unpredictable, and it's not really going to do much damage with our pathetic special attack. Now, where are my flying boosters? There we go, Sharp Beak. Take it. Give it to Sably. And... I need to change the nature of who exactly. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. Or is it? Physical, 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 physical. Yeah, that's fine. Mostly keeping you around there for that dragon tail to kick a Pokemon out if I don't want to have to deal with them. Otherwise, though, going for some... Don't like the mischance on a lot of your attacks there, ICPT. You could let me down big time. Still, though, your natures are fine. Special attack up and defense da uh, attack down is a bit of a shame for Sucker Punch. But Sucker Punch is just there to be a real irritation for the enemy. Spengler knew how to use it. Yeah, it's Crash Bite. Crash Bite needs special attack up and attack down. Because they don't... Flip turns their physical attack, and that's more of an annoyance than a damage dealer. So we'll switch you out a bit. Bye bye money again. So special attack up, physical attack down. And lastly, we need to level them up. How long have we been going for? 34 minutes. We're almost ready to take a fight. Almost. Naturally, Jorlam, I would not forget the rare candies. Well, I'm at a night to bring out some more of them. Everyone can go up to thir uh, 57, but not a hair higher. Hopefully we don't learn any new uh, abilities, because otherwise that's going to make me question what I'm doing. It's also worth considering 
should I change any of their special abilities? I don't want to change Mosmorises or Death Sheds. But what about the other? Oh man, here we go. Dynamic Punch. What is your Dynamic Punch? Hopefully it does a ton of damage and always misses. It does a ton of damage, always misses. It confuses the foe if it hits. That... Oh. Would we rather have a high crit ratio, or would we, would we rather confuse our foes? Confusion is like a, what, 1 in 3, 1 in 4 chance of your enemy losing a turn? But crit ratio... What do you think, Mosmoris? You are the champion here. Would you rather have a good chance of high crit, or would you rather have a guaranteed confusion? Always confusion is, uh... Well, it does nothing other than gives you that slight chance of them ditching their turn. I do like the sound of dynamic punch as well. There we go. Goodbye, cross chop. Now, confusion's pretty bad, but... Mosmoris' choice, whether it gets us all killed or not, is on them. Okay, good enough. Although I would love it if somebody could find out the actual odds for confusion causing self-harm. 50 accuracy is normally worthless. You are correct about that, no more. However, our beloved Mosmoris here has a wee ability that ensures all moves land, including moves against them. So this could be the end of Mos Moris. Don't think anybody else's life is on the line, though. Oh yeah, no, okay. Crash Bite's life is on the line. That's alright. They, they like it that way. All these abilities are so hard to keep up with. Alright, this will be our last dealings with Sylphco, I hope. And would you believe it, I remember the way. You go up to the third floor, you go down, left, down, left. Take this teleporter. Remember how badly we crushed Helden here in his so-called dojo. He sounded so proud. And now we can go through here. Let's think about who's going when. Oh, crikey, why am I not using a sacrificial Pokemon to feel it out? This is a bad idea. We should at least know what we're fighting first. Abandon ship. Someone's gonna die so that we can figure out what's going on here. We better know our enemy. 33% chance to hit oneself in confusion. Thank you. That 1 in 3 sounds a lot better than 1 in 4. Okay. Giovanni's wondering why somebody opened his door and just scurried away. Prudence, that's why. I, I might as well just shove them in the ready to kill Giovanni box, which is now this box. Now, who's gonna die for us? Just take one on the chin. Who are we practically never using? Who's useless to us? I am eyeing up that Eevee. Everyone in Strike 2 has generally had a use. Except Baron, I suppose. But we might be able to break Baron some way. As much as we like Seeking, I mean, what possible use do we have for a straight up water type with such low stats? I mean, sure, there's soap to change type, but... Yeah, Drello. This is going to be your greatest sacrifice. It would be tempting to put in another Pokémon that actually forces the enemy to switch there, so I know what else they have. But I don't think there's any point in taking two strikes for nothing. Alright, Seeking, figure out what they're all about. How about Butterfree? Butterfree could yet be useful, so we're keeping them around. Bug is not terribly common in Gen 1, although I'll probably get a Scyther, which will nullify all my need for bugs. No deaths yet, Danimo. But don't worry, you get to eat the bench this time. Other people can sweat instead of you. 
and I sincerely doubt your electric steel abilities are going to be useful against this ground type wielding Pokemaster. Well, I will give you a fighting chance, Sea King. There you go, Yadrello. You can enjoy fighting with your maximum strength. Oh, we're getting blocked here. We meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. No, I'll back away, Giovanni. No problem. Good lord, he looks so cool and evil. Right, Hippodon. Looks like a, a, a ground steel type, maybe? And he changes the terrain to be sandy? Or does that just do something else? Maybe it keeps you stuck where you are. Interestingly enough, couldn't have asked for a better opportunity to be smashing you with uh, Waterfall. That's if we get to go first, and I doubt we do. Yeah, hmm. Get out of here. Can't imagine Earthquake will do much to us. Can't imagine it'll do much to us. That's weather, not terrain. Is it something like you can't switch during a sandstorm, or does it just keep hurting you? Unless I get a crit, this thing's not, uh, not going to go down. In fact, we will be the ones going down. It just does damage, really? Nothing else? It seems like ground Pokémon are unaffected, though. Lowers accuracy? Oh, that's not a thing here. Did that second waterfall do a lot more damage than the first? Alright, still, we know what we're dealing with here. Perhaps bringing a water type... Well, no, if it's ground, then we can kill it with a whole bunch of things. Ground could be taken out by water, or grass, or ice. All of which we have in abundance. <laughs> Giovanni's taking my money off of me. Go away. You have plenty of money. Has a lot of physical defense, really? I mean, Waterfall, I think, is special damage, is it not? It probably just has a lot of hit points. It's a freaking hippo, after all. Which, thinking about it, there are no hippos in Rimworld. Let's see. Well, I'll be damned. Waterfall's physical. Strange. Oh, well, what can you do? Well, you took one for the team, Yadrello, and you've uncovered the secrets. We're going to be hit by a sandstorm, and we are going to be dealing with at least one ground Pokémon to start us off with, so surely we can be ready for it. There's your Mark of Honor. And I need to bring out the team. <laughs> it's not a horrible thing. I bet Yadrello wanted their shining moment in the game, but no, they're just cast aside like this to suss out what we're dealing with. Hurts non-ground or steel types, removes other weather types. Some Pokemon have abilities that key off weather, like your Golduck. It does. Swift Swim raises speed in rain. Ah, okay, well, we're not dealing with rain here, are we? Still, though, Crash Bite might be able to do something really nasty to that, uh... To that hippopotamus-like thing. It would be the last thing Crash Bite ever does, though. I'm quite certain they would die afterwards. Although, what kind of move would Crash Bite use? He'd probably use Earthquake against, uh, no, sorry, the, the that thing, whatever it is, the hippo, would probably use some sort of Earthquake, which I could deploy Sabletooth against, and then Sable would not be affected by it. Or ICPT, neither would be affected by it, because they're flying. And then I could finish it off with, uh... Hmm. It's, a, it's pretty slow. Ice Punch. Ice Punch would probably destroy the thing. One of Golduck's other abilities negates weather. Does it remove the weather, or does it just not affect the, si uh, the Golduck? Because that's a very different thing. Aether has Levitate. I don't really want to risk Aether's life in there. Your defense ain't so hot. 
and that's assuming that a ground attack is coming. If it's something else, you could be in a lot of danger. I do like your Giga Drain, though, and it is boosted. I have a lot of options, but uh, if I fail, I'm going to be losing quite a few of the team here. Well, I'll lose two of the team. Mm. Sable could also bite that bugger to death, couldn't it? Yeah, the Ice Fang might miss. That's always the risk that we take. Cloud Nine is the ability. It negates weather only for the time your Pokémon is out. As soon as you switch, the weather's back. Thanks, that's the confirmation I was looking for. Okay, so, figure that. Crash Bite will go first, and we'll immediately switch out for something else with its Watery Jet attack, which I hope doesn't have a lower priority. Uh, I think it's just normal priority, although I have no way of knowing just by looking at it here. It's one of my complaints with the game is the need of a Bulbapedia just to figure out things. So, 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 so... I'd probably switch out for... Aerodactyl. That Ice Fang might be quite nice. Then again... Rocks are not very effective against dragons, are they? Mmm, it's, it's normal. Normal against dragons. So it would be double damage on Dragonair. Yeah, well. It's going to be an adventure, right? We didn't know what we were going to be fighting against Heldon, and even though he broke out his Mega Charizard, we won. And it was the same story when we first fought Giovanni and his Mega Genghis Khan. Let's get to it. You don't want to live forever, do you, Mosmoris? We don't save scum, but it makes me feel a lot better if I just save. Mm. Well, we're as good as we'll ever be. One by the skin of your teeth, let's not forget that. And the skin of my teeth is all I need, Heldon, to beat you. I don't care about living, I care about winning, says Mosmer. Now there's a good, good approach. He's only got five Pokémon, we have the numerical advantage from the very start. I wonder if this Sandstorm does less damage against something that uh, tends to resist it, like rock. Maybe it's normal damage? Whatever the case, I really think Flip Turn is the best thing I can do. I anticipate that it's going to use a... Oh, that wasn't too shabby at all. I anticipate it's going to use a ground attack. It will have Stab there, and I can't imagine it would use something else that Crash Bite would be weak to. A fighting move isn't impossible, but with a flyer, that's not a problem. Any of these three will do. I'm thinking Sabletooth. But maybe I want to save Sabletooth for Genghis Khan. Maybe. But ICPT is too dangerous to just lose early on as well. It doesn't damage rock, ground, or steel. We're rock type. Does it uh, go away after five turns like the terrain change does? Ice Punch doesn't miss. There's that to consider as well. Yeah, whatever. Sabletooth, get out there. Yes, it goes away. Wonderful. All right, Sable, I'm counting on you and your icy teeth. Yeah, exert that pressure for all the nothing it does. Ooh, rocks! How long does that last? Because that hurts if I switch out. Hmm, that's not very nice, is it? Oh well, bite it to death, which might work, might not work. It doesn't have stab. And it's physical. Oh my goodness, that was not as good as I'd hoped, but when in doubt, just freeze your enemy. Hey, I could have an opportunity to use Ancient Power to boost myself. I can't believe I didn't get rid of it, but it might be an excellent opportunity whilst Hippo Down is frozen. I assume when it unfreezes, it gets, uh, gets to use its turn as well, but... This could be my opportunity to buff and sweep. Jake, that is a trap. What do you mean, that's a trap? 
I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it could be the one turn wake up. Can anybody figure out what freeze does? How many turns do I have to play around with this? That's why it's smart to one hit KO Hippo down so no stealth rock. Oh, that doesn't sound very nice at all. Still, I think it'll die if I iron fang it again. But it might not. Hmm. I should take the opportunity to try and buff up, see what happens. Yeah, oh, you would withdraw. Steel, huh? Well, that didn't do much. And I didn't buff up. Okay, now why would he have sent out this thing? It looks to be ground steel. Ice is half effective against steel. Why would it bring that out? Mm. Steel attacks are very effective against rock. And I don't think they're anything particularly special against flying. So it's going to hit me with some steel. Probably. I could fly, but I'm not going to hurt it much with flying. Looking up, frozen has a random chance to unfreeze, guaranteed of thaw of fire. Okay, but... I'm assuming it's a random chance to defrost after a certain amount of time. Steel is not very good against fire or water or electric or other steel. I should probably switch out to one of those. Crash bite is an option. Water is so-so uh, against steel, but pretty good against ground. Is there any weaknesses shared between ground and steel? Ground gets pounded by... Water, grass, and ice. None of those overlap with steel. Crash bite might be the best option. Can switch you in and then do another switch out. One of your fighting types? <laughs> get Moss Morris in there. Sounds too risky. I don't want to throw you in just to get butchered there. I'll throw in Crash bite and then flip turn out, I think. There's that steel. Shouldn't be too effective. It isn't. Man, we are going to be taking a lot of passive damage in this. Bit of a shame. <sighs> I could just go all in and say that Crash Bite is going to die here rather than try and switch out. Scald is pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll go for the Scald. Go figure they're faster than us. That's a stabby ground attack, but hopefully we can hold on. We cannot. Dang. Right, right. Something's going to need to beat this thing up. Moss Mori's might be just that thing. He could certainly... I could certainly dynamic punch that thing pretty damn hard. Also, that's good by Crash Bite forever. True. Mm, go for it, Mosmoris. Oh wow, you actually take damage when you flip in like that as well. That is rough stuff. Okay, dynamically punch it and see what happens. It goes first, it earthquakes, stab, but not super effective. Double speed in the sand... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, slow down there. Nobody said you could be hitting me that hard. Phew. Nicely done, Moss Morris, but your end could be coming here. What are you bringing out? Poltergeist. Sounds like a, a ghostly type. We don't have a lot to deal with that. What's it going to use against us? <laughs> it's freaking teapot again, go figure. Right. Moss Morris will die if you take a turn, but I might be able to switch out and anticipate what you'll hit me with. You might go with Psychic, and I don't have really anything to, uh, to buffet that back with. What kind of moves does Poltergeist have? If you hit me with a ghostly attack, I don't know what to make of that. 
And it's probably faster than us as well. Mosmoris might just have to die for this. Probably better just to have you die than uh, than switch out. Fighting won't hurt at all, but a bit of ice punch might freeze it. Shadow ball. I'm assuming that's a ghost move, and I am not assuming. I am knowing that Moss Morris is gone forever. Bye bye, my champ. What ghost types are buffeted by a sandstorm? Now I've seen it all. Now, Ghost is super effective against Ghost. Are we going to be faster than it by using Aether? It's a freaking teapot. It can't be that fast. And if we used Shadow Ball, we would surely kill it. But it could kill us similarly with a Shadow Ball. I could Sucker Punch it. Dark does double against Ghost. But the question is, who's going to be faster? Anybody know a thing or two about this teapot? Maybe it has low physical defense. Then again, Aether doesn't have good attack. I'm thinking if I go in first with a Shadow Ball, I should be able to kill it. Alright, Aether. Big risk, but let's take it. Sucker Punch always goes first, but I don't think it would be enough to kill Poltergeist. So, let's get that Shadow Ball going. Oh, you tricky biscuit. You knew what was coming. Hello, Genghis Khan. Nice to see you. Oh, right. Ghost doesn't work on normal. Sandstorm is gone. Now, we know what's coming here. Genghis Khan is going to react to the Mega Stone. And then is going to hit with Power Up Punch. Twice. Probably. My best bet is to switch right now over to ICPT and kick that thing out of here with our tail. Or... Ah, dear, jeez, hmm. I don't have anything that's particularly effective here now, do I? Yeah, Ghost is immune to fighting, so it wouldn't use that, but it would certainly use it afterwards. Question is, what is it going to use? I bet it knows some ground attack that it'll hit me with. All the more reason to bring in a Pokemon which is flying like ICPT and kick you out of here. Also, we're levitating. Why did the sharp stones on the floor hurt us? Why did they hurt you? Also, why did it do so much damage? Man, that thing needs to be one shot so it can't do that. They're floating sharp stones though, I understand now. Crunch, there's that dark move. Oh, that's bad. That's pretty bad. I would like you to not be here anymore. Oh, it's faster than us. Oh no, oh no, this is going much worse than the last fight with Giovanni. It is still normal type though. Man, I wish Moss Morris was here to put you in your place. Blinding speed, certain to hit first. I'm not sure that's going to be enough. But it does have that stab and weakness thing. Sucker punch into Mac punch. Wouldn't I rather Mac punch first? Oh, damn. Damn those stones. They did a lot less to Death Shed, though. Good old Ice Punch is always there for me if I want to go for that Risky Freeze, but... Um, could try... The Ice Punch will tell me if it is stronger than me or not. Ah, I could take the risk on that. They're not stronger, faster. It is certainly faster. And it's getting those buffs going. I think it's time for the sweep. So let's ice it. That was not icing it. Also, you're faster than me. 
Stones count as rock damage. Ah. Charizard famously loses half of its health when it gets switched in. Okay, so we have a small problem here, which is a very big problem. I need to try my... Oh no, it's going to be twice as powerful now. It's going to do twice as much damage as it just did there. And it already did uh, 41 to 3. And it's going to go up even more. Uh-oh. Oh well, let's go for that Mac Punch. Oh, that's much better. Should have done two of those. Damn it, Death Jed just couldn't hold on. However, Aerodactyl is likely faster than you, so I can just take you out in one shot. Or to put it another way, if we're not faster than it, I want some money back. Ah, cripes. Those stones hurt so much. He's probably going to pull Kangaskhan back. So I'll try the Ice Fang. Oh, he didn't. I'm surprised. Oh, it didn't kill him? Oh dear, that's weaker than I thought. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe you're just stronger than I thought. Alright, well, at least I have Sucker Punch to go first with. Alright, he's still got a lot of problems for me. We're assuming that we're going to be faster than it and Shadow Ball the Poltergeist. Time for the sweep, Aether. Nice. Okay, what else you got? What is that? What is a Garchomp? Well, it's something I'm not very effective against, that's for sure. Uh, what types are those even? Is that dark or ghost or dragon with ground? It is Death Incarnate. Well, I could do with a bit more details than just Death Incarnate. It is Dragon Ground. Dragon? Well, Ground bounces out with a Giga Drain, but I might be able to survive if I hit you with uh, Giga Drain first. No, it's faster than me. Uh-oh. Well, I'm dead. Or am I? Well, almost certainly, but still... Sucker Punch with a critical hit? Could happen. Oh dear lord, it did nothing. What is that? What is that? <laughs> oh dear lord. And its speed goes up? And defense goes down when it- okay. That was a scary team. Very scary team. But at least we know it, and I feel pretty good about taking it on another time, except we've we've lost some folks. Gonna need to keep a Pokemon with ice to take out Garchomp. Well, ice is good against Dragon. And it doesn't really care about what was its other thing? Was it dark? No, it was ground. Ground dragon? In that case, ice would destroy it. So if I just keep... If I keep Aerodactyl alive long enough... Oh, if only my Gengar knew Ice Beam. Okay, okay. Hmm, what are we going to be doing here? Well, first count the casualties, of course. It was nice knowing you crash bite. I'm not really sure what you achieved. But you still died. Off you go. And you're no hero. You're just a failure. Sabletooth, I hate to say it, but you're probably going back in there. Oh my days, having my Dragonite on two strikes. Having my Gengar on two strikes. These are three very, very good Pokemon, and they've only got one life left each. And, uh, Moss Morris is out of here. 
throw you in the failures box. Okay. Okay, okay. No, you didn't have two marks already. You fell once to... Um, who was it? I've got it on the Pokedex, don't I? I can always check. Pokedex tells me that Iridactyl uh, was destroyed by Team Rocket Grunt's Vullaby, but you defeated the Serperior in the Grass Gym and lived to tell the tale. So don't worry, you're alright for now. Tabbing into that's just caused chaos for me, but back we go. Okay, I'm not really sure Death Shed was able to pack the punch that I'm looking for to get through all that. Mind you, your Ice Punch would probably eliminate the... Oh no, that guy buffs up and sweeps. How am I meant to get in there? It might be worth Aether having Ice Beam or some kind of Ice Attack in preparation. I don't know if you can learn Ice Fist. Mm. Superior was unbelievable. And it was because of that Contrarian special ability it had, so it could turn its down stat into massive up stat. So go to Cerulean and see if I can get an, an ice attack on Gengar. We had that one chance to kill that death incarnate Pokemon, and sadly, it didn't work out. And yeah, I'll bring some kind of watery Pokemon to destroy the rock thing. That stealth rock is too much damage. Wait, you're not the guy I want. I want the guy in Lieutenant Surge's home. Get away from me, Mushroom Freak. That hippo thing is pure ground, but probably with a lot of physical defense. So ground could be destroyed by water, grass, or ice. And I'd want the strongest special attack out of any of those. If only he chose Squirtle and still had it. If only. Uh, ice Punch. Can we learn it? Yes, we can. My trouble with that is it's a physical attack. Why would I give you that over a non-physical attack? Why am I even looking at that? I need to try and remember what I'm even thinking here. Um, Aether, Summary... Yeah, you're all about special attack. Why was I thinking about giving you a punch? Well, it's my head's in the clouds as usual. Let's go into our TM thing. Maybe you can't learn Ice Beam. I would have tried this before, surely. Yeah, figures. ICPT can. But you're a physical attacker. Might still be worth it to put it on Gengar. Just having access to ice could be what we need around here. I didn't see anything that Giga Drain would be particularly effective against. But I'd hate to give up Giga Drain. Oh, I can get it back later. Psychic, for one, isn't very useful in this fight either. And I need to focus on what is useful for this fight. Oh, you have Psychic Fangs. Cool. Right, right, right. We can get Psychic back anytime we really want. So, goodbye. Yeah, Shadow Ball's great at taking out the Teapot, and Sucker Punch is always useful. Doesn't answer my questions, though. I need to figure out which of my Pokémon can bring down that accursed Hippopotamus. So I probably need to enter a strong special attack water Pokémon that can just blast that thing straight out. <laughs> like a Sea King. Gengar is on his second strike. You should ride him for all he's worth. Either he lives or dies next battle. True that. Polyrath is not special type. Is Lapras special? Doesn't look particularly special. 
Spingler is probably not that special either. What about you, Cedra? Surely that Hippopotamus is quite slow. Your special attack looks okay there, but I'm not sure okay is enough. Any Strike 2 special water Pokémon that I've got in the team? It doesn't have to be water though, does it? No, it doesn't, because they're a ground type. Grass and ice are also options. And uh, Cursed JJ is pretty special. Cursed JJ gets in there with freeze dry, might murder the thing. And it'd be nice to get rid of Cursed JJ at long last. Slowbro is water, isn't he? He is, but he's also very slow. What did he bring out after, um... You know what, he might actually switch Pokémon just by having Cursed JJ there. Hmm... And other than your Freeze Dry, you don't really bring much to the party, but just having you use Freeze Dry is probably all we can ask for. Super effective against water types. Hmm... That doesn't really matter for us. Whatever, let's bring out the most horribly cursed JJ. And have you go first. What destroyed the uh, Mega Kangaskhan? I'm trying to remember. What did we take it out with? Was it uh, Hitmonchan's... Was it Hitmonchan's Mac Punch? It was surprisingly fast, that punch. can't remember, actually. Pokemon Wave Tactics, that's what brought it down. Touché. Okay, what else is going to help us here? Thinking about what we fought, I need ice on pretty much anybody who's going to be fighting much. Ice, 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 and ice. What did we lose? We lost uh, water and we lost a fighting. Hmm. You would get murdered by a fighting attack, Kaladin. You've done nothing but disappoint me so far. But you would be able to tank the initial sandstorm. That much is true. And you have that fighting move. Bugs are not going to help us here at all. He didn't have any grass. Didn't have any psychic. Did he have dark? Was it dark? Dark dragon? No, it was a uh, dragon... Something else that ice was good against. Might get rid of Megahorn and give you something else with better coverage, but you're still not that great about it. Ground, thank you. Ground dragon... Ice Dragon Fairy, the only answer. And I don't really have other fairy Pokemon. Could bring in good old Farfetch'd. Fighting type, without any fighting moves. I wonder if you'd be faster than that death Pokemon. Oh wow, you have pathetic speed. Never mind that. Yeah, I don't think you're going to save the day here. How about... An unexpected Orlov entry. Poison flying. Flying might be able to dodge something. Your pathetic stats aren't so hot. Bug poison flying. Now that's really talking to me here. I didn't... Oh, dragon. Dragon resists a lot of problems. Maybe I could bring Lapras in. They also have Ice Shard if they want to make sure they hit first. You know what, we haven't seen Lapras uh, at all. Also, we need somebody to be our Lapras. We're going to bring them out, give them some rare candy. 
and have them take the fight. Of course, we need to candy up first and figure out these moves. Oh, also, I need to save before I candy because one accidental click, and heavens knows I've accidentally clicked in Pokemon before. Alright, Curse JJ up to 57. Everyone else is good, and then up comes Lapras. What is Perish Song? Any battler that hears this faints in three turns unless it switches. Huh. Don't know if the AI handles that at all. Sounds dangerous. That includes Lapras. Oh, oh dear. I'm glad I was warned about that. 9.31 to... Ooh, Ice Beam. Great. I'm assuming Lapras is somewhat special. Powers up water type moves for five turns. I don't have the time to use that sort of stuff. Hold on, aren't you Water Dragon, not Ice? Damn, the Ice moves aren't going to be so hot. Brine, on the other hand, is always lovely. If the foe's HP is down to half, this does double damage. Water Pulse may confuse. I'll take the raw damage, I'm afraid. Alright, thirty da 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 How's that looking? Actually, special attack's not as high as I thought, but I can change natures, I'm sure. Safeguard, status problems, don't care. 44, 5, 6, 7... Hydro Pump, so strong... But it's always going to miss when you need it to not miss. But it is so strong. Mm. I mean, it's about twice as strong as Brine. It could one-hit KO the Hippo. Mm. If it lands. And if it doesn't land, then we're in trouble. Four and five sounds good, for sure. Well, uh... We'll keep the option open. I don't suppose Lapras has a nature that lets them never miss. Oh, it's a male Lapras. I didn't think those existed. Dragon Pulse. Ooh, same type attack with our Dragon. But Dragon isn't... I mean, it's good against Dragons, which I might end up having to fight, but in that case I'd rather use Ice. I might actually get rid of Ice Beam. We have the Ice Shard. Yeah, Ice is not Stab, exactly. Oh, bye-bye, Ice Beam. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Wow, that's some hit points on you, Lapras. You've already buffed up your special attack, which is a little concerning. That's physical, the rest are not. Might ditch Ice Shard in favor of Water Switch thing. Yeah, the, the, the flip turn with the water might be better. So yeah, I could... How's your speed? Mm, I don't know if that's better. Does anyone know the Hippo's general speed? 91 is not enough for me to be quite certain you're going to hit first. Yeah, Ice Shard could close it out against a weakened Garchomp. It might come down to that. I should probably keep it. I could start with a Hydro Pump. Or I could start with something else. Whatever the case, I need your nature to be... Um, Special attack up. Yeah, I get that Hippo is slow, but I don't have a good ballpark for what slow is. No, I think I, I think the cursed JJ should go in first. Ooh, 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 we need to buff your special attack. But if you go in freeze-dry, that's probably gonna murder it. Same type attack weakness on a strong special attack. And I assume that thing has low special defense, it better. 
Face speed, slower than lap press. Well, I'll still take the sure thing with the curse, JJ. I could lose a lot of very important Pokemon in this fight. Actually, I almost definitely will. Three of them on their last legs. Problem, Sandstorm boosts special defense, apparently. Oh, God. Still, though, 137 special attack with a 70 stab weakness could be pretty good, so I'm going to go with that. One thing else to consider is maybe switching out some of Cursed JJ's movesets. Light screen, reflect... I mean, am I really going to be seeing much of this? I'm not so sure about that. Can you do anything that's going to tenderize any of the other Pokémon we come up against? For example, that ghost Pokémon is going to do you in. Could you teach it Ice Beam? I don't think Ice Beam is better than Freeze Dry, but I could check. Ice Beam is... Whoa, it's actually stronger! Well, damn. Hey, JJ, here you go. I'm not fighting water Pokemon, so better just to do this. Man, Ice Beam's too good. While we're at it, Lapras, you can learn Ice Beam. It's not Stab, but... Let's say it's just you against that uh, horrible dragon thing and it hasn't buffed up yet. It might, might just be what wins this. And I gotta close that opportunity. I think I would get rid of Hydro Pump. The odds of that missing are too great in such a vital fight. Brian is fine enough. Oh, but I wanted to teach you the ability to flip out with a water attack. Oh, but you can't learn that. Well, not to worry then. Do we have any other good water attacks for our beloved Lapras? Scald seems nice and all, but it just feels like it's a little lacking. Scald. 80. Eighty is better than sixty-five. Well, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. The one last thing I want to check is Lapras's ability. Right, Lapras heals status problems in rain, and there's almost never going to be rain. So the question is, what can we get for you? Um, what is it again? It's my ability pill, I believe. Water absorb. Don't know what that is, but we'll give it anyway. Brian doubles his attack power when the enemy is below 50. Could become 130, yeah, but... I can't foresee a situation where that's going to come to fruition. I'd rather have more raw damage. Changes water into hit points. Huh. That does sound pretty good. Don't know what it means, though. Right, one other thing is that ICPT has the ability to reduce damage at full hit points. Now, that sounds good, but somebody told me it has a hidden ability, which is much better. I don't know what the hidden ability is. It better be damn good, because I'm actually going to go and get it right now. Water moves heal Lapras. Well, I don't think we're going to be fighting any of those today. Well, not against Giovanni, at least. Uh, where are we going? Celadon. Ooh. So we need to go to this place, I think. And speak to somebody here. Multi-skill is the hidden one. What? Really? Oh, no, no. I don't, I don't want starter eggs. Go away. No, I don't don't want that. Don't want any of what you're selling. Fossil Pokemon, I've been there, done that. Huh. Lapras's other ability prevents crits. I'm sure we won't be critical hit in this fight. Not at this important juncture. Screw. 
screwed up ROM hack. Not far. Not far off. Okay, well, I'm clearly in the wrong place because this is not where, uh, not where I'm getting what I need. And people are saying that I already have the hidden ability. Very well. Let's just go and murderize Giovanni. He won't know what hit him. Just like Helden. He'll be clueless. <sighs> the thing is, this fight is largely going to depend on whether or not we one-shot that hippo. If we don't one-shot the hippo, we're in for a bad, bad time. Can JJ one-shot the hippo? Power 90 Ice Beam sounds good. Sounds very good. Or am I about to find that JJ has some kind of special hidden ability that can boost ice attacks. Oh well, JJ, the lives of Aether, uh, Sabletooth, and ICPT are on your shoulders now. Gen 1 Miss is going to make a return just for the cursed JJ. Let's go for it. Am I about to find that I didn't give her one an item? Oh, I didn't give Lapras a water boosting item. And I definitely, definitely want to. Oh, but I can do that right here, can't I? It's uh, Mystic Water. Now that's assuming you're going to be using water. That might be a tall assumption, given you probably want to Ice Beam. Nah, uh, the stab makes Scald better. There's Dragon Pulse there if the need arises. Hidden Ability makes Pokemon immune to Garchomp. How I wish. Okay, let's have that. Yes, 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 yes. I've heard it all before. Right. Giovanni, you and your accursed hippo. The Cursed JJ is definitely fast enough to deal with it, but those stones, I can't believe they last all battle. Seems kind of powerful, but it does cost a turn. You'd have to deploy something that is tanky enough to make it happen. So, of course, let's do that Ice Beam and hope that it works. Tiny little JJ, go for it. Seriously, kill that thing. If you don't, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. I am so disappointed in you, JJ. How did you not manage to kill it? Well, now we're in for a bit of a hard time. Okay, 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 okay. Don't tell me I wasn't boosting JJ's ice attacks with a, a forever ice thing. If that's the case, I'm going to be very sad. I didn't... He has the Everstone. I just assumed he had the Ice thing, but he has an Everstone. JJ, this could cost us a lot. Ah, I just looked at the item and assumed he'd have the Ice one, but I gave him an Everstone because he kept evolving whenever I tried to... Um... Oh, okay, right. Right, right, right. I don't know how strong this Hippodone is, but JJ might as well set up some screens for us. Keep everyone alive for as long as we can. Wow, you avoided it. Nicely done. Doesn't look like it was reduced by the reflect screen, but it's hard to tell. Do we also put up a light screen, though? Means that... Uh... Well, has he actually been using any special attacks against us? Thinking about it, they all look very physical. Maybe just the uh, the screen will be enough. If JJ just gets his ice going, he might be able to do a fair bit of sweeping himself. The teapot. Yeah, the teapot would come and use some special, but Gengar would go and ruin its day. It would probably deploy the teapot after this, though. That's almost a given. But that's okay. JJ can die to the teapot and then we bring out someone else to deal with it and we keep the reflect beam up. 
I think that makes the most sense. But that teapot is a thousand percent the next Pokemon. Ice, huh? I mean, ice should do some fair damage to it, but it would murder JJ. Maybe, though, if I brought up a light screen, you might be able to survive whatever it does. Yeah. It might be better for JJ to actually have his chance at icing it to death. Don't risk it, just kill it now. Psychic can kill the teapot. Well, the, the teapot is ghost type, so I don't think so. Well, Psychic is so so against that, isn't it? Ice Beam might be better. They're both stab. I'll die to the second rock throw, says JJ. You think? You've got a screen up. Why would rocks hurt you? Rocks are twice as effective against uh, ice, apparently. Huh, didn't know that. But it does get halved. But you're pathetic. Ring on the ice beam. <laughs> JJ's so small! This means that our protect lasts a little longer. But it also means that we have the... Uh, the friendly neighborhood sandstorm for longer. JJ's dead however you look at it, but he should be able to go first in front of this thing. Is there any da Well, Ice Beam might, might freeze the thing. It's not impossible. Similarly, I think Psychic can confuse it. No, Lewis has special defense and that's irrelevant. But freezing the enemy solid, that's a different story altogether. If you reflect, you'll have to tank another hit. Yeah, well, whatever. Just try and freeze the thing. Shell smash? Defense fell. Special defense fell. Attack. Special attack. Speed. Oh, Lord, I did not expect to be swept here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This has become a very big problem. That teapot is fast enough and strong enough to kill the team. However, it's fighting against the cursed JJ. It's going to use... Um... Hmm... What's it going to use against the Cursed JJ? Cursed JJ is Psychic, so it's probably going to use a Ghost Attack, or a Dark Attack. Would it use a Ghost? It's going to use Shadow Ball, actually. And Shadow Ball doesn't hurt normal types, but I don't have a normal type, so... Hmm. And it would murder Aether. I think JJ just has to die, and Aether needs to sucker punch the thing. Assuming Sucker Punch would do the job, it's pretty weak. But it'll be buffeted by the the Sandstorm, which might help. In any case, Aether needs to take a big risk here. There, completely expected Shadow Ball. Completely expected JJ to die. And now, we've got to trust Gengar. Who is going to take damage, coming in here sadly. If it uses Shadow Ball, by the way, we're dead. And that loses us Aether, and probably loses us the fight. Still, get Sucker Punching it. Kill the thing, please. Oh, that's painful. That's very painful. Bye-bye, Aether. Do I have any priority attack that's going to win here? Uh, I have someone with a priority attack. So about that Gengar's a special attacker thing. Yeah, well, I didn't have a priority move. And that thing's speed sharply rose. Also, Gengar is gone forever. Okay, on the plus side. They're down. Who's he going to deploy now? It could be Mega Genghis Khan. In which case, I could have ICPT slap them out immediately.
I could have... Oh man, what am I going to do against you? Yeah, Gengar's gone forever. Could get Death Shed out there to use the Mac Punch on Genghiskan twice to kill it. Ah oh, man, you could have... Oh, you could have sucker punched the, the teapot. And that would have been a lot better than sacrificing Gengar. Because you're actually made for fighting. Curses. I didn't even consider that. And I should have. Oh well. We'll still have Death Shed go out. I forgot about you existing. On the other hand... You are made of things that I can punch. Mac Punch will go before you and hopefully deal some hefty damage. Come on, hefty, 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 hefty. Good, as long as it doesn't kill us, we're okay. Earthquake's good, but I'm sure Death Shed can dance around it. And not die to the Sandstorm. Actually, Sandstorm's going to kill Death Shed. Uh, well, no, you'll still live. You'll live on to punch the next thing. It's quite good. Alright, this is not too much of a problem, I think. Excellent. Alright, Genghis Khan is going to do his thing. We're going to punch him once with this to bring him down a fair bit. It doesn't get something stupid like a priority move, does it? Nah, we're using a priority move. We should be fine. Um, oh... How and why does everything no fake out? All right, we're we're in a bit of a problem now. We need to deal with this Mega Genghis Khan, and my my fighter is down. Genghis Khan is just normal, but I don't think I have fighting moves to bring it down. Which is the only thing that normal is weak to. Hmm. ICPT is going to take crazy damage if it goes in there. Of course you will anyway. And then there is Lapras. Decent special attack. I could scald it, maybe burn it. We need Lapras for Garchomp. ICPT should be able to work against Garchomp as well. Sable could get in there and fly. Then we dodge its first thing at least, although it'll hit us with something else afterwards. Won't be awful. But it might switch out. But the the ghost thing is dead. Still, it could switch out to something that flying is not going to have a good time with. Oh well, get out there, Sable. You fought Mega Genghis Khan before. Oh, crikey, yeah, the stones. Power up punch. Not unexpected. Hit it with fly. Not enough damage. Not quite enough damage, but I might be able to take it down enough for the next Pokemon to, uh, to punch it to death quickly enough. So I should probably still go with another fly. Seems to do decent enough damage. As long as Kangaskhan isn't speeding up, we're okay. Oh, Body Slam! You got a bit cocky there, didn't you? I wonder why it's going for Body Slam. Oh, because it knows it's going to kill us with it anyway. Still, we get a priority attack and that thing is dead. And Lapras knows a priority attack. The trouble is, the priority attack is not strong enough to take you down. ICPT would also die going in there. Uh, 
Uh-oh. I don't think I have anything that can do this now. Oh, it's not just Gengar and Dragonite. It's goodbye Aerodactyl as well. That's three very heavy hitters gone. Lapras's priority attack is not going to kill this thing. And it will kill us with a fighting move. With its power-up punch. Or body slam, or anything really. Oh yeah, we lose Cursed JJ. What a shame. Ah, jeez. Ice Shard is just way too weak. It's not gonna do it. Well, just get that lucky crit. Might be our only shot, honestly. It might be out of power-up punch due to pressure. Still just means it's going to body slam and probably still kill us because it is mega powered up and body slam is still stab. And normal attacks will still do normal stuff to us. I think Lapras is a very dead Lapras right now. How's your defense, Lapras? Nothing to write home about. Okay, we'll have to prey on the Ice Shard, which is not stab and it's physical with our low physical damage. <laughs> not a chance. Not even a remote chance. Well, I... Oh, oh what? <laughs> well, I have to hope in a lot of things. A crit, for one. Not quite. Oh, and it still has more power-up punches. Yeah, we really are getting kicked while we're down here. Okay, ICPT. Get in there, get the stone damage. And none of these are priority. And I doubt that uh, his moves are going to miss at all. Unless one of them is priority and I just don't know it. Why exactly did he not use ICPT? I figured they would die in one shot without getting a priority move in. Dragon Tail's negative priority. Do not you Yeah, but I'm there's no way I'm faster than this thing. Imagine if I am though. Yeah, of course not. That's a stab super buffed up body slam. Oh, that was a heavy loss. Yeah, damn right, that was painful. And we didn't even have to see Garchomp there. Still, keeping Lapras on the team for that. And we need... well... Let's deal with the Fallen first, shall we? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Right, Cursed JJ is finally out of here. That whole battle would have looked a lot different if I'd actually put uh, Never Melting Ice on you, but you had the Everstone and that clogged my everything. You failure. ICPT, I'm afraid, despite my high hopes for you, you are also a failure. Gengar, you could have accomplished so much, and you did accomplish quite a bit, just not enough. Another failure. Deathshed, to be fair, you hit that Genghiskan pretty damn hard. But, uh, you still at your mark there. Aerodactyl did so much for us. You were a real MVP in one of the earlier fights. But not good enough. You're still a failure to me. And Lapras enjoying their first mark. Right. So, uh, the team for killing them's depleted a little bit. I think we're going to rely on Polyrath to get that water and fighting in. Might have to bring in Calmest here. You have decent attack and decent speed. You got that sucker punch to use against the teapot. 
who can't use ghost? No, they can't use ghost against you. You're fighting, not normal. And look at that, you could smash down the Mega Genghis Khan as well if you're first up to it. Yeah, that might actually work. Um, we sacrifice some ice Pokemon to the uh, to the tea, to the teapot, and then we bring in Calmest, and then Calmest sucker kicks it, and then high jump kicks Mega Genghis Khan out of existence. Hmm, that could work. Any stipulations about overflowing failure box will make another. We'll make another failure box. Don't you worry. All right, Calmest might be pretty good for this. We'll bring you in. Do I have any more ice Pokemon? I'm not sure I do. So I'll need to bring something else, something good and special. Mm, Bubble Beam's just not strong enough. We hit it with a with a 90 strength, same type attack, and it wasn't enough. It would be enough with a booster, though. Holy smokes, look at that. Oh, no, that's defense. Still, though, look at that special attack. But you might actually be slower than the Hippo. You look pretty slow. Can't take that risk. Mm. Pretty low on options, aren't I? Victory Bell. Victory Bell's got good special attack. Leaf Bl No, no, no. We need a, uh, a special attack to take it down. It'd be faster if you gave it plus speed. Possibly. And it would still have some pretty incredible... Special attack. I could just get rid of the speed debuff. But I worry that I don't have a water attack strong enough... To make up for the cursed JJ. How much special attack did cursed JJ have going into that? God, this is looking too full for comfort. 137, not as much as I'd thought. Hmm. It's a rock type, it'll take two eggs from Earthquake. The plan is to kill the thing in one shot. Scald could certainly help. How much damage was Scald again? Scald is 80. With boosters, Almastar has this, I think. Almastar is 8 base speed higher than Hippo Thing. Good enough for me, but I won't reduce its speed, it's too risky. And we haven't seen Omastar in action at all. So I'll withdraw you and have you on the team. I brought out Polyrath, but I don't think I thought that one through enough. Polyrath has amazing attack if you got just one good... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Don't really have good fighting moves, do you? But maybe you could power up punch against that steel Pokemon, who I don't think will do a whole lot to you. Steel is not very effective against water. And ground is so-so uh, against water. Yeah, you might be something to um, power up punch against that... But he's pretty fast. I don't think you get a chance to really take two shots at it. You could, however, flip turn against it into a flying Pokemon, which will laugh at its ground attacks. But the, fl the flying Pokemon would have a fat chance of taking it on. So I'm not so sure that's a good call. Yeah, sorry, Paxam. I'm not seeing your utility here. What flying Pokemon? Um, far-fetched. Firo. Oh, to be fair, Firo's a pretty, pretty nifty choice. Got Alakazam, but I don't think he's going to help us out that much. Electric attacks are going to be a joke against all these ground monsters. Kabutops would get fairly minced by ground attacks because you're rock as well. Vile Plume hasn't seen much use in a while. Nice special attack. Heck, you could even go in first and Giga drink the um, the first monster, but I don't want to take a chance on that. Uh, not 
Not buying it, not buying it. Aren't you part rock? Yeah, it's rock electric. Ground would murder you. Red crane. I can't catch wild Eevees yet. I need the surf. Surf ability. You have raw attack, but that's not good enough. And flying is not going to help me in this conflict. Slow, bro. How slow are we talking? Agonizingly. <laughs> Executes dead. High five. Very dead. Well, I was looking at Tentacruel earlier. Water poison. Nice special defense. Okay, defense. Great speed. You also know the, the wonders of Scald. Rain Dance can replace Sandstorm. Yeah, but Sandstorm hurts his Pokémon as well, which can be rather nice. Mm. Mm. It's my current lineup. Decent at punching Mega Genghis Khan. Do I have anything else that's gonna beat up Genghis Khan though? Because he does, he does his power-up punch and hit my chance a very dead man. You can get two in, but I need something else that, uh... Something else is going to hurt that thing a lot. Actually, why even do the Mac Punch first time around? If you survive one hit, I should have you use a stronger fighting move first. Then follow it up with a Mac Punch. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Well, one thing we know is that Thunder Punch isn't going to be getting us anywhere. So let's go and grab ourselves a better fighting move. Power up punch. Actually, if you power up punched first and then did the other fast one... Ah, sounds a little too risky. Lowers the enemy's speed stat. Could be a big help, actually. You do a low sweep for your first one, you might actually be able to follow up with another low sweep. Get rid of that Thunder Punch, it's not helping anybody here. It's also worth noting that you do have that Ice Punch, which could help us out in another situation. Ah, oh, don't be like that pizza. Now you've got High Jump Kick already, which I'd rather use to outright kill whatever I'm fighting. You also know Fake Out, it's worth considering. Then again, so does Genghis Khan, doesn't it? The reason it didn't fake out before was because it had uh, it was fighting our Gengar. Now, do we have any reason to think that Mega Genghis Khan is faster or slower than a Hitmon Lee? Hitmon Lee's got some pretty good 121 speed, and we know that Aerodactyl is faster than Mega Genghis Khan. You had in the past tense. Oh, tons of speed. I had no idea you were so fast. Mac Punch has boosted 1.3, so its real power is 80. I need to look at this in order to process that information. Boosts punching moves. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mac punch is already faster, so low sweep isn't really much of a much of a benefit, is it? Damn. Do I have anything else to get rid of that then? Still, lowering the enemy's speed is a good uh, a good thing. It would just need a good follow up. Do I have any really strong punching moves for you then? Fighting type, of course. Drain punch. That sounds like a punch. That sounds very good, actually. Oh man, if Deathshed gets in there, he uh, he just drain punches it. 
He'll get much of his health back and then follow it up with the uh, the speedy punch. That's pretty good, actually. All right, now that's okay. So here's the plan: we one shot the hippo. Whatever one shot the hippo dies to the teapot. The teapot gets sucker punched by Hitmonchan. Genghis Khan then gets beaten up by Hitmonchan, and then everything else just falls into play. And I don't want to have to rely on any of my other Pokémon, but uh, assuming that it comes to that... Um... Calmest has Sucker Punch for dealing with the Teapot. Lapras is how I'm going to hope to deal with the, the other thing. Because uh, it's just going to sword stance and then horrible things. Remember to hand out good items. Yeah, Calmest could do with one, couldn't he? To think we could have... We maybe would have won that if we had the ice thing. It's hard to say. Don't want to live in the past, though. Let's black belt you up. You are so slow, but with that kind of special attack and some scalding, I reckon you can take down the first thing. Yeah, that that's kind of good enough for to be asked to be of use. And then the ghost is probably going to murder you, but you could also scald the ghost. I doubt it's going to... Oh, right, the ghost is going to power up. Oh, right, how did we deal with that before? We sucker punched it, of course. So if you scald it, and then we sucker punch it to death, and then we handle Genghis Khan, that'll work. Okay, good, we're on to something. But I still don't want you being that slow to be ass. So I'm going to change your nature. Special attack up, attack down. Go and get that TM for... What was it called again? Was it Brine? feel like it was Brine. No, it was Scald, wasn't it? Get Scald onto Bias. I think Ice and switching JJ to Hitmonchan would have won that, but we will never know. No, we will not. Alright, so... Just so we're sure about it, to be ass is up first. Raises speed and rain. Well, I don't know what your other ability is. Maybe I could check. Maybe it's good. It's probably not. And yeah, the difference is you're gonna have a booster this time, on top of being just better than the cursed JJ. Here's your mystic water. Yeah, I could just go and forward and not risk losing any others, but that seems like a poor idea. So Tobias goes in, kills the hippo in one shot, scalds the um, scalds the teapot, then dies. Death Shed sucker punches the teapot, and then Mega Genghis Khan probably comes out, and then you drain punch Mega Genghis Khan. Hopefully, two shots are enough to kill it. Uh, actually, one Drain Punch and one Mac Punch will probably be all I can afford for that. And then if if uh, Death Shed goes down, Karmist comes out and probably dies, come to think of it. Well, you can Fake Out and Sucker Punch if Mega Genghis Khan is on their last legs. And then out comes probably the Steel thing. Karmist will probably die, but might kill it. Uh, but if you do die, out comes Lapras. Lapras, Ice Beams, or Shards, or Skulls, or whatever needs to be done for the victory. And then hopefully you also take out the Dragon. Which means I need Pokémon for that last part in case Lapras can't make it. Pokémon who have um, Fighting and Ice on their side. Or just are very good at dealing with its uh, immensely strong... What was it hitting us with? It hit us with some multi-hitting super boosted attack that I did not recognize. I don't know what type it was, but Kaladin's a bit of a beast and might be able to stand up to some of it. It wasn't power-up punch. Uh, I'm talking about the dragon thing that hit us with some spiky multi-hit attack. It was a dragon type. Well, that's bad. Steel would counter that, but... Steel would counter that.
Danimo could could get in there. Problem is you don't have any priority moves. And what was it again? It was a dragon something. What type was it? It was dragon something. Dragon steel? I think it was dragon steel. No, no, it was ice will be four times, so it was dragon ground. Which uh, makes Donimo a dangerous proposition, since we can't really do much against it with just that. Dragon ground. Dragon ground needs ice. Offensive ice. But also, kind of needs a priority on that. I doubt Donimo can learn any ice moves. Maharaja is going to be faster than it, almost definitely. But again, electric is going to be negated in ground. Jeez, um... what would stand up to that thing? Actually, it's not impossible that uh, we could deploy the Snorlax. No, steel, steel has the damage from normal attacks. And I'm not so sure that Worm could stand up to even one shot. What do we have that's going to stand up to that thing? We do have fighting moves. Fighting is not reduced against dragons, so it could still be Polyrath's time to shine. Polyrath has reasonable hit points and defense. And you could probably be taught that... Um... Wait, do I have that first attack fist thing? I don't know if I do. I'll check if I can teach it to you, but Paxam, that's a possibility. You could help us against that dragon thing. And if that doesn't work... Relics? Team BR? Don't have the move set I'm looking for, and I could probably give you some, but we're not going there just yet. Nido Queen, Poison Ground, Double Kick. Double Kick's pretty weak, though. Uh, well, we do have Far Fetched. Far Fetched can learn fighting type moves. Maybe it can learn that first attack punch thing as well. Porygon can use Ice Beam, can it not? Ooh. I often don't consider Porygon, because I look at those stats and go, Ugh. Yeah, you you worry me with how pathetic you are, Porygon. But I might be onto something with Farfetch'd. You're not very fast, but if I can just get the priority move on you, you'll have Stab on it as well. Okay, this, re this rests on me actually being able to teach them that priority fighting move. Do I have it? Why don't you evolve Porygon? Because Porygon is from the original 151, and if it evolves into something else, well, that is not part of it. Oh man, Drain Punch looks so good, but it's not what I'm looking for. Brick Break is also not what I'm looking for. I've forgotten the name of the attack that I'm looking for, actually, but that's okay. Certainly not Focus Punch. Hang on! Focus Punch! Executed last. Flinches if hit beforehand. The dragon likes to buff up on its first turn. What if I Focus Punched it? It would die. A consideration. Is that first turn fighting it? Maybe it can't be taught. Mm, I'm going to check with the retrainer to see if they know it. I should also check its name. <laughs> it's hard to know what it likes to do. We only see it once, so 100% of the time it's used that self buffing attack. And I don't think the AI is so cheap that it reads your inputs there. Mac Punch. Ah, that sounds so much like something that only Hitmonchan learns. But I'll check. 
priority fighting move could be a godsend for me. Uh, this is not the right place. This is just one fight. Two hours and I still haven't brought down this one fight against Giovanni. Terrifying. Okay. I hate this guy. He talks and talks and talks and talks. Okay, Paxam, do you know Macfist? Or can you know Macfist? That looks like a lot of no. Uh, hit chance, no thank you. And Darius, we have lost so many big hitters today. It's been kind of tragic. Gengar's down, Dragonite's down. Aerodactyl's down. Oh, that's a knockoff. Okay, we don't get our priority move then. But I think it's worth my time teaching that very strong attack. Just in the off chance that that ends up being what happens. It's a shame doing all this because it means you have to switch out your movesets so often. I wish you could just have all the moves and switch them out on Pokemon on the fly. Save you a lot of this menuing and travelling around, but what do I know about Pokemon design? While we're at it, Pax, can you learn Sucker Punch? A foe is made to switch out with an ally. Huh. I can imagine a situation where that's useful. Let's get rid of Mudge Shot. Sucker Punch, where are you at? Hmm. I thought I had Sucker Punch. I was looking at names, but I might have missed it. Dark Pulse? Dark Pulse. Dark Special Attack. Really? I don't have it. Would have thought for sure I had it. Am I imagining things? I must be imagining things. I guess I've just been lucky with the Pokémon that have learnt it. Like the snake. Okay, so again, Tobias goes out first. Then Deathshed. Then maybe Calmest. Lapras to sweep it up. And these two as insurance, just in case that doesn't work out. Not sure I'm sold on your move list. Or your... <laughs> There's a lot I'm not sold on in you for uh, Krebsig. In fact, why are you even here? I don't have any fighting moves on you. You're a mistake to have here, Krebsig. I gotta, I gotta have some fighting move for you. Now I just, they give this guy screeds and screeds of dialogue to sit through every time you gotta reteach. Okay, you don't actually know any fighting moves, Krebsig. Despite being a fighting flying type. I should teach you at least one, but... I'm not going to teach you bulk up, that just boosts you up a bit. Brick break. I mean, that's a pretty strong attack. Given the situation, if you are going to somehow get an attack off, I think you'd rather... Drain Punch is tempting. It's quite tempting. Can you even learn it? No. Actually, can you learn any fighting moves, you incredibly disappointing far-fetched? I guess your hands are full with that leak. Okay, you're off the team, Krebsig. You've disappointed me to no end. Should have just gotten myself a normal Farfetch'd. Don't think I had the choice though, didn't I get this one traded? Can't remember. Still begs the question of who takes the last slot in the team. I don't think Borum would survive very long against uh, our big friend. 
And that normal attack wouldn't be so good against steel. Porygon's a bit bleh. Mm. The variant is fighting only, not fighting flying. It looks pretty fighting flying to me, uh, no more, but I've seen... I've seen... Falsehoods before. Who comes out last? Who can do anything useful? If nothing else, Maharaja can come out and strike first, most likely. <laughs> that might actually have No, it's ground. Uh, Volt switch wouldn't work. Mm, grass is ineffective against steel and dragon. Really, it's, uh, it's got to be ice. Ice or fighting. I don't have much of either. Maybe I could teach Tentacruel, uh, Ice Beam, and then have you on it. I'll get rid of Hex, and give you Ice Beam, and then call it a day. Because I've been overthinking this much too much. I'm assuming you can learn Ice Beam, but heaven help me if you can't. Is. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't let me down here, Rosa. Let's get rid of that hex, I'm told it's useless on most others. While we're at it, can we get you something ridiculous like Giga Drain? Just imagine what a surprise your foes would have with a tentacruel using Giga Drain. I like that sludge wave thing, and I don't like that barrier, so goodbye barrier, hello Giga Drain. Okay, I'll sort out items and natures and get the last level ups and we'll be good to fight Giovanni again. I think my plan is pretty watertight, but takes that nasty crit or that misclick and it all goes out the window. Level 57, level 57, and level 57. God, imagine grinding this up. Now I find it much more likely that you're going to be using an ice attack than a water attack, Rosa. So I'm going to give you the the ice thing. Who has the never melting ice? You do, Cloister. I miss you. I miss you so much. There you go. You're there with the fighting, 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 water, water. Again, should Lapras have water? The whole point of Lapras is to deliver a fatal ice attack. So I think we should just grab some Never Melt Ice. Does anybody around here still have some of that? Never Melt Ice. I should have gotten more of it, but there we go. Last but not light, and last but not least, natures. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it is fine. That is also fine. Right? It's all physical. It's all physical. Two priority moves on you as well, Karma. Very nice. Fine. Hmm. It's all physical. I shouldn't sacrifice your speed for that. Paxam goes physical, and Surfer Rosa goes special. Easy. Let's do it. So much prep just to take out one boss. Paxam goes physical. This is how they're making all their money here in the Poke Centers these days. And you've got to go special. You're about halfway there, Jake. Oh, I've got four badges. I've had four badges for a while, though. Right, let's get back to it. Third try against Giovanni. And I'm feeling good about it. Mind you, I felt good about the last one. Is this actually the third try? Yeah, it is. Poor Aerodactyl. Poor Gengar. 
Poor ICPT Dragonair. Dragonite? Dragonite. Will their sacrifices be in vain? Obviously, because if I can beat them... If I can beat Giovanni now, I could have beat him before. Right. Save and save often. All these hours passing by. Last check. Water, never melt ice, black belt, expert belt, black belt, never melt ice. Mystic water, yeah. And the plan, Tobias goes first and annihilates that, uh, that hippo thing. You know what would be really funny? If the hippo is faster than Tobias. It would be... Uh, someone would be laughing. Was this really the original plan? I thought I had somebody else planned to do the first shot. It's still a risk. Oh well, whatever. Six dead mons, we can handle it. Nothing we haven't seen before with Lieutenant Surge. The person who told you Omastar was faster would be laughing. Oh god, yes. I mean, I would be laughing in that position. Right, to be ass, it's all on you. We'll save ourselves a good chunk of hit points if we don't have those accursed stones to deal with. Which, thinking about it, would murder any air types we bring in. So we bring in the Scald, high power, and we're faster. No reason to think this won't kill the thing, since we should do a lot more damage than the cursed JJ. Good job, Tobias. Now Tobias' job is to die, because if Tobias actually survives in this fight against the uh, teacup, I'm actually in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble! That was not the plan. That was the opposite of the plan. Oh, jeez, what? Okay. Its fighting attack is going to kill Tobias, and Tobias is going to... Um... Power it up. So it's definitely going to use that. It's going to hit any Pokémon I bring out, so it's definitely going to get its buffs. The switch is free because it fakes out anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. The reason it didn't fake out before was because we had Gengar. So this is actually a good opportunity to bring Deathshed in without Tobias having to die. So just to be sure, Deathshed is going to go in there and Drain Punch. And unless we get critical hit by its power-up punch, we should survive, but what if that fake-out hurts a lot more than I thought? Uh, I think we'll be okay. If we're not okay, then this is a this is a horrible, horrible wipe. If Tobias had that water switch attack, you don't have it, do you? It would be awesome if you did. No, damn. You could have uh, used that to switch out. That would have protected. Uh, no, it wouldn't. You would have been flinching. Okay, never mind. There's no regret there. Oh, well, Death Shed, it's all on you. Or is it? Maybe Calmest has more defense. No, absolutely not. Calmest would die. Get out of there, Death Shed, and take it like a man. I miss Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl would have uh, taken this one easily enough. It's going to hit us with two fake outs, isn't it? That's actually going to be a problem. Oh, God. Are we going to survive? The Sandstorm as well? I don't think Deathshed's going to live long enough to, uh, to get the punch. No, it didn't do that much. It did like 50-something damage to us before. We'll be okay. Drain punch it. Oh, shoot! The body slam! Ah! Assuming that it would power up punch was my undoing. Well, this has become a problem. Why, Jake? Because I thought I would live! I don't make moves thinking they're going to get me killed. 
Alright, Pax Sam. I think if you circle throw it, that might be for the better, because it's going to kick it out so it doesn't get its power-ups. Alternatively, you... No, that's not going to work. Circle throwing it out might be my best option. Foe is made to switch out with an ally. Then it's going to get rid of its buffs, and I still get my hit in. It might save us from the sweep. Alright, Pax, your job is to go and save us from the sweep. Wow, it's still not using power-up punch. Okay, well, this is bad. I should have gone for the other attack, but whatever. Oh, come on! Oh, no! It's a very dead Pax Sam that we have now. That move is not going to miss. It was a good plan, but that paralysis just, uh, just undid it. I might have to just sacrifice Paxam, because otherwise someone else dies. Uh, but then who's going to go in? Who can, who can handle this? Maybe Calmist can, but that body slam would probably still kill. What would Tobias do here? He would die to the power up punch. But Surfer Rosa. Yeah, it would use a punch on Tobias since it will be the same type. Uh, it'll be super effective against it. Body slam would be ineffective against its rocks. I mean, I could Ice Beam it and hope that I freeze it for the 10%, otherwise I'm low on options here. I'm just looking at my options here, I don't think I'll switch out. I think uh, Paxam has to die. They'd be redeployed as a paralyzed Pokemon anyway. Oh, well, maybe we can kill it with a sandstorm. Right. Thought we de determined it would still use the movement for packs. Yeah, and it would follow up by killing Tobias with uh, the punches. So that wasn't really much of an option in my view. Karmist isn't going to be faster. That Genghis kind is surprisingly fast. I could try and kill it with a high jump kick. Oh no, I can hit it with a fake out first, can't I? But then I'll still get buffeted by the sandstorm. That's not necessarily a good move for me. Yeah, it's not free damage because it's... no, the sandstorm's going to stop raging. I can be fairly confident on that. Damn it! And we haven't taken care of some of the bigger problems here. So sandstorm should be gone. So I should be able to fake you out. Snap. Does almost no damage, but you flinch. Oh man, why's the sandstorm still going? Alright, maybe, maybe we survive this hit. And if we do, I'm hoping that its high jump kick will kill Kangaskhan. Body slam, same type of attack, lots of damage, but it hasn't buffed up, so hold! Ah ha ha ha! Get out of here! Get the hell out of here, Kangaskhan. This is Kamas Town. Bye-bye, Kamas. This is probably for the better, although I've lost my Sucker Punch. Damn it! Both of my answers to that uh, ghost Pokemon are now gone. That's assuming that the ghost Pokemon's the next one to come out. Seems like a fair shout, though. Maybe I could scald it to death. If it's the mole that comes out, Tobias is going to die horribly, though. Lapras might just be able to sweep up a uh, few things, but if Lapras dies, that's... Uh... Oh, this game's set. Oh, crap! I didn't mean to choose you! I meant to look at your abilities. 
Uh-oh, here comes the steel thing. No, it's Garchomp! Well, that could have been a very lucky thing for us. Let's get that ice beam going and say goodbye to Garchomp. Oh yeah, dance all you want. Here's my dance. The dance of death! You. You! It just halved the amount of damage that's doing. Ah. However, we have a priority ice attack. So let's hope that that's enough to kill it. If it's not, I'm in so much trouble right now. It's weak, and we're not physical, but it's four times damage. Ah, oh, damn it. Right, that's the move that I didn't understand earlier, the scale shot. If it only hits twice, you can survive, Lapras. Hold! Damn it. Double damn it. Speed up. It's ready to sweep and I don't have a priority move anymore. All my priorities are dead. Well, Surfer, you, you joined just to die, I'm afraid. You shouldn't have lost both sucker but I tried not to. Surfer Rose is every shade of dead here. Yeah, Earthquake is ground against uh, poison. Bye, Rosa. A critical hit as well. that it matters much, but hit it with that Scald if you can. Earthquake is again super effective against you. Because of those rocks, and it's super buffed up, so you are very dead. That was a great plan! Just didn't work. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. I might go straight in with the same team, but I think Surfer Rose's days are numbered. We also have a problem with that uh, that dragon Pokemon. A big problem. It's uh, It's got that berry that deflects it from being one shot by ice. Hmm. Oh well, we'll dish out the marks first. Wow, you didn't even got a name, Lapras, and you're almost dead. Oh my god, we've lost Hitmonchan already? This can't be! Did I bring you in three times and lose with you each time? Oh, that is painful. That is so painful. Deathshed couldn't prove a damn thing before they died. Oh, Paxam gets marked and Tentacruel is also out of here. Giovanni is sweeping us up. Really sweeping us up. <laughs> Death shit barely lived. Clues in the name. Okay, well, Tobias can destroy the uh, the hippopotamus easily enough. The trouble is the Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan will come and fake out. That's pretty much a freebie if I can kill it. Now, Karmist killed it, but I think a little bit of damage variation and Karmist would have died. I could give them defense instead of attack. That might be enough to secure them staying alive. Mm. Gee, pick the, um, the Pokedex is in the title. Just check that. The good Lord helps those who help themselves. Damn it, I need Calmest for the ghost. I need some sucker punching for the ghost. Well, that hurts so much to lose Hitmonchan already. Okay, what else can we do here? Electric types are a dead end here. 
Can you get a Garchomp of your own? Uh, no. Garchomp is not part of the 151, so it's off the table. Power up punch that, uh, that our friend Genghis Khan does makes me really hesitant to use something like a rock type against him. And his normal attack is already so powerful. And he has that static. I'm assuming it's static, either that or uh, maybe, maybe that uh, body slam attack can cause paralysis. <laughs> Sacrificial explosion, it's not as powerful as it seems, sadly. And on top of that, Maharaja's physical attack is quite low. Super Pie would get crushed to death by it in one hit. Of that, I've no doubt. 30% to cause paralysis. Well, 30% was enough. Marowak is ground, right? There's nothing special against Genghis Khan. You have your power-up punch, but that's not going to be enough. I can't believe I'm out of fighting types except for Hitmonlee. Well, no, not entirely. I've got a fighting type with no fighting moves. Ah. <sighs> Again, Lapras can survive against that dragon thing if it only hits twice, but I think it's one of those two to five hitting attacks. And because it's dragon, it has, it's actually a weakness for me that Lapras is dragon type. Which is a big, big pain. It's a weird option, but according to the decks, you haven't used Persian. In this hack, you can make it a uh, special attacker and learn Ice Beam. No stab. Well, Ice Beam is nice uh, until... <laughs> nice until it doesn't work. The thing is, that dragon ground Pokemon can sweep us, because it builds up speed and attack. And it can avoid one nasty... well, avoid being one shot with ice. But since it's a dragon type, why don't I hit it with Dragon Pulse? It'll be doubly effective because it's dragon. It won't be reduced by the berry. That might actually be better than using Ice Beam. So can the Teapot. Yeah, well, Teapot's another story altogether. I need some Dark to kill that thing since we lost Gengar. Yeah, it might be better to have Lapras use Dragon Pulse than Ice Beam. I don't know which would be stronger, actually. Give it a dragon boosting item. Yeah, because uh, ice doesn't have the stab, but dragon does. Yeah, you might still be able to save us, Lapras. Might just be able to work. Give you where's Dragon Fang? Can't believe I still don't have a Mega Ring at this point. What's the game doing with me? Also, there's my Dragon Fang. On you go. All right, so Lapras could still be the one to take out that uh, that accursed thing. And even if Dragon Fang doesn't do it, the priority Ice Shard move might. Might. And if it doesn't, we just get swept up anyway. You go in, you kill the Hippopotamus, out comes Genghis Khan. We then switch over to... Well, I don't know. Do I do you? I was thinking Polyrath. Polyrath would have uh, done something if they hadn't been mulched by Paralysis. So we might still be on to... Oh, no, not that. 
I might just continue with that same thing. Yeah, Polyrath will get body slammed, but should survive easily enough. And then... You might even flip turn against the thing rather than punching it out. Although the person you flip with is still going to eat that sandstorm. It might be better for you just to... Circle throw it out? Gee, I don't know. We're still going to have uh, that Mega Genghis Khan coming back if we don't deal with it. And I might deploy the teapot afterwards, which can be sucker punched. Although I don't know if the teapot will self-buff or not. If it self-buffs, sucker punch fails. Oh, well, I think it fails. Mm. Hard to know. If it, if it does, then that's a problem for me. And if it doesn't, that's also a problem for me. Also, Kamis dies. Kamis dies too easily. If it has to eat a hit from Genghis Khan, which it does. Um, maybe I could boost Kamist's speed so that you're faster than Genghis Khan. Then you simply high jump kick it to death without taking a hit. And if you do take a hit, you're going to die anyway. Yeah, that, that might be the better thing to do. Buff your speed on Hitmonlee. Problem with this uh, permadeath is I don't really have a lot of opportunity to experiment. Still, speed up, special attack down. 170 was faster than Mega Genghis Khan. Hopefully, so too is 133. I wonder if I can compare that to someone else that you went faster than, but... I don't know, Mega Genghis Khan seems pretty buff in every regard. I still need two more Pokemon to bring in as well. <laughs> Been here two and a half hours and I haven't beat one boss. Grim. Mm. Now that fighting attack would kill Kaladin. Although Hammer Arm's pretty powerful. Hammer Arm would do some nasty, nasty things to... Uh, to Genghis Khan if it came down to it, as long as Genghis Khan hadn't buffed up. I'll give Kaladin a chance out here. They're probably not going to like this chance I'm giving them, but too bad. Who else can be brought in? There is that steel ground thing that I don't have a lot of ways around now that I've lost Mr. Punchy Fist in fighting. So... Hmm... No, there's no... Wait, if this is the first long play you fit... No, there's no punishments for failing this kind of stuff, Young. You know that. In fact, I'm pretty sure you've asked that before and had it answered as such. So for being so coy... There you go. Sit in the naughty seat. Water Psychic. Very slow. Reasonably tanky. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. You're probably just going to end up food. Why is quick to reply staying there? Get away. Hmm. What's that? <laughs> the enemy's types are horrible to deal with. Steel dragon ground. Dra uh, what was it? Steel ground and dragon ground. You could probably learn a um, an ice blast of your own, Finn boy, which could be helpful. That ground steel Pokemon would die to it, and your waterness would maybe help. It's hard to say. Well, if nothing else, you would die joining the team, so why not? On you come. <laughs> now, now it's become real ragtag. Does somebody want to be the Lapras before it goes in and dies for us? It should get a name. I'm not just going to leave it as Lapras. Serena opens up Charizard and Vita. Yeah, just 
getting getting some additional Pokemon that might actually be useful is uh, going to be a big help after we chewed through so many that were. Rocket Elf is a terrible name for uh, for a Lapras here. I prefer the name Rudels. There we go. We're even going to get your numbers in. That's how generous we feel. 37. So, what's the plan now? Kaladin is so out of his element. Well, one thing is to level up those two and also save in case I mess it up. Reach into our bag, grab the candies that are not as rare as advertised. Get that sweet extra four attack on Kaladin. Finboy's looking alright. So, Tobias goes in and murders the hippo. And then out comes Mega Genghiscan. We switch to probably Kaladin, so the fake out does almost nothing. But then it's going to power up Punch Kaladin, isn't it? That's a problem. Or we go to Pax AM, because Pax AM can then. Oh, gee. Um... Hmm, if only I had a ghost type to avoid that power up punch. Uh, that... Yeah, it's power up punch. I could circle throw it out, but that's just going to bring in more problems, I think. I wonder if I have a stronger fighting move to give Pax Sam. Rick Break is fairly strong, but I think it was a stronger one. Yeah, Drain Punch. Can't believe you didn't have it before. I was assuming you don't get paralyzed anyway, though. So, forget the focus part. Well, that could be useful if that um, that steel Pokemon comes out and wants to buff up on its first turn. Let's keep that for just in cases. I'll get rid of Power Up Punch. Is there a barrier or something that blanks normal moves the way Garchomp item blanks out? It doesn't blank it, it halves it. And I don't know where, if anywhere, I can get those kinds of items. Would be nice, though. Right, uh, while we're at it, Kaladin, you wouldn't happen to be able to learn how to Drain Punch, would you? Or any kind of fighting move? It's the only thing that's going to be super effective against normal. I think. Yeah, just fighting. Can't learn low sweep. Doubt you. Oh, well, you could learn Power Up Punch, but I don't think that would do you any good. Because you're going to get too hit by it anyway, with super effective buffing up punches like that. However, that might make you quite effective against some of the other things. Let's we'll see if there's another stronger one. The problem with Power Up Punch is it's so. so not strong at all. The buff is nice, though. Yeah, we figured you couldn't do Drain Punch. Finboy can learn Drain Punch. You've got a lot of rubbish on you right now, so maybe, just maybe, this is what we need. Get rid of Zen Headbutt, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Isn't Fair useful against something that I'm fighting? Yeah, that dragon. None of these are keen to give out a snog, though. Oh, now that could be useful on Kaladin. A brick break. Oh, well, why am I even looking at this? You already know hammer arm. You can hammer arm that thing to death and potentially kill it in one hit. No, and yes, yeah, stop. Power Up Punch is a great idea on me if I survive, says Calvin. You won't. You'll get Power Up Punch once, and then a second time, and then you do your Power Up Punch, and then you're going to get hit by Power Up Punch, which is 200 and 250% stronger. So, no. I think this is as good as we'll get. Although I should double check the natures. I want um, attack on you. Good. The question is, do I use Kaladin for your hammer arm, or do I use Pax Am 
for your drain punch. Mm, it's not an easy choice. It's stab versus more power. I think I'll do Paxam for drain punch. I'd like to keep Kaladin alive if possible. Yeah, I could also give you a berry to prevent you being paralyzed, but I think I'd rather just have you buffed up a bit. So you have your black belt, you've got soft sand. I'd actually, I think I'd rather buff up your fighting. I'll give you a black belt, Kaladin. You're ground, so you wouldn't get paralyzed at least. Take your soft sand and give you another black belt. I'm sure I've got one hanging around. It's called the black belt, right? I'm sure I have one in the in the box. Looks like raid dens have Scyther, Star, you and Tauros left. Uh, all of those I think I can find. Uh, Scyther and Tauros in the um, in the Safari. The only thing that I need to get out of Rain Dead is a Mew, I believe. And that's very late if we get that far. Which is starting to look worse and worse as we lose more and more of our great Pokemon. Let's get this Black Belt on to you. And what am I even doing with Finboy here again? Perhaps you... Oh, it's Expert Belt. That's as good as any. Don't let me down, Finn boy. You could be the ace in the hole here. Right, nature's and away we go. And I think everybody's good to go. Expert belt. I mean, what are you really gonna do? I should probably get rid of Rain Dance for Scald in case it comes down to that. Wait, why did I? Oh yeah, you have Drain Punch now. So I should probably also give you the. Um... I've given you Expert Belt. Mm. Now I could suicide you for a Rain Dance, but Water-type moves are going to cease to be that useful after a while, I think. Water is halved by Dragon, even if it is boosted against Ground. And Yawn is just too much RNG. I mean, yes, it will hit, but uh, the enemy could wake up next turn. I really don't like. Psychic is still reasonably strong against most things. One thing I'm not happy about is I don't have an answer to that teapot right now. Fighting won't work against teapot. Actually, what will? Calmest has to be the one to take out teapot. And we're not sure that that sucker punch is going to do it, because it might buff up again. A 1.5 boost isn't enough to justify it. It's not what I'm going in for. Well, actually, if I'm going to be hitting with you physically, and probably not mentally, I might buff attack and drop um, and drop speed. Tobias would be double speed in the rain. What, really? That's not good enough at this point, though, I think. Because Tobias is going first and likely die. Uh, what did I say? Attack up and speed down. Naughty. Right, I don't have high hopes about this team going in, but we're trying it anyway. At least we know what's coming. In terms of... Uh, Genghis Khan being the second Pokémon out. Probably. You know, what if it's not? Kalmus will almost certainly one-hit KO Teapot with Sucker Punch. Yeah. Actually, even if it does self-buff, that self-buff lowers defense. So, next shot, Sucker Punch would slaughter it anyway. I think we'll be okay, but Kamis has to survive to meet the Teapot, or else Teapot is going to have us for tea. Which is why I do not want to have... Um... Maybe I could take the opportunity to switch. Anyway, I think this is as good as we go, so let's meet again, Giovanni. I've brought your lunch money. <sighs> I'm 
be an amazing moment to figure out that I didn't uh, have my Pokemon arranged the correct way. Something poetic about the most insulted of late game mons being a blocker. The most insulted of late game mons? Don't know what you mean by that. Oh, right, right, late gen mons, and you mean the teapot. The teapot's not a blocker. We haven't wiped once to it. Okay, Scald, let's hope this doesn't somehow not kill this time. I would hate to have to deal with those sharp rocks again. Phew. Super effective, stab, boosted up. Should be easy pickings there. Sandstorm is nothing to the ash, right? Now, what was I doing here again? Was I just hoping to die? I've managed to forget what I do here. I think I switched out. Yeah, I switched out to Pack Sam, didn't I? Because it's going to fake me out. Yeah, so I get the free switch. Now, if I switch out to Calmest, Calmest is in for a really bad time. So it's either going to be Pax, Finn, or Kaladin. Kaladin will not be affected by the Sandstorm, which is a pretty big win. He'll still be faked out, but it'll be very ineffective against him. But then our friend is going to start power up punching. So if Kaladin can't kill it in one shot, we're in a lot of problems. I might have to somewhat sacrifice Pax Am just to get those hits in. So that's probably how it's going to go. Pax Am, don't get paralyzed this time, please. Go in there and drain punch him. He also gets special defense from the Sandstorm, which is pretty useful versus Kangas Khan. Who's he? Right, Mega Evolved and Faking Out. Not unexpected, but it does do a dangerous amount of damage and hits twice. And the Sandstorm hurts us, but at least it hurts us both. Yeah. Right, now. Don't let me down, Drain Punch. He's probably going to Body Slam. We should survive. We should survive. Oh, come on! That's right. Drain it down. Drink it down. Wow, that was pretty damn good. You know, might actually survive. Might. Don't hurt me, paralyzed. Do not hurt me. The body slams are given. It's not a problem. Not a problem. Oh my days, he did it. I'm in disbelief, but Paxam took down Mega Kangaskhan on his own and still has slightly under half his health, but he's paralyzed, so he will definitely go second no matter what. That wasn't lucky, that was just not quite enough bad luck. Oh, hello Garchomp, you're a problem for me. A big problem. Because you're going to buff up on your first turn. What was my plan against you again? Oh, I can circle throw you out, assuming that you're going to buff up. That would actually be quite good, getting you out of here so I can deal with you later. Assuming that you're buffing up. Ah, oh, damn it, saw it coming. Okay, what was my plan against Garchomp? We're talking Dragon Ground. Dragon Ground. Now, Rudels could go in there and uh, hit it with that Ice Beam again. No, no, Rudels is going to go in with the Dragon Attack. Dragon attack. It's super effective. And it's same type and boosted. And it's special, which you have boosted. So, Rudels, go out there and make us all proud. This is probably your last stand. I love Jake's plans. He makes one, then improvise. Yeah, I, I have no good short term memory. So, I just have to make things up as we go along. Remember, there's Ice Shard if this almost kills it, but doesn't quite. Oh, it's going straight for the scale shot without boosting. 
Let's hope it only hits twice, because if it hits five times, I think we're toast. Alright, slow down, slow down. Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Come on! Oh, my God, that's horrible. How often do you get one of those and land every five hits? Oh, and it's, uh... Speed is up for that. Good for you, Garchomp. Hmm, well, that's a problem now, isn't it? Because <sighs> Dragon is ineffective against Steel, which I do not have here. There's a 35% chance it'll hit two times. 35-3, 15-4, and 15-5, says Jagger. Thanks, I feel much better now. Okay, well, Kaladin at least has some... Um... Um, good defense going for them. They're an option. But well, we're talking about Ground Dragon. None of this is going to mulch that. Mm. Yeah, Kaladin would die to Earthquake, wouldn't it? Because Ground doesn't block ground in any meaningful way. Finboy and Tobias would be somewhat sacrificial. He's already buffed up though, hasn't he? Yeah, I think his speed went up and defense down. And it's not like I'm hitting him physically. And he's probably very fast, so I bet Karmist wouldn't be able to hit first. But Karmist could go and fake it out. At least. But that's all. None of this would really help. How does Psychic feel about all this? Could go for the Yawn and try and Ice Beam it. Might be my only hope. Alright, Finn Boy, I'm going to put all my hopes on you. That's assuming you survive, which you most likely won't. Oh, well, it's going for the self buff at least. It's going to fall asleep next turn. Does it fall asleep before or after its attack? I don't know. Does anybody know? I got nothing that's going to be particularly effective against this. After. End of the round. So we might just have to sacrifice Finboy here. And then we just try and slaughter it with whatever. But, um... They're probably going to switch their Pokemon out. Giannabi. Uh, Giovanni. What would he switch to? He would switch to either, um... Steel Ground. Or what else does he still have? The Teapot. The freaking Teapot. Finboy's going to die, so... Maybe a Rain Dance wouldn't be too bad if we're going to be fighting... Uh, steel ground. I mean, who's going to be doing that? Tobias could pump out some nasty water and be increased in speed. I mean, this is assuming that Finboy lives, which Finboy will not. Actually, Finboy's going to die in one shot. I don't know what I'm even thinking about here. Oh, oh, well, I wasn't thinking about that. Hello, Teapot. Uh, it's not going to fall asleep now, is it? It'll probably self-buff, so maybe I could yawn again and force it to get the hell out of here. It's gonna hit me with something nasty, though. But it's it's kind of good for me if you die here, uh, Finn boy. It is actually pretty good for me if you die here, because then I can switch into um, Sucker Puncher. Kind of a shame to do this, but... Not like you have that switch hit thing, which I kind of wish I'd given you now. Didn't even consider it. Swap Calmist for the Sucker Punch. If I swap, then they get a free turn on me. And they will hit uh, Calmist with whatever. Although maybe they're going to buff up first. They might buff up. 
They might not hit Finboy here. No, they're going to hit Finboy with a dark attack because it's super effective against Psychic. They're not dark, a ghost attack. And I don't have a normal to switch out and tank that, do I? No, I never do. Ghost is half effective against dark, but we don't have one of those either. So Finboy could just come here to die. Ah, but I've still lost my one way of taking out that other Pokemon. Does Ghost hit fighting? Ghost does hit fighting. And it's uh, fully effective against it as well. Kaladin might be able to eat it a bit, but I don't want to waste Kaladin like that. Mind you, what would Kaladin not be wasted against here? I can't believe Rudels is dead. I'm just shocked and appalled. How's your special defense, Tobias? You're apparently going to be faster in the rain, so you might actually be fast enough to get your next shot off. But unfortunately, it's not going to be a particularly good one. The reason I'm thinking about keeping Finboy alive is in case I want to yawn again at the... Um at the dragon thing, and I probably do, because it might well be the last one alive. <sighs> the troubling thing is, they still have that ground thing, but Karmist might be able to take it down. So do I sacrifice Tobias? Do I sacrifice Kaladin? The rain won't last forever, Tobias. You would get one shot off against the teacup here and it wouldn't be enough. Kaladin would be slower as well and probably get mulched by something else it has. I don't know what it would be, though. But it might withdraw and bring back the other thing, and then your hammer arm might work out well here. It's, it's a whole load of do-they-know-what-I-know-what-they-know kind of thing. I'm convinced it's going to use the... Um the dark attack. I'll have a go with TBS. Risky. Very risky. But yawning might be my only way out of uh, out of the other guy. There's a shadow ball as expected. Uh -huh. Well that rain means that we're faster. We are going to get a hit in here. I could get a protect screen up. That might save us from that dragon attack. It looked physical. Oh, no, no. It just saves us from one attack, doesn't it? No, no. I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of, like, screen shield or something to that effect. Maybe I should just go for the scold and hope that it kills me, or... I switch, anticipate... No, it's probably going to go for the kill. I doubt it's going to buff up here. I doubt it's going to buff up if it, can, if it can go for the kill. So let's go for the Scald. Besides, we might still kill the thing. Oh, damn. Oh, double dam. Yeah, as expected. It went for the kill, which would have been very bad news for our good friend. Right, Karmist, you're up. You're gonna murder this thing. And then potentially murder the next thing that comes out too. Is that really the way this is gonna go down? It's burnt, and I have a priority attack. But it's probably gonna buff up, which will negate my my Sucker Punch. But I can just Sucker Punch it next turn, nothing's lost. I can't be I can't be drawn into Fake Out, it wouldn't work. Alright, Calmist, you're up. So... It's probably best to go Sucker Punch, because if it buffs up, it doesn't matter. I'll miss, but it's okay. It's unlikely to buff considering it's health. Really? Well, let's, let's find out. Oh, well, it can do that as well. Hello, Garchomp. Here's my Sucker Punch, and it failed because... 
Why did it fail? What am I meant to do against Garchomp? It's gonna buff up and murder me. Yeah, I guess kicking him is an option. He's likely gonna self-buff. But he might just try and straight up kill me. What do you think? Buff or killing me? Will he buff up again? He lost his buffs because he switched in and out. Yeah, he might just go for the, the kill and another 5 hit. But I'm not going to kill him with a sucker. Oh, I can't do anything with a sucker punch. Actually, why did sucker punch do nothing? I don't recall it ever misses. It doesn't. Why then? Dark is not nothing against anything. Oh yeah, it only hits if he uh, if he attacks, of course. All right, I have to hope that he's going to buff up here, but that still doesn't give me much to work with. Get the high jump kick. Pray for the crit and that he self buffs. Oh right, yeah, he knows earthquake. <laughs> bye bye, calmest. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sucker punch for the kill. He's probably going to try and hurt you again. He's probably going to try and hurt you again. Kill it. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> Earthquake's gonna murder Kaladin. Ground, same type attack, super effective. It's not unthinkable that Finboy could survive one hit. And one hit's all we need to pull off right now. Kaladin fake out. What? Kaladin does no fake out. Kaladin knows anything but fake out. There's no priority moves here. Kaladin would straight up die to Earthquake. I'm quite certain of that. But Finboy might survive. Might. Probably won't, but might. Switching to Kaladin, sacrificing Sen Hitmon Lee out again for the fake out and sucker punch was a sure win. Uh, it's only a sure win after the fact. We couldn't have known that it would come so close. If I just straight up hit you with Psychic, you're not going to block it. And it always hits. So if we survive, Garchomp dies. Although a Drain Punch would actually give me some health back. No, not enough to justify the risk. Yeah, just psychic the thing dead. So, Earthquake, same type attack, but it's not super effective against us, so we might survive. We have good defense and good health. Alright, get out of here. Get the heck out of here. This is Finboy Town now. Hey, I remember you. You still burn, don't you? <sighs> I'm psychic, its attack will kill me and I'm slower than it. But if I don't sacrifice Finboy, we don't get a chance at all. At all. Yeah, Shadow Ball. Super effective, same type attack. That's a very dead Finboy. <laughs> Maybe Slowbro is fast, who's to say? Okay. It's all on Kaladin. You don't have priority and you're not particularly fast. You just need to hit it 100%. What if the teacup knows levitate? I can't risk an earthquake. Stone Edge can miss. Hammer Arm can miss. Mega Horn can miss. Earthquake's the only one with 100% accuracy and I don't know if Poltergeist levitates. 
Punk Rock Lee says it does not have levitate. Ground attack. No reason to think this won't do it. Well, let's try. Oh no! Four times effective Giga Drain! Bye, Kaladin! Bye, 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 Kaladin. That was unreal. Ah. Well, I guess now the teapot is the one that blocked this run. That was unbelievable. Giovanni's got the whole pallet town, doesn't he? Alright, let's chalk up the, the losses there. That was savage. Uh, also, uh, we need another hero's box. A lot of heroes in this war. Get these guys. Oh, get these guys over here. Sorry, but Phil, your town is encroaching on you. <laughs> I'm not going to posthumously upgrade my failures to heroes. Okay, good, we can have identical names here. Okay, right, Omastar, despite doing your job every single time, you've gotten two marks. We have lost our Lapras in the first fight it ever fought in. Failure. Amazingly, there's still a bit of life left in Hitmonlee, which is good. You're about the only answer I have to some of these problems. Polyrath. I need you back into the fray. I can't believe Rhydon's still going, actually. Damn right on. Oh, but Slowbro is gone for good. Okay. We are scraping the barrel here. Really scraping that barrel. Mm. Mm. <laughs> What's a man to do? Tobias can get rid of the uh, the hippo. Polyrath can, as long as he doesn't, you know, die to paralysis. Take out the Genghis Khan. He might be better going. Nah, nah. The odds of paralysis are so low; it's not worth taking a berry against. Uh, Hitmon Lee is still there for good utility. Saint Kaladin. If you could do something other than die every time I deploy you, that would be nice. We still don't have an answer to that ground dragon Pokemon, do we? I lost my only dragon types. And the only thing that's going to work well against it is dragon or ice. Incidentally, I've lost my ice types. Also, it's really fast and deadly. How, how did they get away with making such powerful Pokemon? It's unreal. We haven't seen Worm in action. Mm, Worm might be able to do something against that uh, that dragon thing because normal is not reduced against dragon. Worm could go and uh, Giga Impact on it. See how that works. We also have Dark. Dark is good against Ghost. Ghost is not good against uh, you. Worm could actually take on the Teapot. I don't think that steel helps out much. There's no ice and no rock and no fairy to kill with it. Yeah, yeah, Worm could probably take out the teapot. Worm can learn Ice Fang or Ice Beam, whatever it's worth. Hmm. Hopefully Ice Fang, since it's more about attack. 
He has his leftovers, but I, uh, that might save him from a nasty demise. Or it might be better just to boost his normal attack. I don't think he's going to be in there long enough to make leftovers much of a strategy. Still, I think you should join the team. Worm, sit on my foes for me. Not really sure Kaladin's bringing much to the party here. He would get power up punch to death. So there's not really a lot he can deal with, and ground attacks are just so deadly against him. I'll switch him out before he becomes just another body on the pile. Could bring Bellcat. Bellcat's always been a good luck charm for these. Yeah, having anything with a four times weakness is asking to die. Silly Charizard. Hmm. Yep, no, what can you do for me? Not a whole lot. Can't risk my Pidgeot, you're my quality thief. Magneton will be shredded by many different things out there. Um, Nido Queen? Poison Ground? Poison, I don't think has that many weaknesses here. Flying and Psychic, we don't see much of either of those. Wait, wrong one. Ground and Psychic, okay, we see a lot of ground. That's a problem for you, Monochrome. Mm. I'm not seeing it, Monochrome, just not seeing it. Mm. Roll out another normal type with Wiggly. No, Wigglytuff's stats are god-awful. Orlov again. Terrible stats. Flying. Poison. Yeah, poison. No, if you're flying. Flying means ground attacks won't hurt, so the poison weakness to ground is negated. They don't seem to use psychic attacks. If you could get in there with some nice... Like, dark attacks and... Um... Ice? No. Hmm. Well, poison is... Uh... What is poison? All of... Poison is reduced by ground. Damn, that ground dragon type. The bugs won't save me here, will they? Still, getting some dark attacks on you. That would help me against a teapot, but I have anti-teapot right now. I've got Worm, and I've got uh, Hitmonlee. Do you have the TM for Toxic yet? I don't know, maybe. I don't think I'd last enough turns to kill something with Toxic, though. Kingler's not an ice type, he wouldn't have stab with that, but water doesn't leave him very vulnerable. He's got good defense. If I could give him... What's Crab Hammer? Wow, pretty powerful water physical attack. That could be good. If I could get you an icy attack, Karth, you can join the team. A physical icy attack, that is. Okay, this is truly scraping the barrel levels here. I will boost... what do you have? Poison Bar boosts Poison, but I don't think I'd be using Poison. What would I be using with you? Don't quite know yet. There was that ground Pokémon, but it was also Steel, which negates you using um, grassy attacks. And that Dragon thing's gonna laugh at uh, grass attacks as well. But your Poison attacks might help. I'll Ice Punch on you. Sorry, no leftovers for you, Worm. We're gonna get you the normal booster. Does anyone have one right now? Not that I use normals for normal boosters often, but there should be someone somewhere. Haha, <laughs> what a failure. Right. Really? Nobody has a normal booster? I am surprised. Black belt, black belt. Nobody has the expert belt, which is probably worth giving out. 
In fact, Worm could probably get the expert belt so both his dark bite and his body slam hurt more. And who had that? I think it was Hitmonchan. Well, you don't have it anymore. Who else had it? Expert belt. Give me that. And give it to Worm. And then, what do I want? Water or ice? Water's not going to be terribly useful. Ice will probably be better. You don't have stab, but... Uh, that thing that acts as the ice attack is painful. So very painful. And you're not that fast either. But ice is the best I can think of right now. <laughs> Stealing pelts off the dead has more in common with RimWorld than you might think. So I'll get some moves on Karth. What about Bellcat? It's a decent special attack. Huh, knockoff is dark. A lot of physical grass attacks, which is not really what the doctor ordered here. Steel resists grass. Ground resists grass. Why am I even bringing you on the team, Bellcat? I was probably thinking about something to do with poison. Since poison isn't necessarily weakened, but this is a physical poison. And I'd really rather have special attack poison. Is there such an attack? A special attack poison? If there is, you might be able to use that. Do some actual damage. Yeah, we brought them for luck, huh? Could do with a bit of luck against Giovanni. Eyes open for the poison ones. Actually, dragon attack. No, that's not it. Venoshock. It's really low power, though. Not good enough. Dragon Tail. Low priority, but I could tell that other dragon thing to get the hell out of there. If I had anyone that could use it. Oh, we're not thinking about Sabrina yet, Detour. We have to get there. I'm not sure if Bellcat's uh, cut out for this. I'm not seeing any utility. Get back into Strike 2. Ah. Uh, I do like Firo, and Firo is very fast, and hits pretty hard, but they'd have to hit with attacks that are actually going to do something. Now, Ground hits hard against Steel, and isn't negated by Ground, so you might be good against that, uh, that thing that digs around the whole time. Other than that, though, um, Dragon doesn't resist, ground, uh, doesn't resist flying, but Ground completely negates it. Could I teach you something that might stand a chance against that dragon ground thing? That dragon ground thing, is it possible? Because that speed could help out. That dragon ground thing is a real tough one to figure out. I don't think I can rely on Karma sticking out out again for me. Uh, well, there's a couple of, there's a few levels to give up first, so let's see if any of those have Nice uh, moves for me. Uh, high horsepower. I have been brutalized by that attack before. What does it do again? It's a ground attack. Very high damage. I don't think I'm ever going to get a belly drum off, so I think I might replace that with high horsepower. Not that ground is going to be particularly good against any of these things. No more so than normal would be. It notably doesn't hit uh, everyone in double battles, unlike Earthquake. Uh, but you would want that. You'd bring in someone that's a flyer and not affected by such things. Karth. Red Crane. No new moves. Get that saved, and first I'll check the relearner in case I have managed to dodge some kind of ice attack for any of these. 
Oh, I am at the relearner. Uh, relearner. I get to listen to all of his dialogue again. Holy moly, this whole run has been pain. Three and a half hours of just losing my good Pokemon. If you could know the pain I'm going through. Rock, ground, water, water, normal, normal, water, ground, normal, normal, water. That doesn't sound pretty... That doesn't sound useful to us. And how about you, Firo? Works especially well on a foe that's switching out. It's a very hard thing to be sure of. No. no I'm not seeing a lot of helpful stuff here. I'm still unsure if bringing in Red Crane is a good idea or not. I'm mostly just looking at their ability to... Boost critical hits, that's cool. Um, wait, why would I even care about that? Oh no, flying... Uh, flying is negated by ground. Why am I even thinking about bringing you in? You don't have stab with ground. Yeah, I'm not convinced on Red Crane. I need to rethink that one. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I've been watching Lethal Dark Side State of Decay. I was hoping... This has been kind to you. Oh no no, give me give me like three lethal dark sides in state of decay over this. Lethal dark side is difficult, but you know what you're dealing with there. Here it's just oh by the way, I can resist ice now. Goodbye all your plans and a lot of your pokies are now dead. <clears throat> Hold on, flying works against the teapot, doesn't it? You might actually be a not too shabby idea to use against the teapot, although it can use its big buff thing. Might be a good idea to have you just in case. Yeah. Hmm. To be fair, Jake, people that know Pokemon as well, as you know, Lethal Dark Side might have what they might have anticipated that uh, ice resist, possibly. It was the same attitude I had when I, de uh, I decided that surely uh, Erica would have fire resist berries and she didn't. Right, let's go and see if we can get that icy attack on Kingler and have another stab at Giovanni. Where is that taught again? Yeah, Vermillion. Earthquake would indeed be ineffective against flying. If I think that the foe is going to use uh, Earthquake, I could switch out for a flying type. It's true. Alright, Ice Fang on Kingler. No, how about an Ice Punch? Yeah, there we go. I doubt you're going to need Slash where we're going, but I doubt even more that you're going to need Protect. Do you have any good flyers left? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Hopefully I can get myself some legendary birds at some point. Okay, so Tobias murders the Hippopotamus. Paxam murders the um, Genghis Khan. And then what came out? I think the dragon thing came out after that, didn't it? And the dragon thing would probably slaughter Paxam in one shot which is when we bring out Worm, and Worm would do his utmost to crush it in one shot. I'd get, well, I doubt he'd one shot it. Normal is stab, but it's not super effective. But I might want Worm against the teapot. Well, uh, we have, we have Calmist for, oh, Calmist could potentially kill the dragon thing again. Also, Red Crane. Should be fast enough to get a hit in. Just wish I could give you some attack that wasn't flying to use for this. I mean, I could get rid of Roost and give you something else. Does anybody know of some decent moves that Red Crane can learn? A Fero. Otherwise, I have to go through my TMs one by one, which is a bit, you know, awful. I doubt you know how to punch. Fly for starters. No, I don't think I want Fly. I'd rather have Brave Bird. I don't want to give the enemy a chance to switch out there to a ground Pokemon, which would make my move miss. Oh, I do have Toxic. Hey, Red Crane can do Toxic.
let's see, Taunt, Ice Beam, can you learn Ice Beam? No, of course you can't. Worm can, which is a little bit interesting, but I think I'd rather him use his normal. Didn't Kamas only survive with two hit points from Garchomp? Doesn't mean... It yeah, it could. But I have to take what chances I can here. Aren't you normal flying? Yeah, but you, you can't do a, an annoying voice. Hmm. You can't somehow use a flamethrower, can you? Now, Fairy is good against Dragon, and it's not blocked by... Um, it's not blocked by ground. And I think I have a half-decent Fairy attack here. I don't know who could learn it, though. Where is it? Yeah, Dazzle Beam. But I don't know who in the original 151 can learn Dazzle Beam. Might be useful, though. That would be super effective. You could check the Play Rough tutor. What's so good about Play Rough? Well, the the truth is it might be good for um, for my Fero here. Play Rough is Fairy. Really? Physical 1990 Fairy move. Sounds as good as I can hope for right now. I can't believe the Mega Kangaskhan is somehow the least of my worries here. Where's the pervert? He's up here somewhere. Is it you? Is it you? How about I teach you Play Rough? And no one can learn it. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, Clefable's dead. Wigglytuff isn't dead, but I don't think Wigglytuff is fairy. They could probably learn the fairy attack, though. But their stats are so bad. My Wigglytuff has just got awful stats. It's TBW for you. So you are... Oh no, you're normal fairy! That changes things slightly, but only slightly. You're an HP tank and you would die in one hit to almost anything, but... You could use your Moon Blast to eradicate the uh, the thing. I just doubt you'll get much of a chance to use it. Hmm. Might be a better idea than bringing the bird, but you're slow. It would get an attack off. Probably one that would kill you. Hmm. You think Earthquake would kill TBW? 240 health is a lot to take down. That's a lot to take down. It took a four times stab to bring down Rhydon. There might be a chance that TBW can survive to get that shot off as long as the thing hasn't buffed up. Hitmonlee survived barely and has barely more defense. Yeah, but we have a lot more. Okay, TBW might be able to really prove themselves here. This saves me having to worry about this accursed Firo having nothing useful. Get back into Strike 2, Firo. Red Crane was a great name for you. Um, you're already slow as sin, so I might as well just reduce your speed further. And... What is it now? Special, physical, special, physical... I'll, dro I'll drop your physical attack. Is Fairy going to be weak against any uh, Not effective against anything he uses. Fire, poison, steel. Oof, not effective against steel, huh? It's a problem. Another, another Gyro Ball might be useful if his speed is lowered even further. Isn't that a steel attack? Steel attack isn't going to do much against anything that Giovanni is using. Oh, TBW is due a level up, though. They'll have even more sponginess. 
So special attack up, attack down for modesty. And then we have a fairy hitter. One fairy hitter, I better take good care of them. And let's get that rare candy shoved into TBW's maw. Look at that, four more hit points, just what we were looking for. And then I need to give you a fairy boosting item, and then we're ready to go and take on the Giovanni yet again. This hack does break tight norms quite a bit, even in gems. I wouldn't know, I just assumed it all changed in the later gens. Right, what's the fairy booster? Ground, thunderbolt, steel, dark, bug, fire, poison, rock, electric, grass, normal, psychic, fairy. You don't need to uh, switch out, do you? Your attack. Oh, oh, wow, you definitely do. Attack up and special attack down. Oh, heavens, yes. That's some good defense on Karth. Right. It would be very funny if TBW survives with a few hit points. Hard to say, though, because they got some defense up as well. But if they survive with, uh, say, 10 or fewer hit points, it would probably be down to that level up. Okay, is everybody ready to rock and roll? Mystic Water, Black Belt, Black Belt, Expert Belt, Never Melt Ice, Pixie Plate. Good, 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 good. Does he need that extra speed? Did it matter? I gave you that speed in the hopes that you'd be able to crush Genghis Khan, but it didn't come down to that. Genghis Khan gets poly somethinged. If I instead boosted your defense, you'd be able to survive Earthquake better. Well, it'd be less on my mind. I might actually do that. Because you weren't fast enough to get the first hit on that uh, accursed ground dragon Pokemon anyway. Yeah, let's make sure you can actually survive a hit. You could before, but I want to be a bit more sure of it. Defense up, special attack down. Impish. That was the one, right? Yeah, probably. He had, I think, 84 defense before. And now... 91. That's not good, but it should be the difference between life and death for you. Whatever the case, this is, what, the fifth fight against Giovanni? Completely scraping the barrel here. The young and the infirm have been sent out to war, and we don't expect many of them back. I don't even dare to expect victory, but we gotta go. Um, in a boss fight, Rocket Elf, items are prohibited. No potions, no revives, no pokey flute, no burn heal, no items at all. Also, you don't get to freely switch your Pokémon when your enemy does. So, uh, if I defeat one of their Pokémon and they pull out their next, you don't get prompted for if you want to choose your next one. Man, Garchomp really is something else. How do they get away with that? What a Mary Sue Pokemon. It has one weakness, and you can put one berry on it to negate that. Not to mention, it looks like it can sweep and keep. So, Tobias goes and wrecks the um, the Hippo, and this is Tobias' last opportunity to ever do anything for the team. And he won't have seen any fight other than Giovanni. Paxam goes, eats a fake out, and hopefully destroys Genghis Khan, and doesn't get paralyzed in the process. And then we play it by ear, but we have Karmist to kill maybe the dragon, uh, certainly the ground steel, and sucker punch to death the teapot. Worm can crunch the teapot and hopefully squish the dragon thing. TBW can moonblast the dragon thing, and Karth can ice punch his way to victory, and he has water against that ground thing. So I've got a lot of bases covered. Can't, remember, can't forget that teapot and those Giga Drain, so I can't deploy a water thing against it. Let's go, Giovanni. I've got your lunch money again. I used that one already. Yeah, this is more late World War One. Okay. I'll just compose myself a bit before this. Grab a quick drink. Ah. <sighs> 
wish that I could turn the clock back by four hours and shell past myself. No, just tell them that, you know, the ROM glitched your save and it's all gone and the run is over. Spare me this humiliation. Let's go, Hippo. You're going Hippo down. Is this going to be where I learned that, once again, I needed to bring my electric types? Alright, Scald will kill you. It always has. No reason to think it wouldn't now. Imagine if Scald had a chance to miss. I'd be uh, heart in my mouth every time. He only has five mons. It's not even fair. We're not here to play fair. Alright, is it Genghis Khan? It is Genghis Khan. So he's going to fake out. This gives us a freebie to switch over to Pax Am. Hmm, no, should stick with the stick with the winning strategy here. Pax Am can handle it. Not having to deal with those rocks switching in and out is already very nice. But this ugh. There's the fake out. I miss I miss Gengar so much. Gengar didn't take any of that. So, uh, provided that Paxam survives, Drain Punch will bring him back up to operational hit points. You have to pass two paralysis checks. Yeah. Okay, Drain Punch away. As long as the Body Slam doesn't crit or paralyze or anything like that, we're okay. Oh wait, doesn't it? Oh Christ, I realized it has two chances to paralyze with that. Whew, well, thankfully, we still got our punch off. And back comes the hit points to daddy. I guess we just go for another drain punch and hope that uh, we get this one going. I could flip turn. There's a reasonable chance I could kill him with that, since it's a stab water attack. And then I'd be able to have a fresh Pokemon come out for the next fight. But I can't remember who he uses, so it's probably not worth changing up the strategy at this point. So, Drain Punch away. Body Slam don't crit. And Paralysis don't proc. Well, that is a goddamn shame. Well, we are straight up dead here, but uh, I could deploy Hitmon Lee, and then Hitmon Lee would sucker punch Genghis Khan to death. We don't know if that's true, though. We don't know if sucker punch will kill Genghis Khan. I mean, why wouldn't it? He can fake out as well, that's true, and it might be worth doing the fake out just to ensure we get the kill, even though... No, but I can't afford uh, I can't afford Hitmonlee to take the extra damage, because Hitmonlee is needed to take down, potentially, the, uh, the big cheese. Does anyone else have a priority attack? Tobias will get crushed by Earthquake. Aqua Jet on Kingler? Does Kingler have Aqua Jet? I don't think I left them with Aqua Jet. I did not. I'm starting to wish I did. Priority move would have been a good idea. However, you would not be particularly weak to anything that um, Genghis Khan does, and your defense is very good. You got a defense of 153, and the late Pax AM. Oh, and 130. Damn. Yeah, uh, what I want to avoid is Kamas taking too much damage from all these sandstorms. But somewhat sacrificing Karth might not be the best idea about all of that. TBW doesn't somehow have a priority move, do they? No, I don't think so. Huh, <sighs> so if Karth goes in, what happens? Dunno. However, Calmist might it might be good to have Calmist available nice and early because I I suspect that they would throw in the teapot against Calmist. Just an inkling, but uh, Calmist is fighting 
and fighting does nothing against ghost. So it might be better just to get the ghost out of the way using calmest. Let's, let's go for the sure thing. That's what the AI would do. Might as well bring fear. Oh, crap. You know, you're just afraid of having to contribute something to the team, TPW. I know it. Alright, fake it out. Well, I'll be damned. You killed it with just that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, Fira's got the speed, but it just doesn't have the... Well, can't kill. Okay, this is potentially great news for you, because you should be able to... Ooh, man, both would work. Why would fire work? I thought fire is ineffective against ground. No, it's not. Anyway, you go for high jump, because it's stab. 10% chance that it misses and hurts me, but the power is immense. It would one-shot this thing. Or, we switch out. Is that a good idea? It's probably a terrible idea. I should just go for the sure thing and kill it. Easy now, easy now, easy now! Yeah, Calmest has this. Oh, not the Focus Sash! I hate the Focus Sash! Doesn't matter, we both die, but I still hate it. It just comes out of everywhere to do me an- Oh no, it's ground. It's not going to be affected, is it? Crap, there goes my sucker punch. Ah. Oh. oh, that's a pain. And I don't have a priority move to take you down with. God, even quick attack would do it here. Still, you're ground steel. You would die to Karth. But it would probably switch out seeing Karth. So anticipate the switch. What are they going to switch out to? Or I could bring in Borum and still anticipate the switch out. They might bring out the teapot, in which case I would want Borum to crunch it. However, if they bring out the uh, dragon, I'm in, in, I'm in a lot more trouble. Why would they bring the teapot? Ghost doesn't work on normal. Ah, I don't know. Tobias could go in there and could use that um, that switch out shot. But aren't you rock type? Yeah, it's going to use Earthquake if I deploy Tobias. And that thing is fast. If I bring in Karth, I don't think it would do that. It would probably switch Pokemon if I deployed Karth. To which one, I don't know though. Worm with Crunch can't go wrong. It could go wrong, it could switch into the dragon thing, and then I'm going to have a bad time. But then it's Worm against the dragon, even Stevens. That might actually work out. Alright, Worm, get in there and crunch. Seems like the best move. I guess the worst thing Exedrill could do is actually fight me, because then it gets a free hit on, uh, on Worm, but I am 40% sure they're going to switch out. Which meant I was 60% sure they wouldn't. Damn that earthquake. Oh, Borum, don't you be dying on me. That was painful. I don't know how exactly have a rest on you. And you don't have your uh, leftovers either. Hello, Garchomp. You're just going to straight up kill Borum. That's a given. I mean, you might buff up, but I think you'll go for the kill instead. Who do I actually have to deal with you? Well, if you buff up, I suppose I got Tobias and Karth, but if you buff up, you're just, gonna, you're just gonna sweep. I guess TBW can get in there with a fairy attack. Yeah, I think I have little choice but to Giga Impact here. Although, odds are, it's not gonna work at all, but still, go for it. Oh, it's buffing up. That uh, is a problem for me, but what isn't? It would have killed Worm anyway. The least I could do is go for the kill. Right, so what the heck do I do against this thing? It's faster than me, stronger than me, gonna kill me with sharply raised same type attack. TBW would probably die from it. Probably. 
Anybody else would die from it as well, though, to be as doubly so. Yeah, get out there, my tanky one. And use your all-powerful moon blast. Alright, what's it gonna be? Probably an insta kill, it's double, uh... Yeah, okay, this is a sweep. That earthquake is too strong. Same type attack. Double damage. Oh, what? Karth was able to handle that? Uh, I'm in disbelief, unfortunately. Oh, what, what, Hulk, hold on. Now, it's a shame we lost Worm. It's a huge shame we lost Worm. What can even be done here? And it's time for the teapot sweep, I dare say. Not a lot I can do other than crab hammer it with water. Uh... Oh, come on, car! Ah, oh, that speed sharp raise is the worst thing I wanted to see there. It knows Giga Drain! It knows Giga Drain! We're dead! The pain. The absolute pain. Ah, I wish I had a Focus Sash. Oh, that would have won if I'd had the Priority Aqua Jet on. Uh. On Omastar. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The unbelievable thing there was Kingler standing up to Earthquake. There's another thing, um, that Teapot wouldn't have killed TBW. I just figured TBW had a better chance of surviving than Kingler. That was... painful. Well, it's all been painful. Never should have thrown me to die that. You shouldn't have been the one throwing there, Moss Morris. That's why you're in the failure box where you belong. Right, well, on the start. This is painful because you were the one taking care of that hippo. So you're going away in the failure tank. Oh my god, Hitmonlee as well. We are fast running out of options here. Okay, goodbye Polyrath. Well, Worm took his first mark, but he didn't really accomplish anything there, sadly. He did some damage, but it wasn't enough. That's your first time seeing action, Kingler. Right, I have this idea. If I'm ever in the situation where I have some moves I know I'm not going to use, I should probably replace it with a priority move. How does that sound, Kingler? Oh my god, I've lost so many heavy hitters today. Crash Bite, Moss Morris, Cursed JJ, ICPT, Aether Calm is Tobias Finboy, uh, Rosa Tentacruel, Death Shed, Sabletooth, the Aerodactyl, Polyrath, and Lapras. Giovanni has swept up so many of my best. On the positive side, you learnt a lot about Pokemon. Not sure what I've learnt today. Okay. Well, back we go. <laughs> what do I do now? Okay, right, never fear. I have a feeling that Lepips would be able to accomplish the one-hit KO. They'd be able to do exactly the same job that was done by Omnistar. And on the plus side, they wouldn't die to Giga Drain at the last minute. So if exactly the same battle had happened, but I'd used Lepips instead, I would have won. But you can't see these things coming. 
Oh, maybe you could if you think really hard. Is there something better than Giga Drain? Is Mega Drain perhaps better? Whatever the case, I need you out to be the front runner, Lepips. What abilities does your Kingler have? Hidden ability is 1.3 power on things like Crab Hammer. I had no idea about that. Focus Sash did me in anyway, but... I didn't know about that hidden ability. I'm not sure if I have any more bottle caps to give it. There's also the fact that I gave it the Never Melt Ice instead of anything else. Anticipating using its Ice Attack rather than its Water Attack. Didn't it use Ice Punch in the end? Yeah, because it tanked the hit. Mm. Bottle Cats can be farmed. True, true. You can pick up Aqua Jet on Kingler from the Remove Reminder. I will do that. I will most certainly do that, so I've got a priority on you. Wigglytuff was still maybe not the worst idea. Maybe. Maybe I should boost your defense instead. Just so you can actually survive a hit. Boost defense, kill attack. but I'm still going to have you on the team. Too bad for you. Who else can help this? Well, mostly, who have I lost? What? Oh my god, I lost my ability to use fighting moves. Those are what kill Genghis Khan. I need an entirely new way to kill Genghis Khan. It needs to be another type that's not going to eat one of his other attacks, but can deal fighting moves with reasonably good uh, power. What's the problem using Kaladin? Kaladin would get earthquaked to death. Oh, I can pick, take the items off people later on. It's no big deal. Um, 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 gee. Farfetched is... Whew. Well, they'd be able to handle the earthquakes, but God knows what else they'd be hit with. The problem is Farfetch doesn't learn any fighting moves. So I can't have them come and deal with Genghis Khan for me. And you'd still get body slammed. Which would do a lot of damage to your frail body, Krebsig. Hmm. I'm very confident Vile Plume is going to kill just as well as the other thing did. Maybe you can learn Brick Break from the TM. I'm pretty sure I tried that, but hey, it's worth a try. I need some. I need a fighter. I need a stabby fighter on the team, and I think you're the only fighting type I have. Looks like it. Um... Pretty sure I tried Power Up Punch. Oh yeah, there you are. So power up punch is a no. Uh, low sweep was a no. Mm, drain punch was a no, which is a shame. Drain punch is so good. I wonder if TBW would manage to do the works on... No, TBW stats are awful. I need some actual attack power. I was thinking about dealing with that Genghis Khan. Also power up punch would destroy Wigglytuff. And... Brick Break. Oh, well! How about that? We can get a fighting move on you. Fighting is not so good against flying, I think. I think. Yeah, so it wouldn't... It would, it would have to use Body Slam on Krebsig. Now, to be fair, that would probably be quite effective. I'm never going to get a chance to Swords Dance, so let's put Brick Break there. Yeah, Krebsig will get outsped, so it will... Um, it will take a lot of damage. It needs to survive that damage. And it's going to get hit by the Body Slam, most likely. Ugh. 100 defense compared to the 150 that Polyrath had, or 130, I think. It's not looking good. I'm not sure if Krebsig would be able to handle or even get a single hit off of uh, onto that Genghis Khan. 
So I need another Pokemon to go in when you fail. I'm kind of back at that Fero. It's all about the swap strat. You swap to Farfetch to avoid the Earthquake, and you swap to TBW to avoid the Dragon Attack, and just keep that up until he runs out of PP. I don't think the AI runs out of PP in this mod. Also, if the AI is a little smart for that, then I'm out of luck. Brelix at least knows Power Up Punch, and I think has reasonable... Oh, good defense, even. Trouble is Power Up Punch, isn't that great? Could you learn the other kind of punch, the, the Draining Punch? Because I think you could handle all well, your ground. That doesn't help much, but... Um, you could power up punch Genghis Khan. Maybe get in two hits if I boost your defense. I don't know if I can get close combat in this ROM hack max. Well, I don't know how I would. I'm sure it can be found somewhere. What am I thinking of you, Brelix? Drain punch? Yeah, with a bit of Drain Punch and extra defense, you might be able to stand up to Genghis Khan for a few hits. And he's not going to use Power Up Punch on you. Assuming you can learn Drain Punch. Oh, that leaves me with a pretty low roster for the rest of the enemies. And how do I deal with that Ground Steel thing? Maybe Krebsig will be pretty good with it. If he gets a chance, which he might well not. And maybe Wigglytuff could learn a fighting attack as well to help out. Although, maybe I would just use Fairy anyway. No, Fairy is half, uh, half effective against Steel, dang it. Oh, well, you still got Dig there. Hmm, it's not looking good. No, oh, you, you <laughs> don't need very good eyes to see that, do you? Okay, Wiggly. Let's change your nature so that you are... What did I want with you? A bit of defense on you. So, plus defense down... Speed? You're already very slow, so that should be fine. How about you, Brelix? I don't think I've looked into you for a fighting force for some time. I might want to boost your defense instead of your attack. Just so you can stand up to Genghis Khan. Yeah, and I want to teach you a better fighting move. Plus defense, damn special attack. And a TM for that Drain Punch. Where's my Drain Punch again? There we go. Oof. Oh my, even the Pips could have it. That might get me out of a sticky situation, Pips. I find it highly unlikely that you're going to use this at some point, but I find it more likely than Sleep Powder. Sludge Bomb might really help out. Poison could be useful, but I don't think I'll use Sleep Powder, so take the Drain Punch. No, I don't have a club for Marowak, and I don't know where the club is. Oh, damn, you don't—you can't learn Drain Punch. Oh, well. Here you go, TBW. It might save you in a pinch. I doubt it, but, you know, anything's possible. Oh, Giovanni's got the, the biggest kill count in the game so far. And I hate the fact that so far can be used there. It's a 5% on Cubone. Really? What does it do? Is it worth getting for Brelix? Because if Brelix can boost their attack something fierce, that'd be great. Doubles Brelix's attack stat. Holy moly. Then Brelix might be able to clean up the Kangaskhan for us. I recall you had a club. Oh, he already has Thick Club. Huh. Cool. Well, that's handy. 
That means I don't need to go out and get it. Okay, other than far-fetched getting one level up, is there anything else I need to do for these poor people? One thing that's good is that I do know Giovanni inside out now. It's not making my life much easier though. Priority move on Kingler, that's true. Anything else to consider? Maybe get rid of Drain Kiss and give TBW a priority attack just in case. And maybe do the same for High Horsepower. And even one for Krebs. So just priority attacks on everybody just so they can actually help out if it comes down to it. Is your nature right, uh, Krebsig? I don't think we want speed where we're going. What do I want out of you? Up attack, down special attack. As long as it's a priority move and it's not normal type, it'll take care of those focus sashes. Wait, who was a focus sash that killed me? Yeah, it was a teapot, wasn't it? Damn that focus sash, it's just... Come on, if they're gonna use it, give me access to them. Same with the mega rings. Okay, uh... What, 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 what? Priority attacks, which do I have? It was the mole, Jake. Ah, okay, well. Felt like the teapot. Which of these are priority moves? Yeah, hyper frustration, iron tail, return, excited for reflect, teleport, flamethrower, rock tomb, aerial ace, dragon dance, facade, defog, rest, drain, kiss. I can't teach fake out, can I? Would be pretty good if I could. Hey, thief is a dark attack. I can imagine a world where I am desperate for a dark attack. So say goodbye to... Oh, you already know dark... <laughs> you already have one there. A very good one at that. I should keep that in mind. Time to get rid of some of these, I think. Hmm, I could also see a world where I desperately need to kill my enemy, and double edge is the way to take down that dragon ground thing. So let's keep that there. Lepips is a level behind. Ooh, well spotted. Could save the bacon there. Charge beam, drain punch, will the wisp, silver wind. By the way. Yeah, we're, we're done with Train Punch. Do I not have any priority moves here in my TM list? This is a bit sad. Mm, very sad. Okay. Well, what I can do at least is grab... Where is it? Where is it? Flip turn. I could see a world where I want Karth to flip turn. Maybe if he's fighting the... Oh, no, no. Uh, I really can't see a world where he wants that. Not for this fight at least, but I'll give it to you anyway, because I'm never going to want to slash your Metal Claw. Right, let's go and get him that priority move, and we're done here. Cerulean teaches those. Man, Giovanni, it's like he's thought of everything. Yes, yes, here's your mushroom, here's my Karth, and please teach it Aqua Jet. Almost invisibly fast, certain to take, uh, strike first. And we're getting rid of Metal Claw. That's terrible coverage on you now, Karth, but this is all we need for now. There, take your mushrooms. Now, somebody was saying about hidden abilities. 
Prevents attack reduction. Well, we don't have any of that, but apparently we have something that's going to make Crab Hammer stronger. Here's another question. Do I have any bottle caps? Mm. Oh, oh, I've got two bottle caps, right? Let's get that hidden ability for you as well. And Pips needs a candy. Thank you. Rare candy, Le Pips. Nice stat up. I'd love to give more rare candies, but one, I'm not allowing myself to do that, and two, they would just reject my commands anyway. What did I just say I was going to do? Bottle cap usage in saffron. Sheer force will remove aqua jets of priority. What? What? Sh what is sheer force? Oh, you mean uh, the ability that we give to Kingler? Oh, well, that's just fantastic. Okay, never mind, that's incorrect. Oh, man, JJ. It will not remove priority. Oh, whoa, whoa, wrong place. This is not where I get my priority. Uh, not where I use my bottle caps. I can't remember where I do actually use my bottle caps here. There'll be somewhere that takes them. Is it you? What is liquidation? I've had that used on me and it was horrible. Eighty-five, but a hundred percent chance to hit. Oh, oh, because crab hammer missing would be the worst. But no, I gotta I gotta rely on the old crabby hammer. Sheer Force won't count for Crab Hammer, apparently. What? JJ, give me a straight answer that I can work with. You've been yanking my chain back and forth here. Where's the bottle cap guy? Ah, here we go. Uh... To Sheer Force, there we go. Now, what other hidden abilities can we get here? Gluttony, I have no idea what that is. Hmm. Effect Spore. I wonder if that makes the spores 100% chance to contact. That would make Sleep Spore a bit better. Ice is still double for the first hit and then four times for the next. I don't suspect I'll get a next hit, but I'd rather do the double damage while I can. Sheer Force doesn't count for Crab Hammer. Okay, so do I use Liquidation or Crab Hammer? Does Sheer Force make Liquidation better? Crab Hammer, 100... Trades added effects for power. My crit rate. Oh, but the added the other thing has the added effect, the defense down. So I think I'd rather get that going. Uh, you're not the guy that teaches it. Who who is it? You. All right, Karth. This is your time to liquidate, and we won't have the stress of missing anymore. Okay. Crutching on JJ is giving me false advice here. He's a monster. He's in Giovanni's pocket. Okay, are we good with what we have, though? I'm not boosting my water attack on Karth, because I suspect I'm going to want the ice boost against uh, the Dragon of Hell. Miracle Seed to boost your uh, grassy attack. Now, here's the thing. I can't be 100% sure that Giga Drain is going to kill the... Uh, the hippo thing. I'm fairly certain it will. But how can I be sure? Do I have a stronger special grass attack? Um, oh, it's also going to boost uh, ice punch. Well, that's quite good. Right, grass. Bullet seed is physical. Giga drain is what I already have. And maybe giga drain is the best. I doubt I'm going to have something better than that in here. Energy Ball. 
Now that sounds like business. It's going to be better than Petal Storm right now, that's for sure. Okay, I can't think of anything more that I could prep up for this fight. Uh, they all have the right items, correct? Miracle Seeds, Never Melt Ice, Pixie Plate, Expert Belt, Sharp Beak. <laughs> no, that's the wrong thing! You will not be using flying moves, Krebsig. You will be using fighting moves. And I don't think I have any spare black belts for you. So glad I checked. Black belt, 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 belt. I really did not get enough of those. My Kangaskhanite. Dreaming of the day I can have a Kangaskhan of my own. Lepips, of all these Pokemon, you are the least likely to die. Because you, unless that uh, nasty hippo isn't killed by you, in which case I'm very disappointed and utterly surprised as well, you will be the last Pokemon deployed. And so every other Pokemon has to die before you. Well, maybe. Depends on what happens with the teapot. Alright. Not sure if this is the best shot we've had, but it's the best shot we've currently got. Take that black belt, give it to Farfetch'd, get rid of the other thing, double check that he's actually got that now. <laughs> Gachomp with the flamethrower, oh man, don't say it. What does Gachomp know? That dragon multi-hitting attack, um, earthquake, sword stance, there is another move we haven't seen off of it, I dare, I dare say. But why would it have a fire attack? The thing is strong... I... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Covering all bases, I suppose. The teapot is about uh, to acquire a level of infamacy previously only reserved for Serperior. No, the, the thing is, the teapot's just coming in and finishing off the job. Serperior took it all upon itself and did a very impressive job. Made it all the better to take down... I don't feel anything from taking out the teapot. Also, the teapot doesn't look smug like the other one. Boy, I need so many more Pokémon once we get through this. I'm not even sure if I'm going to have the freedom to get more Pokémon, because I have to deal with Sabrina as well before I get Surf, I think. All doing this does is open me up to that battle. Oh man, could I just undo all of today's stream and start again? All right, Lepips is up first, and Lepips's special attack is even larger than that of Omnistar's, and Energy Ball should murder this ground-type Pokémon, because grass is effectively as ground, just as water is. Let's go! I found its fourth move, but I don't want to spoil this detour. Very good. Oh god, imagine if it was Roost. So sick of fighting things that have Roost. Well now, let's have at. First thing Lepips has to do is prove themselves. They're actually going to take damage from the Sand Stream, but that's nothing worth caring about in my opinion. Let's hit you with that Energy Ball. Massive 108 damage, or 108 power. No reason this wouldn't kill Hippo, uh, Hippodon. Oh, what if Hippodon had some kind of item that uh, prevented it from taking extra grass damage? Let's imagine that, and have fun imagining it, because it didn't happen. But if it had, oh. Well, good job, Lepips. One down. Ah. Why? Why did you bring out Poltergeist instead of Kangaskhan? Um, that's because Kangaskhan could use Earthquake to take down Lepips. You, on the other hand, have Shadow Ball, which is a ghost attack which is not effective against me. You have that... L uh, you have Giga Drain. You probably have some kind of... Let me think about my weaknesses. I'm Grass. 
So you probably have a fire, an ice, or a flying or bug attack. I'm going to guess psychic since you're ghostly. Uh-oh. Well, uh... Hmm. Huh. I'd like to drink the tea. I bet Worm could drink the tea, but, uh... I don't want to sacrifice Worm just like this, though. Because Worm's going to get hit once and then hit again. Would it have used a ground attack on us? Could it have? Doubt that. Krebsig is fighting though. Can't bring in fighting. Fighting would get mulched. Damn it. Psychic strong against so many things. I can only counter it with bugs or steel. Neither of which I have. TBW or Borm, which is more useless. TBW, kind of. But even if TBW goes out, I don't have something that's super effective against Ghost, do I? I mean, Fairy's not going to mulch that thing. Worm's the one that kind of has to do it. I wonder if Worm could take this on. Yeah, I got rid of the steel move thing. I wouldn't need that. Worm has a lot of special defense going for him on top of his massive hit points. He might be able to just tank this one without too many problems. But he is going to get hit twice. If it is a fire move, though, Karth will laugh at it. And then Karth will crab hammer it. But that gets rid of my icy things against the dragon... And I could lose Karth quite easily. Get in there, Worm. If it is Shadow Ball, then at least Worm will laugh at it. Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst. Its attack has sharply risen. And its speed is up, but that was kind of a given already. Let's hope Snorlax knows how to take this hit. What the hell is stored power here? It gets powered up by buff-ups, doesn't it? Well, hold on, Worm. Crunch that teapot. Whew. Thank you, Worm. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'd die, probably. Okay, thanks, Worm. Whew. All right. Hello, Kangaskhan. This looks nice and familiar. Kangaskhan is going to use Fake Out, so we're back to where we were, but we don't have the teapot anymore. That's actually an advantageous position from my point of view, but Worm is no longer usable. So, here's the downside. I can't use my fighting Pokémon anymore. I have to try either Krebsig or Brelix. Who is it going to be? Who's it going to be? Relics probably, because Krebsig would negate some ground attacks later on. Flying won't help against the fake out, no, but Relics' superior hit points might. Yeah, Relics is going to get hit pretty hard here. It's going to eat the sandstorm, it's going to eat the fake out, it's going to eat another sandstorm, and then it's going to eat two... Body slams with save type attack bonus. It's pretty bad. If I send in Krebsig, Krebsig probably dies though, so. Mm. But if Worm is there, Worm's gonna eat a power up punch. Actually, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Worm would just get faked out. Oh, yeah, no Sandstorm against Brelix. That's true. That's a great point. Get out there, Brelix. Yeah, Borg, but my ranks are really thin now, and it's mostly full of fodder. Uh, that was not fake out. Oh, dear. It sensed the kill against Worm and went for it. This is very bad news for Brelix. Fortunately, it was surprisingly weak. 
Alright, Brelix, time to prove yourself. This is why I buffed up your everything. What are we doing with you, though? Really? Power-up punch? Wasn't I going to teach you something a lot better than that? This is, um, dangerous. Why do you only have power-up punch? Wasn't I going to give you a better fighting move? Oh, well, this isn't good. This is very not good. Yeah, I was going to teach uh, Brick Break. Where'd it go? Did I forget to teach? Ah, oh, I must have forgotten. That's very bad. Uh-oh. Oh, well. It's the power-up punch race, and it's got a head start on me. We don't have stab on our one, though. Oh, that's pitiful. Brick Break was taught to the far fetch. Damn it, Kangaskhan's gonna be ready to sweep. I could go for the double edge, might be better. It's got 120 power. It doesn't have stab, though. Neither does fight, and neither does power up punch. The Bone Meringue hits twice, has stab, might do more damage. Yeah, Bone Meringue, it's all on you. Don't miss now. Because, uh, uh oh, it's going for the kill with the body slam. Uh oh, oh dear lord, Kangaskhan's here to sweep. Uh oh, what do I do against this? I got nothing, it's so powered up. It's faster than me as well. Yeah, it's fast enough and strong enough to kill everything in one hit, I think. It's got Earthquake and it's got Slam. We have nothing strong against its normal stuff. TBW might be able to eat... No, there's no way. That Body Slam is uh, three times powered up and stab. Even with your supposedly boosted defense. I think the best chance is TBW going in there and moon blasting it, but that's not a good one. Lepips, how's your defense? Surprisingly good, but I still think you would get uh, all consumed by a body slam. Maybe Karth can priority it down, but otherwise it's gonna hurt. No way Karth would die in one shot. Karth does have good defense, though. Very good defense, even. But Aqua Jet's very weak. I'd pretty much be relying on Karth surviving one hit and then landing something like a liquidation, but then Karth is useless. Karth would die on anything else. Mm. Krebsig is very slow. Pitiful defense, low hit points. You're the one that knows Brick Break, though. Wish I'd sent you out first. That body slam is so powerful. Karth doesn't have a ton of hit points. That thing is just so ready to sweep me up. Boron would just die. I think anything I send out would just die in one hit. Fly is, isn't is Fly so-so against Genghis Khan? I, I mean, it's 100% uh, against Genghis Khan, but uh, Krebsig would not have the time to fly. Krebsig is not fast at all. None of my Pokémon are fast. It's just a question of who we sacrifice at this point. Well, they're all going to die. TBW and Karth are the best ones to put out since they're most likely to actually survive something. TBW might eat a power-up punch, which would give you a chance to offload an attack, though. I'll give it a go. Oh, 
Well, there's that drain punch, TBW, make it matter. Oh no, it's going for the body slam, that's just a straight up kill on TBW. Straight up kill. And if it takes out 244 of your health, what's it going to do to everybody else? I stall for this. Sandstorm's doing nothing though, just look at it. Worm is already dead, so I guess we could just send him out to eat more of that sandstorm. Oh well, let's just make Kangaskhan even stronger while we're at it. On the plus side, I don't think anybody here is on their last lie. I think Vile Plume is actually. Also, Sandstorm's gone. What do we even hope to achieve here? This Kangaskhan can kill us all. Go, go, Aqua Jet! This is so painful. Swept up by the Kangaskhan. Well, go for that Drain Punch again. I don't know if Body Slam can ever miss. Seems like a sad thing to hope for, though. Dang, how could I have undone this, uh, this situation? I think if I top Brelix the... Um... The better attack? No, the problem was that he he bulked up immediately. Having Borum be what Mega Kangaskhan faced brought out, not the... Um, gave him that buff. That was the problem. I can't have Borum meet Genghiskhan. I need Genghiskhan to not use Power Up Punch the first time he pops out. I'm just very surprised. Why did he do that? Why wouldn't you use Flinch? It's free. Ah... Oh. I guess he anticipated that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need the household uh, kitchen waste bag here. Because Lapips is going out. They're a bit past their sell-by. They've been sitting in the box for a couple of weeks. I also hope I excel. Oh, that was... That was sad. That wasn't even rough. It was just sad. Okay, so... Vile Plume has plumed their last... And they get stored in the failures box. Carther, uh, Carth rather. Two strikes, one more, and you're out. The first of the BR Bros is out. Bye bye, TVW. You're probably going to be like, why did he even bring me into the fight? It's like, okay, who else would I bring to this fight? At least you have Fairy that works against one of our foes. Snorlax, you're turning into a liability here. Farfetched is most certainly a liability here. But Farfetch would have been a good choice to bring out against Genghis Khan because he wouldn't use Power Up Punch against you, I think. So you might actually survive one. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Can I even get to Route 12 spam? If it's open, I was not aware of that. Let me check. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I need Surf to get to Route 12. Could be wrong, but I think I do. Okay, what the heck do we do now? Well, I'm going to teach that fighting move to uh, Brelix, that's for one. You can bypass the Snorlax and you don't need Surf. Very interesting. But I think I'll pass on that regardless. Well, actually, I might need a Venusaur at this point. There's a lot of things I might need. Oh yeah, maybe the game makes you stop, because the, the game stopped me from moving beyond the uh, Snorlax just with a stone wall. Well, uh, a text that says, I don't want to go past here. What was that fighting move called? Be Breaky something or other. Brick Break. Oh man. That's on me. I thought I taught it for Brelix, but I was dead wrong. I was saying I might want Double Edge at some point. That's going to be better than Power Up Punch here. I already got Hitman Chan, it's already dead. I also got a Hitmon Lee, it's also dead. It all died to Giovanni. So many died to Giovanni. Alright, who else is going into the slaughter? 
Are we desperate enough to bring out the bugs? Could bring out Victory Bell. I think they're all right with special attack. Yeah, not quite as good, but as long as they do the same... Um, yeah, they can do the same as Le Pips did. So it's time for Bellcat to die. I mean, uh, contribute to the team lovingly. Who else is going to try their luck here? Hmm. Sea King is just utter garbage, right? Look at those stats. And you're nothing but water, which granted doesn't make you very weak to anything. I make you very strong at doing anything either. I was eyeing up Orlov earlier, and I keep getting turned away by your terrible moves and your awful stats. Flying avoids the ground, which also hurts your poison, so that's okay. Um, is poison weak to anything that's going to hurt here? They don't use grass or fighting or other poisons. Oh, well, no, those are the ones that are halved. Ground we can avoid. Well, you know what? Those types might make you useful here, Olof. We just need good moves on you. And that moves part could be the tricky part. How's your speed? Pretty good. You might be faster than Genghis Khan. Especially if I speed boost you. And uh, fighting is going to be quite weak against you. The question is, what can you do against Genghis Khan? I doubt you can learn any um, fighting moves. Mm. Ignoring the Genghis Khan, what else could you help with? Not a lot. Poison is pretty bad in this fight. Which takes me over to Nido Queen here, who is also poison. Poison ground. Since ground doesn't resist ground, that makes ground very deadly against you, so I'd rather not bring you in. Despite your passable stats. And your dark bite, of course. We should consider what to do about the teapot and how that turns into Genghis Khan. If we have a grass type out, they deploy the teapot. Why did they deploy the teapot? Because the teapot would buff itself up and then go for a sweep. If instead I have a grass Pokemon that can kill the teapot, we might be onto something. But that would mean I'd need a dark move on my Victory Bell. Do I have a dark move for Victory Bell? I don't think I have any dark, non-physical attacks. What are these things? Electric, flying, and steel? Dark, steel... Thief is a dark move. I also think it's physical. And it's not very strong either. Yeah, there it is. And whilst Bellcat can learn it... Yeah, it's physical. Oh, you've already got Knock Off, which is better. Still physical, though. But I bet that teapot's very fragile, and Bellcat has surprisingly good physical attack. Yeah. And that's where it dropped. I could actually drop your speed, keep both of those higher. I think you have Dark Pulse. I do. I didn't see it. I would like Dark Pulse, though. I would have noticed having Dark Pulse, surely. I've been looking for Dark Moves for a long time. Dark, 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 Dark. Oh, look, I've got Dark Pulse. Very cool, but you can't learn it. None of these people can learn it. I don't know who can. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that makes Bellcat quite versatile. Bellcat could take out the... Mm. Bellcat takes out the first thing, the Hippopotamus, 
with uh, with that green energy blast. I still have a special attack raised for it, I think. I don't want to take a risk on it. And then it uses Knock Off, potentially twice to take out the Teapot, and then probably Genghis Khan comes out. Genghis Khan is probably going to want to use Earthquake because... Well, is it going to want to use Earthquake or Flinch? I don't know. Probably would go for the Flinch, but I can't guarantee it. I doubt it would power up Punch, though. Replacing Mega with Giga. Yeah, I want to do that, but it's probably... Yeah, I, I should do that. What I'm thinking about is getting that uh, green energy blast power onto Bellcat. Okay, TM, use... Where is it? It's a grassy attack. No, it's not a bug attack. Energy Ball, that's the one. And it can't miss, thankfully. Also, Bellcat's going to get a level up, so it'll be even stronger. Right, Poison won't help us here, so goodbye, Poison. And there's no point having a weaker version of this Drain attack. Giga Drain, come to me. So Bellcat should be able to handle quite a bit of the early stuff. I'm just... I don't know what to do if... Bellcat ends up facing off against Genghis Khan. What would Genghis Khan do? I don't have an answer to that. I'd have to play it by ear. You don't, by chance, want to learn... I oh, Brelix wants to learn Ice Beam. Anything here worth dropping right now? No, certainly not. And you did learn that better fighting move, right? So I need to switch out Victory Bell to be a bit slower. Special attack up, speed down. More special defense down, they don't... No, no, let's not take that risk. Special attack up, speed down. Because I will probably still want to use some physical attacks. Area Guarantees to hit are not important to me because there are no accuracy up or down moves here. So if it's got 100% accuracy, it will always hit. Well, the only exception, I suppose, is if it's burrowing underground or flying, but the AIs have not been doing that at all so far. Also, rare candy for Bellcat. Bring you up to 57. Decent health on you, Bellcat. <laughs> yeah, the 4x Ice Beam is probably not so good on him, but I gave it... Well, I don't think I ended up giving it, did I? Um, right, so, Bellcat goes up first, murders the uh, Hippopotamus, hopefully, it might not, there is a chance of that, I don't like to acknowledge it, but there's a chance, and then murders the Teapot, which probably comes out next, then probably out comes Genghis Khan, maybe, not a guarantee. If Genghis Khan comes out, it's difficult, because if Genghis Khan is going to use... Uh, well, I suspect that Genghis Khan would use Body Slam or Flinch. If it's Flinch, I want Bellcat out. If it's Body Slam, I want Krebsig out. Well, actually, uh, do I want... No, no, why, what? What am I even thinking? Why would I want Krebsig out for a Body Slam? It'd probably hurt quite a lot for you. He would... Oh, he's going to use Power Up Punch if he's facing a normal Pokémon. So, it might be a better idea to switch Bellcat out with Brelix, and then Brelix can actually do some damage, and it will be one behind in the buffing up. So I think I'll still switch out to Brelix. I still need to bring in one more Pokémon, though. And I need something that's going to hit with ice, other than our Crab. Probably hit with ice. I've long forgotten how I dealt with half of the other Pokémon in Giovanni's team. There's that Steel Ground thing, and there's still the Dragon problem. We flubbed our way through the dragon problem before. I have to hope we flub again. I don't want to get my Eevee until I beat um, Giovanni, but if I really go down to nothing left, I might go out and get my Eevees and have my Eevee team. Snorlax with Belly Drum be an emergency resort. It ups attack six stages. For Snorlax to get Belly Drum in, he would take two hits guaranteed. 
One to belly drum and one before he does his next attack because he's so slow. And he wouldn't be a sweeper because he'd be so slow he would keep getting attacked, so it doesn't sound like a good deal. What can we still do? Oh crap, I keep thinking surely I have more Pokemon than this. I don't. I still haven't used Seedra for anything. Straight up water type. Decent defense, decent special attack. I could boost the special attack some more. But, uh... Oh! Oh! It's not same type attack, but it will be twice effective against the, uh, the dragon thing. And the dragon thing won't have your weakness. Special move, guaranteed to hit. You've also got brine. And maybe I could give you a priority move if it comes down to that. Oh well, Desmodor, I'm desperate enough to bring you onto the team at long last. I better give you that Dragon Booster. Seedra can learn Ice Beam too. Well, that's probably even better. Well, it wouldn't have Stab. It might not be better. Still, a consideration. Let's grab... Dragon Fang is probably better, but we should keep you around to use Ice just in case. There we go. Does everybody else have the correct items? Poison Barb is the wrong item. Get rid of that. Grab a Grass Booster. I'm sure someone has one. Miracle Seed. Take from the dead and give to the living. Expert Belt. Black Belt. Thick Club. Never Melt Ice. Dragon Fang. So we'll get you a Priority Move and an Ice Beam. Sounds about right. Nido Queen could learn Dragon Pulse if alive. Yeah, if only. I wonder if I have Dragon Pulse in my TMs. Alright, Ice Beam. Ice Beam is more powerful. Right, that that's... I didn't think it would be more powerful, but there we go. Alright, on you go. If nothing else, Dragon is not going to eat many weaknesses against uh, the enemy team here. But goodbye, Agility. Nobody needs that. And I'll replace Bubble Beam with a priority water move, just in case it all comes down to that. It's happened before, it might happen again. So we need to find... Yet again, the moves retrainer. God, this is so painful. <laughs> oh, Giovanni dead and gone. Okay. Can you actually learn... Oh, there's Hydro Pump. It tempts me, but it can miss too easily. Oh, you don't. You don't learn the priority move. Oof. That's a shame. Damn, don't tempt me with Hydro Pump. Uh, Alright. There might be a point where I just have to beg for it. Brine is there, and I'll replace it with Scald anyway. Yeah, I can't deny I'm tempted there, but I'll try and pass. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that being as it is, it might be better to give you the ice booster. It's not stab anyway, so I might as well boost the amount of ice you can do. And it'll be better to use ice anyway, because one hit of ice will get rid of its ice cover, and then who knows, Karth might go in for the kill. I also need to level you up. There we go. Don't mind the distortion there, that's just me speeding up the game to 1000%. Nice defense. Terrible, terrible special defense. Holy moly. But I gotta boost your special attack. And probably ditch your regular attack, because you're not fighting physical. If I run out of first gen Baron, it's over. I am not going into teapot zone. Well, I'm currently in teapot zone, but... We will... We will survive. Uh, where's the Never Melt Ice, who currently has some? No, that's the Everstone. That's Mystic Water. There's more Mystic Water. Who did I give Never Melt Ice to? Maybe it's in my inventory. Because there's only one on you there. Right, let's take the Dragon Fang away. 
and instead check our inventory for it. Meow. Never melt ice. There we go. One left and it's all yours. Try the second failure box. <laughs> oh, there's a hero's box, but uh, I took all their items already. Right, so let's... Oh yeah, change out the nature for you one uh, first. What do I want? Special attack up and regular attack down. I spent so much money giving Giovanni his lunch money and uh, having to switch natures. Okay, so Belcat goes in, hopefully roasts both the uh, the hippo and the teacup. And then Genghis Khan comes out, Brelix goes out. And Brelix does his best to brick break it. Brelix might not manage, but he should get two fair shots off. Should. And if that... Oh, man, but what if it power-ups for the sweep? Brelix wasn't getting hit by power-up punch, was he? Was he? He was, wasn't he? Ah, Christ. Then maybe I should deploy Krebsig. Because he's not going to be power-up punched, probably, because he's a flying type. At least I get one brick break in before he starts buffing up. I doubt he would use a fighting attack against a flyer, because fighting is less effective against flying. Krebsig might get one shot, though. That is a possibility. Krebsig just gets smashed with a body slam and dies. Krebsig's defense is poor, hit points are so-so, and that Genghis Khan is strong. Big risk. Big risk. Oh well, risk is what we have to accept around here. The thing is, I just don't know what he's going to do when he deploys a Genghis Khan and sees Bellcat. It is an option to just go down swinging with Bellcat, try and do some damage before Genghis Khan kills it, because even if Genghis Khan goes for the body slamming, that's good health and reasonable defense on Bellcat. You could at least get some Giga Draining, maybe have a bit of attrition going on with it, but if it power-up punches, that's a lot of problems for Bellcat. Well, for the whole team, actually, because Belcat will die, Belcat won't do a lot of damage, and then Genghis Khan will be fully powered up and sweeping the team. That's a problem. I wonder if he's getting into full-on sweep zone, should I bring a fast Pokémon who can uh, force it out? I could always switch Krebsig out with Firo, and give Firo uh, something that makes them get the other Pokémon out. Is there such an attack? Like there was Whirlwind in Gen 1. Because I can't handle a fully buffed up um, Genghis Khan. It doesn't matter if we yawn or not. If it one-shots anybody it comes up against, we won't get a chance to get anything out. What do you think, Red Crane? Can you do this for me? Is it even possible? Right, whoa, whoa, I'm not taking you off the team. Heavens, no. The, the biggest liability we have right now is uh, Farfetch'd, I believe. What am I doing here? Switch that out. Farfetch goes back into Strike 2. And we'll see if we can do something about uh, switching enemy Pokemon out with you. Again, if it were... Whirlwind is an egg move for Firo, so only after Sabrina... Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, well, I'll live in hope. Plot, pet, growl, focus energy, leer, pursuit, fury, mirror move, assurance, yeah, okay. Do we have any other move that forces the enemy to switch? Uh, roar? Roar forces the enemy to switch out, and you can't learn Roar. And I don't think I have any other fast Pokemon that can learn it, unless Eevee is surprisingly fast. any fast ones that no flip turn. The problem with the Volt flip turn is that it uh, it will be ineffective against ground, so I won't be able to flip with it. Oh, 
I don't think I'm getting anything here. Let's go and have a look at Eevee. Maybe, just maybe, Eevee can roar and be surprisingly fast. Sadly, Firo is not my answer here. Jolteon can roar. I don't think it's worth bringing in a Jolteon for this. Also, I don't have a Jolteon. I could, I suppose, go out and get one. EVs can be found on uh, Route 18, which I might have access to, but I also might not. Reasonable chance I might not. Oh, you're already leveled up. Oh, and those are some awful, awful stats. Wow. I thought the thing about Eevee is you give it Hyper Beam and it's a surprisingly strong Pokemon, but I guess not. Speed doesn't matter to Roar, it always goes last. Okay, well, that completely negates that whole idea. Well, we're back to our original idea then. Get out of here, Firo. On you come, Farfetch'd. There's got to be a better choice than Farfetch'd. He's so bad. Oh well. Eevee has a special Z move, that's the only thing I remember it being worth a toss for. Special Z move? What kind of Z are we talking about? Right, Bellcat, you're up front, don't let me down. You have what it takes to clean this up. Are bugs useful? Mmm. I don't want to rely on sleep, it doesn't always hit, and even if it does hit, there's a 1 in 3 chance that it does nothing because they wake up next turn anyway and then you just feel like a fool. You end up switching out the Pokemon that you want to deal with it, and it wakes up and kills that Pokemon. So it's just as bad as switching. Big risk. This is wiping out what little I have of Team Z. Why not rely on luck like you always have, Jake? Clearly luck's not on my side today. Fortune's a fickle one, after all. Right, last checks again. Never know when you're going to miss something. Miracle Seed, Expert Belt, Thick Club, Never Melt Ice, Never Melt Ice, Black Belt. Brick Break. The other Brick Break. Liquification. It's all for Kanot if you don't get your move in, Karth. Special Attack is up. Sleep-themed Snorlax might be a good build. Well, it's a bit late for that. Snorlax has one life left. And I'm not risking it on a new and uh, untested endeavor. Instead, we'll go with our widely tested endeavor of being slaughtered by Gianavi. Uh, also, if Snorlax is sleeping and the enemy buffs up, sweep a clock. See, Gianavi's just going to give up his Pokemon thing. He's making all the money he could need beating up Rita. That five-hit combo hitting Lapras was unbelievable. It was Lapras. Maybe it was Hitmon Lee. Whatever the case, it was unbelievable. Okay, Energy Ball to begin with, because it's the most powerful, more than Giga Drain. And Giga Drain wouldn't restore health anyway, so let's hope you go down. If this doesn't take it down, we're in for a very, very rough fight. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Just as planned. So, I suspect the teapot comes out now. I haven't read its name once, I just say the teapot. I will change that now then. It's a, uh, ex that's not the teapot. Why bring out Exedrill now when you brought out the Teapot against another Poison Grass Pokémon? Riddle me that. Well, this isn't going to work very well. What's it going to do to me? Where's my Where's my type chart? It's going to use Earthquake. 90% sure of that because of my Poison type. Probably. If it's going to use Earthquake, Krebsig will ignore it, but then what's it going to do after that? Probably something horrible. Yeah, Farfetch'd can, ig can ignore the Earthquake that is almost certainly coming. But what if it's going to use a Fire Attack? Doesn't it have Fire? 
It's a partial steel type. Yeah, so uh, our fighting will do some damage. But it might kill us. It all depends what it goes for. Get in there, far-fetched. Pray for the earthquake. Oh, no! Oh, dearie me. Well, it's doubtlessly faster than far-fetched. I can hope that you switch. It would be a new can of wipe, that's a given. Uh-oh, steel. I didn't see steel coming, that same type attack. And bye-bye, Krebsig. Oh, bye-bye, team, I think. I mean, Borm could get in there, but Steel resists normal. What is Steel not like? Fighting, ground, and fire. Brelix could get in with his Bone Meringue. Could certainly get in there with a Bone Meringue, assuming you don't get cut down, but that Steel is probably buffed up enough to kill Brelix already. Bone Meringue's probably better, hits twice. Earthquake's bad enough, but I didn't buff up defense on Brelix for just this occasion. Just this occasion. Come on, come on, come on. Focus Sash, but you hit twice with uh, Boomerang. Yeah, get the hell out of here. This is Brelix Town. There's a big problem now. I've lost my two fighting types, and Genghis Khan has not shown face yet. Oh. And I'm meant to do what against this? It's going to buff up and sweep. I could just double it. No, it's going to kill me anyway. No, it'll probably buff up first. So the double edge might actually get some decent damage in. And Brelix would die, allowing, Brel uh, allowing me to switch out for free. I hate to say it, Brelix, but uh, in death, you might serve me the best. Although it might go for the kill, in which case you're dead anyway. Oh my god, so many earthquakes. However, we know how to deal with Garchomp, kind of. Do we know how to deal with Garchomp? What was the answer before? Was it Karth? I feel like it was Karth. But I think Karth only swept up after Worm got stuck in there. I'm not sure Cedra is going to stand up to much abuse here. Yeah, you do have Ice Beam, that much is true. However, Karth has a more buffed up Ice Punch with massive physical attack, 187. On top of that, it's going to be buffed up by the uh, the extra attack stuff. It might be better to go for the Ice Punch here. You have Aqua Jet. I don't think Cedra did. Hmm. Could get the same stab from water since it's ground. Yeah, but Ice is four. Oh yeah, you make a good point. Liquefaction gets the stab. Think, think. Um, we're facing a dragon ground. Oh, water is halved by um, by dragon, so that's it's as good as using ice punch. And it's more powerful to use liquidation. Cedra has a dragon move, yeah, but there's no stab. I know it's four times weak to ice various, but it has a berry that halves ice damage one time. I might only get one shot at taking this thing out. Oh yeah, water is 1x, isn't it? Because it's doubled and then halved. Ice punch is of course the right answer. What are we thinking? Stab isn't enough to justify it. 
So 75... Okay, here's another question. See this ground dragon monstrosity. Does it have more special defense or more defense? What's its... Uh, what does it have there? Because it has low special defense, it might be good to get Desmodor in there to blast it away with a special attack. If anybody has Bulbapedia open, that would be helpful. It has slightly more defense, but just a little. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh my god. Mm, I'm not sure that's enough to justify using Desmodor's 140 versus uh, Kingler's 180. Kingler with Ice Punch followed by Aqua Jet might be the move. That's assuming it survives first contact. I think the best thing to go is with Karth. Karth has saved us before, they can save us again. Has a fourth move we don't know about. Well, let's not find out today. Uh, Ice Punch, get in there. Swords Dance. Not unexpected, it's preparing for the sweep. So let's hope we can sweep it. Excuse me? A hundred percent accuracy and it missed? I need an explanation here. Twenty percent dodge in a sandstorm. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's buffing up again? Well, here's my second chance. My second chance? Uh, oh. Luck for luck, Garchomp. Get out of here. This is Karth Town. Whew, man, that's what I mean with fortune is fickle. That might not be enough to win yet. We still have to deal with... Oh, well, not who I was expecting, but there you are. What does Polter Friend here do again? I don't remember. What are we better off doing? Switching out or just straight up killing you? Oh, no, he would he would Mega Drain Karth to death. That's probably the first thing you want to do. So it's better to switch out. It is better to switch out so you, get, you don't get drained. And I strain... Uh, change to Bellcat, and Bellcat uses a dark move to kill you. Yeah, knock off. The trouble is, Genghis Khan comes after, and I have exhausted my anti-Genghis Khan options. Mm -hmm. Believe. Believe. The alternative is, uh, I send him Worm, and Worm chomps it. And that means Worm kills it, and Worm is going to be facing off against Genghis Khan without Genghis Khan getting any buffs or anything in. Ben Genghis Khan will start using power-up punch against Worm. The question is, can Worm take it out in time? The answer is probably no. Worm gets one shot at Genghis Khan, and that's it. So... No. How'd you get there, Belkat? Please use the drain attack I was anticipating. Yes! Now, since I'm poison type, I think this hurts you? Why did it not hurt you? I was under. Maybe it's poisoned Pokemon that it hurts. Okay, show me that fire attack that you've been uh, hiding under your. Well, hiding under your something. Uh oh. Well, thankfully, that's going to lower your defense. So, hopefully, this kills you. It's not stab, but it's weakness. Doesn't it have Focus Sash? Oh no. It could be a problem, but it might not be. It might, even with that buff, not be strong enough to take out Bellcat. But it's certainly faster than us. It's faster than anything. Gotta believe. Oh, there's that Shadow Ball. If it's using that, it must be confident it's gonna kill us with it. 
It's the same type attack, and bye bye, Bellcat. Okay, right. Karth. We have a problem here. We have a problem here. And it's a problem you might solve with Aqua Jet. It's physical, you have a lot of, um. You have a lot of attack. You might win. You might. You're the only one with a priority move right now. I don't think Desmodor has one. No, and even if you did, which you don't, it's not going to save us here. Alternatively, Worm could go out and chomp it to death. But Worm would then get power up punched to death by Genghis Khan and leave us wide open for the sweep. Mind you, Karth has similar problems dealing with Mega Genghis Khan. Uh, I do not like what's happening with Mega Genghis Khan without my fighting moves to kill it. I have a hard time seeing how this comes together. And I think the worst thing it could do is actually switch out right now for Mega Genghis Khan. Because then it's going to lose all its um, defense debuffs. Which one's the fast one? Aqua Jet, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not switching. Hopefully it's dying instead. Down you go. Ah, jeez, I don't like this. Okay. What do we do? Ice Punch might freeze it. Liquidation should just do some good old-fashioned heavy damage. I might be forced to rely on heavy damage right now. I think we have little choice but to believe in what Karth can do for us. No freeze because of it. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. No chance on that. Slightly more power on Ice Punch, but Liquidation has Stab. And that's probably worth it right now. Get liquidated. Now he might slam us and paralyze us. 50% chance we paralyze. Another 1 in 3 that we actually get stunned. Oh, Christ, the fake out. How could I forget? And he's double faking me out. Of course. Uh-oh. Well, on the plus side, this won't kill me, but on the downside... Oh, no! No! No critting on me here! How about a crit of my own? That wasn't good enough. It's powered up. It's going to kill me with this. And then it's going to sweep uh, Snorlax. Well, the best thing I can do is Aqua Jet just to get some damage in. And kind of hope that it kills me with a slam. You know, crit would work as well. Crit, 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 No. That's good. That's good. We might win this. It hasn't fully buffed up. Even though it's same type attack, Snorlax should be able to crush it. Worm, this is your moment. You could be the one to flatten Giovanni. It's all on your Giga Impact. Accuracy 90. Accuracy 90. Alright, be the hero that we need. Also, don't get paralyzed, because that would be the biggest sadness. Oh, 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 no, 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 no! No! <laughs> it's all over. All over. Paralyzed out by Genghis Khan. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, surprise me, Desmodor, by being faster than Genghis Khan. I doubt it. 119. I don't think that's enough, though. Maybe if I'd focused you on speed, it would be a different story. But, whatever the case... I guess Brian is the best shot I have, but... Uh, there's that body slam, and it's triple powered up, so bye-bye, Desmodor. That hurts so much. We had it. We had it right there. And Worm just froze up in the moment. Ah.
Hey Jake, have you made that ROM? Is it good? I didn't make this. I'm getting made by it though. Oh. Oh, that was painful. Yeah, oddly enough, if I had Firo there, Firo would have been fast enough to get the hit in. Now, whether or not it'd be enough to kill, I don't know, but... Ah, that's very unfortunate. If I could do the same thing again, I'd win. But, we have now lost Victory Bell. Victory Bell's a damn failure. So cl ah, Come on, you drank people for me. You're a hero. Oh, you're a failure, Borm. Complete failure. The one time I needed you to do something, and you just froze up. Oh my god, Relics is down as well. Oh dear. Karth is gone as well. Well, on the plus side, Desmodor, who let me down there, is uh, only on the first strike. And Farfetch'd, having accomplished nothing of note, is now also dead. Okay, well, <laughs> it's looking a little dry on the Pokemon front right now. Hmm. Mm hmm. Jeez, I, I think my failures box has doubled thanks to just Giovanni. Uh, Giovanni. This is all we got left. I need to somehow pick out a winning team from these scraps. Uh, fight Paralyze with Paralyze, become the Surge Scourge once again. Well, something worth considering is that Donimo could be deployed against Genghis Khan. Steel will resist the normal attack and Levitate will resist its uh, Earthquake. What else did it know? Fake Out and... Um, I forget it. Oh yeah, Power Up Punch. Oh, Power Up Punch would destroy you because you're made of steel. Never mind. Um, 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 uh, how about we go on a hunt for some new Pokemon? That sounds like fun. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. Let's... Um... <laughs> Well, just in case we run into some enemy Pokémon, let's actually have a team ready. Can't go wrong with the electric types, both of them. And uh, let's get Golem back on the team. And uh, Darth there, on you go. And left to do. Yeah, it's risky, but I am out of Pokémon to fight Giovanni with. He's killed so many. Uh, we can bring people up to level 57, though. I should probably have Maharaja up front because he's so fast. There we go. North of the cycling road, left of Celadon. I can't go left of Celadon. I mean, I, I can try. This is uh, an unfortunate load of horse cobble in the ROM hack, but... If you try to go over here, you go, hey, yeah, sweet, I've given the guard a drink, and, oh, I think I better get Erica and Sabrina's badge. Ugh, I've got Erica's, but Sabrina, no. And Sabrina is still blocked by Team Rocket. No, cut the tree. Oh, okay. Oh, you're telling me that Scyther spawns here? Dexnav, confirm. Oh, Route 16. Um, my list of Pokémon says that there is no, uh, no Scyther here. Oh, in the den. Oh, I don't want to use the steel toilets. I guess it's an option. Oh, that's also Porygon. But I have another route to try. Maybe I can go fishing in the, uh... Hold on. Maybe there's something here. What fish are in Celadon City? Celadon City fishing gets you Poliwag and Slowpoke. Oh. Um, 
Yeah, that's also a shame. Oh well, plow on, Rita. Yeah, I'm not fussed about that one, Quinners. Right, so south of Lavender Town, surely my way forward. And I think I disposed of a lot of the pokey trainers around here as well. Let's get Maharaja up front. Shh, don't tell me that, Kaidas. I don't want to know it. We are going to feel the disappointment here. Uh, that's not a Gen 1 Pokemon. Alright. Uh, oh, right, if we're going to be fighting you, I should use something that's going to destroy you. I wonder if it's going to do that thing where we're stuck in battle with it as well. That was very unfortunate because it kept rolling out on me. But we should be able to destroy it. It's just as... I don't think anybody has fighting moves to crush it with. But why have fighting moves when you just... Oh, well, there we go. Hammer arm. Kaladin, you're up. For the first time in your life, don't disappoint me. I'd be grumpy too if somebody woke me up by playing a flute in my ear. Okay, it's only level 45. This should be a one and done affair. <laughs> and since we've already caught a Snorlax, we don't get to use another one. Worm is dead to me. Dead, I say. Can't ride on beat Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan knows Earthquake, which destroys. Uh, right on. Alright. Oh, well, we better go and get the badges. So, no. No Bulbasaur. No Eevee for Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. Well, that's not entirely true. I can evolve the one Eevee I have right now into Vaporeon. Which is probably the only... Well, no, I don't have fire coverage, and they do like using steel on me, don't they? And I've run out of fighting options, so fire might be my only option. Hmm. Well, I am legitimately out of Pokemon, so let's go and turn it into... What do we think? Flareon or Vaporeon? Jolteon's not going to help against these ground Pokemon. Fire is weak to ground, this is true. This is disturbingly true. Alright. I mean my party's full full of losers. Well, losers in training. Not uh, not Maharaja though, Maharaja's pretty good. Strike one. Oh yeah, Don Nemo is so good. Do we bring in uh, Porygon as well? Porygon's stats are not good. Very not good. But it can be taught just about anything, I think. Hmm. Could be quite useful in a bunch of situations. I wonder if it can learn fighting moves. Not that it matters, its attack is terrible. Hmm. Porygon is terrible, says Stankmon. Why is it so bad? It was the thing you saved up all your coins in the game corner to get. Why is it just trashed here? Route 10 Den has an Eevee. Ugh. I don't think I'm going to bother with the steel toilets. I just want my Mew. Everything else is going to be caught in the wild. Oh, jeez. <laughs> These used to be so full of Pokemon. And now it's... Oh. Hmm. The options are few. Well, I'm almost certainly not using Beedrill in this upcoming fight. Who can I use? You know what? It's true. If I had Firo for the last bit, Firo could do that last bit of damage against someone who is otherwise sweeping the team like a Mega Genghis Khan. Brave Bird does plenty of physical damage with same type attack. 
that might be good enough reason to have you on the team. But if you die, you're gone for good. Uh, uh, Magby and Elekid are not Gen 1 Pokemon, Shifty. Shouldn't matter on priority. Firo is going to be faster than that thing. Magmar and Electabuzz. Oh, they've. Oh, I had no idea that things evolved into them. Electabuzz won't help, and Magmar will also be destroyed by ground moves. So neither of those are going to help my, uh, help me out here. If I'm going to win, I got to win with what I've got here. Could Alakazam help me? Their body. Yeah, their bodies that'll die and buff up my foes. Your defense is awful, Al Alakazam. You would get earthquaked to death. Teaching Fly to Red Crane would be an idea, Jake. Eat away at your opponent's PP points. Again, I'm pretty sure the opponents have infinite PP. And even so, the battles don't last that long. Alakazam outspeeds everyone. It can counter-paralyze. Yeah, I don't think Alakazam's going to be killing that many folk, though. Well, that kind of special attack, it might be able to Ice Beam the first thing dead if it can learn Ice Beam. And then... then I don't know what we're going to be facing. Probably the... Um... Hey, just had a thought. Oh no, Worm's dead. Damn it! I thought Worm could crunch the teapot to death again if it gets deployed second. Okay, I might have to rely on Alakazam here. I've been saving him for later, but now is the later. Kaladin's just so vulnerable. But that is good attack. If you could just get one good hammer arm off against um, Genghis Khan, that would be good. You might even kill the thing with it. With that might attack. I gotta rely on you. I gotta bring the best. Mm. You know, oh my god, we took down the... Uh, we took down the dragon thing thanks to the Icy Claw. A critted Icy Claw, no less. Maybe Desmodor could still manage that for us. Maybe. Oh goodness, I've been going on for too long and just getting stomped over and over. It was two hours ago that I was remarking it's been three and a half hours of me getting stomped by Giovanni and I'm still here. Okay, Eevee into Vaporeon, Firo, Alakazam, who's going to start this then? I guess Cedra should have the special attack to Brine, no Brine isn't good enough, but Scald would be good enough. Uh, you would be able to scald the first thing to death. Unless I wanted to try my luck with something else killing it. Like Alakazam with an Ice Beam. That sounds reasonable. I actually quite like that idea. If Alakazam can learn Ice Beam. Still need somebody else in the team though. I don't have access to Seal yet. Ground would murder Tarther. He's a liability here. Oops. That was not an intentional death sentence for you. I wanted to get a look at your summary. If you have a Seedra, Vaporeon's kind of redundant, is it not? Pfft. If it can stand up to a bit of abuse, nothing's that redundant. But still, Rock Electric is four times weak to ground. I can't take you along, Tarther. Shame, because you got some pretty sweet stats. Hmm. No, I haven't got any shooker berries. Hmm. Butterfree, Beedrill. SNP is a bit of a tank, as I recall. Pretty pathetic special attack compared to Alakazam, though. Hard to justify your place on the team. <laughs> Yedrello? God, Seeking is so bad. I'm not sure why you would ever use Seeking. <sighs> Nidoqueen does have stats, if nothing else. That poison makes you weak to ground attacks. 
Yeah, you get one shot by ground attacks. But you could probably bite some of the things to death. And uh, instead of double kick, maybe give you enough an, a nice fighting move to use against... No, the Steel Pokemon know uh, Earthquake. I think they all know Earthquake except for the... Uh, except for the... Teacup, I think they all know Earthquake. Does Genghis Khan? Flinch. Slam, power up, punch, and earthquake, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not doing the toilets, Kaladin. I want my Mew out the toilet, but otherwise there's no way I'm grinding those. If I'm gonna beat Gianavi, it's gotta be with what I have here. But it really looks bad. It looks so bad. You know, Donimo could be useful. It's not going to get butchered by the fi uh, by the ground attacks at all. It's not going to be one hit KO'd either. Wait, do you not know Levitate? Your Levitate got replaced with Sturdy, didn't it? Uh, damn, I got a ability pill you there. But your special attack means if I give you something that can deal decent damage with special, we might get somewhere. Steel isn't good against anything we're fighting here. What would be good? Can I give you like an ice beam or something? We'll see what we can do with you on the team. I'm kind of out of options here. Another thought is that I could use Electrode against um, Genghis Khan. Electrode is faster, so it could use Volt. Oh no, Volt Switch has low priority, doesn't it? Doesn't it? No, I feel like it doesn't. I'm certain I've hit things with Volt Switch and I go, ha ha, your attack has been negated. So I think Volt Switch is okay. Uh, and then I can Volt Switch into something that's going to laugh at uh, an attack from the ground, like Firo. And then Firo can like fly up and hit you with Fly. Not sure to what degree that's going to help, but it would do something. Yeah, yeah, that might work. But I need some other moves on you, Maharaja. This is a big risk for you, Maharaja. Huge risk, even. No, I don't like it. It's very unlikely that I'll be able to have Maharaja against Genghis Khan. Unless another Pokémon has died, and that Pokémon will probably be power-up punched to death. Oh yeah, Brambles. This, this raw hack does not mess around. I'm not afraid to die for the country, says Maharaja. Perhaps, but there are better places for you to die than against Giovanni. I think Magneton might be the better idea. God, this team is so bad for taking on uh, Giovanni here. Okay, let's see what can be done with these Pokemon. First and foremost, let's get the bag out. Let's get our water thing. I'm sure I've got a water stone around here. And let's get Negi turned into a whoosh Vaporeon. Volt switch with a ghost mon that punches don't work on. We have no ghost Pokemon, none at all. We only had one and he's dead. Well we then we got another and he's also dead. Water gun is a really substandard water attack. It's barely even worth having here, but. Alright, let's level up Vaporeon and see what they can do for the team. Bad King Louie. We've lost almost every Pokemon of use against Giovanni. Better save while I'm at it in case I accidentally level somebody up too high. And let's get those candies out. Oh, Negi was already at uh, 56. That's handy. That's pretty good. Good health. Good special attack. Good special defense. Sure, we're not fighting against special. Everybody else is up to the task already. Curses. I need to teach Negi some moves. Well, if you're special attack, then I'll want the Ice Beam on you, won't I? Ice Beam's saving me from so many things. Kaladin can learn it as well. No, Kaladin's physical. Shouldn't bother with that. I'll keep that bite in case it comes down to it. Swift doesn't have priority. It just never misses, so it's no good. 
What else am I looking for? A good water attack. What's the best water attack I have here? Do I have any water attack? Scald. Scald is pretty strong. Tempting double edge, but... Oh no, no, I can keep double edge and get rid of water gun. You should be able to relearn muddy water on Vaporeon. We'll have a look at that then. Don't suppose anyone else can Volt Switch. Nah, figures. I'm really lacking fighting moves on the team now that uh, Farfetch decided to die as well. Terrible loss to us all. One thought is that if... Um, do we have low sweep here? Damn. Kaladin could have learnt low sweep to slow down the Mega Genghis Khan in order to get another shot in faster, but no low sweeps, no dice. Alakazam can learn Drain Punch. Exceedingly tempting, but I can't. You're not good with that. I wanted to see if you could learn Ice... thingamajigger. Ice Beam. No. Can Vaporeon learn Dazzling Beam? Just so many here. I... Numbers help, but here we go. No, but uh, you can. That could be very useful for taking out the, uh, the nasty guy. There's no point having physical on the team, I think, but there's also not much point having reflect at this point. I should get all the special attack type coverage that I need out of you. Sadly, the dark attack wasn't um, wasn't special, and also I wouldn't dare put you up against the teapot. Teapot would come out if um, if I had Alakazam take care of the first Pokemon, but that's too much to risk. I'd have to switch; it might buff up, and then um, pretty low on ways to deal with it. Priority moves? I don't think I have any priority moves here in my TM list. Oh no, we have Dark Pulse, don't we? Oh, but you can't learn that. What else can we be doing? Ghost is strong against Ghost. Kaladin can learn it. That seems weird. Claws made of shadows. That Ghost attack would destroy the teapot. Could be useful. What are we not going... I'm not going to be using Megahorn. Let's get that out of here. Oh yeah, Giga Drain. I forgot Giga Drain. Okay, well... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Okay, I need to take a swift water break. The pressure's getting too much. Ooh, that came out wrong, but... Just, just back away.
things. In a moment of lucidity, I'm left wondering how many actual shots I have against Giovanni before this becomes unsalvageable. <sighs> I forget what I'm looking through here. I think it's things with each Alakazam. An energy ball could actually be pretty damn sweet if you can learn that. He can! It wouldn't have stab, but... Hmm... Psychic is nice. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna have the opportunity to use recover. Kaladin knows flamethrower? I am surprised at that. And then there's the old brick breaker. But Kaladin knows something better. Mm. Oh, Negi can do a hyper voice, but I'm not sure that's worth anybody's time. And then my good old Ice Beam. Negi knows it, Desmador knows it, Kaladin could know it. Maybe I could give you... No, this might be as good as we can get. Where is Jinx available, Shifty? I didn't see them on my list of available Pokemon. Oh, you can boost your special attack even more. I like the sound of that. I gotta keep the bite to cover taking out uh, a cup of tea if that comes into it. Smoochum evolves into Jinx and is available at Mount Moon. Mm. Hmm, see, ice is weak against ground and dra- uh, no, I'm, I'm reading this wrong, aren't I? Ice is weak to steel, but not a lot else that they really have. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'd rather be dealing damage than taking uh, healing berries no more. I wonder if I should make you better with the Ice Beam, Negi. What would happen if Negi was up front? What previously happened when we had Water Pokémon as our first ones out the gate? Who did it switch to? I can't remember. Who did we used to s use to scald enemies down? I forget, I forget. Yeah, I could easily get mega drained by the cup of tea, and I don't have my grass type to switch out to anymore. But it wouldn't be very effective against Donimo. Why do I have Donimo here? Like what can you what can you use to help us out? So the ghost we're talking about. If you can learn some kind of dark move and obliterate with that, that would be handy. But I, I think you weren't able to learn that dark uh, ball attack, which makes me wonder why I even have it. That'll be for later Pokemon. Or is it Dark Shadow Shadow Claw? No, you can't do that. Galadin can, but Kaladin would get drank by that thing, so... Mm. I wish I had Pokemon here that would do Dark... Blast a dark pulse, but no. Just, just trying to imagine in my head how this one is going to be going down. Desmond, do you not miss Scald, or do you have something better? Oh, Brian definitely needs to be replaced with Scald. I thought I'd done that already. So somebody goes out first to deal with the uh, hippopotamus. And it's going to be Negi or Desmador. And then out comes the the Teapot. The Teapot will probably try to drain the water Pokemon. If you could give me an item that survives a one-hit kill, I'd swipe the floor. That they Yorkshire gold. That they are what? Kaladin, you have failed to be useful for this whole duration, and you are so slow. 
I'm just hoping that you can stand up against Genghis Khan and hammer it to death before it kills you. Berry for resist grass will still make it do double damage and you have Lex to no special defense. I'm a little worried about that teapot. I could do a U-turn thing against the teapot. Um, Desmador or whoever's faster. Oh, it's not Negi. Uh, Desmador could switch into something that would destroy the teapot. Don't know who that would be, though. Red Crane? I mean, you'd be fast, but... Maybe you can learn, like, a, a dark physical attack that would destroy it. Because it's weak to physical, so I obviously want to hit it with... Uh, what is it? Dark Cut? Dark Pulse... Thief is 60, but I thought there was another one. Taunt. I'm not imagining it, right? There was another dark attack. That might have been the one, though. Oh yeah, there was Shadow Claw as well, which you cannot learn. Dark Pulse is off the menu. No, I'm imagining it then. Thief will have to do. And you can be a thief. So if I did a bit of a switch turn and had Red Crane uh, hopefully destroy it with Thief, we might be onto something. Oh, Drill Run's not going to save me here. Then again, many of the others wouldn't either. Okay, so uh, I need to have the switch turn ability on them as well. It's up near the top, flip turn. Decent damage on it as well. They can both learn it. There you go, Nagy. Trying my best here. Ah, damn, I don't want to get rid of any of these. Oh, hang on. Nagy could just bite it to death if Nagy was up front. Nagy could uh, demolish the teapot. There's no need to worry about switching out like that. Huh. So Negi destroys the teapot, assuming the teapot comes next. Yeah, it has Giga Drain, sure, but Negi might be able to stand up to that. Also might not. Hmm. I think you missed it, but if you want an item to survive one-shots, so you can get one showing a match amp to chuck the, uh, the focus sash. They still die to the sandstorm though, so that wouldn't help us here. The teapot seems relatively fast, faster than Negi would be. But even if Negi does die, which I, you know, obviously don't want Negi to die, um, you could still get Red Crane in and uh, and mash it. In that case, I might not even want Negi out to die. Negi's got a lot of health. Decent special defense. I think Negi might survive even the Giga Drain. My question is, are you going to destroy the first thing? And I think you will. You'll scald it to death. Alright, alright. Putting a plan together here. Uh, Negi scalds the Hippopotamus. And then Negi... Uh, bites the teapot and then something comes out to ruin my day um, and we deal with it from there I'm gonna switch uh, I'm gonna give people items switch natures make Donimo levitate I doubt the enemy is going to use earthquake if we have levitate their AI is probably too strong for that which is a shame do I have sturdy says Kaladin I don't think so but even if you oh, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't mind the sandstorm, would you? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, you, you could be lightning rod. Or is sturdy a special ability for you? What is... What are you right now? You've been one shot before, so you're definitely not sturdy. No, you're rockhead, which is pretty useless. 
Magnet pool is not levitate. What? I could have sworn I was fighting a, one of these and they were levitating before. Ah, oh, man. The whole point of Denemo was to have you in and levitating. How can I... Oh, that's not good. That's the opposite of good. Denemo is not uh, going to be useful here then. They'll just die. There's an item that gives levitate. Uh, that's probably it. And I certainly don't have it, so... Never mind that. Hidden ability. Uh... I don't know, you'd have to check hidden ability. I'm, I have what, one bottle cap left. I suppose I could go and check. We're already in Saffron. Where is hidden ability guy? He was in some kind of big house. Or was, was it that guy over there? What did he do? Oh, that's a psychic dude. Oh, but while I'm... no, different guy. Or is it? Who is that? Oh, Liquidate. Ah, oh, I have good memories of having a Kingler that did so much in this fight, and now it's dead. Like so many others. Alright, so what's your hidden ability, Kaladin? Reckless. What is Reckless? Does anybody know? Might be worth it, because uh, you don't have any recoil damaging attacks to care about right now. Magneton's hidden ability is analytic. Power of the Pokemon's moves, da 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 Does not affect doom, desire, future sight. <laughs> Other things I don't know what they are. Increases the damage of recoil moves. Well, that's completely useless, unfortunately. Right, I, I think this is the bottom of the barrel completely scraped and I still have to throw it at Giovanni. Almost regret not giving Worm that uh, berry that prevents poisons. Uh, not poison, paralysis. Someone's going to point that out later. Then again, it could have been eaten up and he just gets paralysed on the next hit anyway, so it was not a foolproof plan. The more I think about it, the more I think that Donimo is not going to be helping us here. There's nothing... I, I just don't think electric types are fit for this ground place, because they all use um, Earthquake. Although... Although, Maharaja, unbelievably fast that he is, does no Magnet Rise. The enemy is almost definitely going to use um, uh, Earthquake on you. What are they going to do when you Magnet Rise? Trouble is, everything else is uh, not going to be impressed by your electric abilities. Can I teach you any other special attack moves that are going to help? Maharaja might be a savior here. I would have you Volt Switch, no doubt, when fighting Genghis Khan. Self-Destruct, no, it's not special. Hmm. I better give out the items then. Out of everything, Red Crane is more my ace in the hole than anything else, so I will give you a, uh, a flying attack booster. Who's got my current flying booster? Well, not far fetched, that's for sure. Oh, ooh, that's painful. I hate seeing you here. Did anybody have a flying booster on them? Perhaps not. Oh well, I shall deign to give you a sharp beak. You've got Twisted Spoon to boost your psychic attacks. However, 
Are you really going to be using psychic attacks? Maybe, maybe not. Negi's going to be using water attacks, so let's go and grab a water booster for you. Dead Pokemon as a water booster for us. There we go, Mystic Water. I'm not dead! Well, you soon will be. Kaladin, what are you here to do again? Fighting, I suppose. As bizarre as it might sound, I want you to use that fighting attack. Let's take that black belt. Although, is there anything else you might be using in this fight that I would want an expert belt on for? Ah, maybe the expert belt might be best on Firo of all people. Because Firo might end up using Dark, or it might be better on Negi, who might use Water, Ice, or Dark, depending on what they come across. Might be the best for Negi, that expert belt. Magnet on Maharaja. Troubling that Maharaja is going to be no use against anything other than Genghis Khan, and uh, even against the uh, the dra no the dragon's dragon ground. Oh God, you're useless against everything else. How can this be? Where's that expert thing? Do you think the AI will be able to recognize Magnet Rise? It might keep using Earthquake because of tight matchup. That'd be nice for me, but I'm not counting on that. Ah, Worm's got it. Worm was no expert. He doesn't deserve it. There you go. Okay, I need a, some way to make our beloved Electrode more useful in this fight. I want to keep Volt Switch. Could help me out. Uh, I can get rid of Light Screen. And that's it. What could you learn that's going to be useful here? It needs to... Not explosion! I'm not teaching it explosion. Although, to be fair, if it came really down to it, he could explode and save the day. I don't want to... He could use any other attack and save the day as well. Yeah, explosion is also pretty garbage. Return to grenade. What can we have you do? I doubt you can learn Ice Beam. Can you Giga Drain? Not that that would help us out here. Just throwing ideas out there. Hey, you can do Hyper Voice, but it's normal and that's not going to help us much here. Steel... You wouldn't have Stab, but at least Steel kind of laughs at Dragon-type, but it's a good chance of missing, which is dangerous. Psychic. Now I gotta, I gotta think about uh, special attacks here. That's what you're there for. I would have been very surprised if you could brick break. Mm, very bad, Callum. This could be the beginning of the, well, not the beginning of the end. More like the pre-credits roll of the end. I am down to my last few Pokemon, and they are not the best for taking on Gianavi here. What can I do? Can you kiss them? No, Maharaja can't kiss. Can you thieve? You can thieve. It's physical though, so I'm not keen on that. Mm. Unsurprisingly, you can't drain punch. Reflect, maybe? All of his moves are physical. Yeah, he can get in early, and they're not all physical. Le uh, the Mega Drain wasn't, the Shadow Ball wasn't. The hidden power wasn't. <laughs> I am energy ball. Why can't I energy ball? There's explosion. 150 normal damage. That's not very good. Can't shadow claw damn it. Can anyone? Bleeding shadow claw. Just Kaladin. And Kaladin is a dangerous one to think about using that. The slower the user. No, that's not how we roll. Can you Dark Pulse? I've been waiting on someone that can for a long time, and that's another no. Blash Cannon. That sounds about right. It's Steel, so... It's gonna be alright-ish against most things here. It's not Stab, but... Uh, that's promising. 
Dragon Tail. It'd be absurd if you could learn that. Kaladin can. And you know what? It's not the it's not the least tempting thing I've ever seen. Jiro Ball is more effective the slower you are compared to the enemy. You have over 200 speed. Not going to cut it. Oh, Kaladin's asking about learning Jiro Ball. I don't know what you would be using steel attacks against. More than your dark attack, though, that's for sure. And you can't learn it. Running out of options for you here, little Polish ball thing. I think it's going to have to be that steel attack. At least it does something. What if we normal boost and boost attack and use self-destruct? Should go a move learner, which is 250 power. But Normal boost and boost attack. How is that going to work? Right, no light screen. Bye-bye light screen. Right, okay, okay, okay. They all have items, right? <clears throat> sure looks like it. Expert belt, sharp beak, twisted spoon, black belt, never melt, magnet. I don't like my lack of ice, but this is about as good as it gets. And if these guys die, I don't know what I have left. Natures. Who needs a nature change? <coughs> Excuse me. That's not good enough, Negi. Um, I'm going to boost your special attack and drop your... Probably special defense. No, that's going to be needed if there's a Giga Drain coming. Um, drop your physical defense. You're never going to survive. Oh, drop your speed. We're slower than almost anything anyway. So Negi gets special attack up, speed down. Special attack up, speed down. Special attack up, speed down. Quiet little Nagy. Problem is, he's usually not quiet enough. I think everybody else is set, but better make sure. You don't use special moves, so I'm happy to see your speed buffed. It's all about the special attack with you. If I buffed your speed, though, you might even be faster than that other horrible thing we keep seeing. But it buffs its speed. So, really, it wouldn't matter. Once it gets its buff off, it's going to be ready to rock and roll anyway. What are you even here for, Asgal? You're not going to use psychic attacks. What are you going to use? Maybe I should boost your fairy attack instead. Because you might be what we need to take down that, uh, that nasty thing. Yeah, that might actually be it. I'll give you a fairy, uh, a fairy booster instead. Where is it? It's a weird pink looking thing, isn't it? Yeah, pixie plate. Okay. Any other natures? Lower Alkazam's defense, raise anything else. Why would I, uh, why would I lower his defense? His attack is good to lower because he doesn't use any physical attacks. That looks fine. That I guess is fine. None of these are physical, so that is also fine. Now that might be overkill on the speed. And I might be losing out on your physical abilities to just hit. So maybe I should boost your special attack rather than your speed. I think I will. Yeah, Maharaja gets his special attack boosted. Special attack up, attack down. This is this is probably our last shot. Once this goes down, no, it might not be. Negi's still fresh. Okay, Red Crane dies. Alexand Kaladin dies. <laughs> they almost die. Oh well. Let's just win, okay? Just win is all we have to do. Just gotta win. And the thing is, we've won three times against him. We just, just slightly didn't quite luck in. We got paralyzed, we missed. 
Oh, that sandstorm. Can we use a chat prediction? I don't see why not, you know? This could be the end of it all, which is sad to say. I guess I would sacrifice my Pokémon one by one, but I think this is the last serious shot we have against um, Giovanni. Uh, will this fight... Uh, will uh, will we beat Ianavi? I don't know how to spell his name. Is there two N's? Ianavi. this fight. It's a yes, and it's a no, and you only have one minute. Eh, I'll make it two minutes. And it's this fight, and we have to win, win. If it's somehow a double KO, we didn't win. Let's, uh, let's get that going. And let's see if we can't have that showing on screen as well. There we go. Gives me a bit of time to walk up to Giannavi and feel the nerves. Oh, right, this isn't where I go. <laughs> Nobody's got any faith. <laughs> Think of all the easy points, so if you vote for win, I've pulled more surprising things out my butt. Not much more, though. Last check. Negi gets in. Negi has massive special attack, so it will scald that... Uh, Hippopotamus thing to death. You could Ice Beam it, but Scald has same type attack bonus. Then out comes the Teacup, which you hopefully bite to death. And then we see where we go from there. Probably bad places. Got the belt, the beak, the plate, the other belt. Oh yeah, because you have that good fighting move. Never melt ice and Magnet for Maharaja. Ay, ay, ay. Oh well. Death or Dishonor. <laughs> that really is it. I can die here. Or I can still feel the Dishonor of taking so many attempts to fight him. Now I know there must be some people thinking they can eke out the last seconds to see how the fight's going to go. But nope. I'm not doing diddly squat until that timer runs out. So I'll just take a moment to limber up personally. Wow, 200,000 on my victory from Vokron? They believe in me, whilst uh, certain people don't. Yeesh. Good luck, Jake, but I'm going to enjoy my points, says Pandy. Okay, so only about a third of the points believe in me. Most people do, though. People without points, of course. Okay, this is it. At least we know damn near everything he can do to us. It's just that we lost everything in the process. If I could have Gengar or uh, Dragonite back. A freaking Dragonite, moan over. Right, fight. It is time for the Scald. Funniest thing would be if Scald somehow doesn't kill Hippod uh, Hippodon. Then the fight would be, uh, be taking on a whole different approach. Let's go. Even funny if Negi was somehow slower. Gotta kill Negi. No half measures. There we go. The cruelest thing I think they could have done was put a focus sash on Hippodon, so there was no way to stop that, um, stop the attack coming in with all the spikes. I'm surprised they didn't, honestly. Maybe they do on extreme. Okay, so one. Well, that that's hardly something that gets in our way. I don't think we've ever not killed it after the second fight. They do that in hardcore, of course. Oh, <laughs> that's cruel. Ah. Ah, that was not the plan. What's Genghis Khan going to do to us? Probably flinch. Probably flinch. Now, the question is who's going to stand up to that? I think Kaladin. I doubt it's going to use Earthquake, because that wouldn't kill Negi. And I doubt it would power up Punch, because it gets a free flinch. Now here's the problem, and it is a problem. If Kaladin goes in there, um, and it starts power up punching, we might have already lost, because it will, uh, yeah, I think you can imagine how that's going to go. 
So we need it to not power up punch. But if it were to power up punch, might not be the worst idea to have Azagal in there, surprisingly. Azagal can't take many beatings, but you're fast, and you would uh, you'd get a lot of damage dealt to it. Why would it power up punch against Negi? Probably because it couldn't kill it. It hasn't flinched in a very, very long time. Mmm, I don't like this. I feel a power-up punch coming. Let's we'll see what happens. That's enough. Come back, Negi. Kaladin, hope for the flinch. Oh, well, this comes first, of course. Maybe it evolves, then decides what to do. Nah, surely not. Surely not. Oh, thank God, we got the fake out. Right, now it's probably gonna... Oh, whoa, whoa, not allowed to do that. Now, the other problem is Kaladin has a 10% chance of missing with this attack. But if you don't miss, Hammer Arm is going to do a whole lot of pain for Genghis Khan. So, let's hope for it. Power-up punch is expected, but it shouldn't be deadly. We have good defense here. Despite that super effectiveness, I just don't like how it bul uh, bulks up. Next one might not even kill us, though. Uh, probably would, actually. No, we haven't... Whatever. Just hit it and kill it so I don't need to think about Mega Kangaskhan ever again. Ooh, oh, damn. Didn't kill. Now, here's a question. What now? It's going to power up Punch, Kaladin, most likely. So, we don't have a priority move, obviously. Uh, and you might well kill Kaladin, but you would not kill Red Crane. It would be half as effective and Red Crane would get the next move going in and kill you because it's faster. So I think Red Crane's time to, uh, time to prove their worth here. Or Red Crane dies and it ends up super buffed and then I'm in a lot of trouble. But I know someone who can deal with that, and their name is Voltorb. It's gonna body slam, says Sabletooth. You don't know that. Body slam is a normal type attack, and our rock type on Kaladin means that it would be not so effective, so it wouldn't kill Kaladin. He will not body slam. He will not body slam. He will power up punch. Now, Red Crane's defense isn't amazing, but like I said, it's only half as powerful against flying, and we are faster. The problem will be is if it switches Pokemon, which it might, but at least then its buffs are gone. So, Red Crane, you're in. Flying normal. Oh crap, you're right! Oh damn! I didn't think about that, but we're still okay, because Power Up Punch is really weak. Whew. Okay, well it's a good thing that I didn't hear that, because I would have hesitated. And this is no time for hesitation. This is time for victory. What do you think, though? If I roost, I get my health back, and he's probably going to die to the sandstorm or switch out. That's actually a very difficult choice. And it's very, very greedy. Also, what would he change for? If you roost, you'll lose your flying type. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Hmm. But if I roost, even if he attacks me, he might not kill me. No, we already did a lot of damage there. I could just kill him. Could just kill him. But if he takes, uh, if he takes Kangaskhan away. He might deploy somebody else, and that somebody else would be something strong against uh, flying. Who would he use that's strong against flying? Uh, electric, ice, and rock. He has none of those. He could bring in the teapot, but flying still hits teapots. I think we should just drill peck. There's no counter hit to that. Exedril, yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. Flying would do nothing against that. A 
dark thiefy move might work if he switches out for the the teapot. It would still kill Genghis Khan, and dark is good enough against anything else he throws at me. Although it's not stab. You don't steal the item, Kumochi. In uh, in this rom hack and boss battles, you don't steal items. What's he gonna switch to? Probably that drill excavating thing. Maybe I should anticipate his switching Pokemon with switching myself. Or we just go in all guns blazing with Brave Bird. All guns blazing! He didn't switch. Gotcha. We don't take much recoil damage because we didn't do much damage. I'm surprised he didn't switch. I don't know why he didn't switch. But uh, it's probably a good thing I didn't roost because then that would have been bad for me. In a lot of ways. Right, Exodrill. I don't like you. What would Exodrill... Oh, he's going to buff. He's going to buff himself up, isn't he? That's a bad, bad thing for me. Who can handle a buffed up Exedrill? Also, what's it going to use? What does Exedrill know? It knows a general steel attack. And steel wouldn't be good against water. But water is not so good against steel. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I might do well by bringing in Negi or Desmador. Because I think he's going to use a steel attack or buff. Azagal could get in and do some nasty psychic stuff. But I don't want to deploy my Azagal trump card so early. No, electricity does not work effectively against steel. It's just 100%. Switching in Negi's dangerous. Negi will get hit twice and die. I can't... I, I might just have to um, let Red Crane die, and I don't like that. Kaladin would also die here. Use Roost. I use him Roost. Here's the problem. If it just self-buffs up, then I'm just in a worse position than I am right now. Yeah, it's probably going to Sword Dance, and then it's probably going to sweep anything it touches. Unless we're faster, of course. I don't think it has anything that Negi's weak to, but same type attack ground is already bad enough for Negi. Alakazam won't be faster, Alakazam would just be sacrificed. But Negi is probably also going to be sacrificed at this rate. I doubt Negi can handle two hits from this thing. I'm just going to physically hit it and that's some low defense. I just don't want to throw Negi's life away. But it's still going to buff up. Desmador? <sighs> Steel resists ice, gotta remember that. How did I deal with you before? Oh yeah, fighting moves. And you know, uh, Earthquake, so Kaladin would die. Desmador has surprisingly high defense, though. Steel doesn't resist water, and I could certainly scald you. Or even Hydro Pump you if I'm feeling dangerous. I might have to go Desmador, although I don't want to. There's a lot of things I don't want to do about this. But I'm convinced a Sword Stance is incoming. Be the least of my worries, honestly. Oh, Iron Head! That's actually quite good, since it's not a buff, but I kind of wish I'd let Firo die to that. This could help me if Exedril can't kill Desmodor, though. Now, here's a question. Do we bank on the Hydro Pump, or do we Scald? Probably Scald, because Hydro Pump can't kill in one hit anyway, thanks to 
the focus sash, so let's just go with Scald. As expected, it's buffing up. Yeah, Scald could burn, which would be a big help. It does not. If it iron heads me again, even with it's buffed up, it might not kill me. I might try again for another Scald. If Desmodor dies, that's a damn shame, but... That's how it goes sometimes. It won't use Iron Head, says IKGDDR. Probably using Earthquake then, which would kill me. But... If it's going to use Earthquake, my Fero would not get hit by it. Might be trading Fero and Desmodor. Yeah, that, that's too big an if, but I think it's going to kill Desmodor here. Which gives me very few options for killing it. Uh, sorry, Desmodor, you got to go. There's the Earthquake, and I think that's the end of you. Bye-bye, Desmodor. Now, what do I do? It's faster than me. It's probably even faster than Maharaja. Probably. Is the sandstorm still going to be going on? Hmm. Maharaja would go first. And uh, steel is half against steel, so you might not be a great idea here. Yeah, that flash cannon's still not going to do enough against you. Probably wouldn't kill, let alone anything else. But I could get a Magnet Rise out. <laughs> Alakazam's got this. You really think Alakazam's got this? Who's faster? Al uh, Alakazam or that thing? Alakazam's got some pretty nifty 159 speed, but I don't know how fast that thing is. Anybody got some bright ideas? Because Alakazam could certainly finish the fight with his Psychic. That thing is not particularly fast outside of sand. You should be faster than it. Okay. So Alakazam's a reasonable shot here. Sword Stance buffed its speed. No, Sword Stance buffs its attack, not its speed. If Alakazam goes in there, the problem is it's going to bring out the Teapot afterwards, and I don't like the Teapot. I'd probably let the Teapot kill Red Crane, bring in Negi, and then have Negi take it out. Max speed at level 57 is 158 for it. I don't like those odds. Uh, electric won't work, Mr. Brambles. It's a ground type. Electric does nothing. We'd be risking a lot on Alakazam here. If Alakazam goes down, I don't have an answer to the other guy. But, uh... Let's pray. I think it's going to switch for the, the other guy, but I can't take the risk. Why is Psychic not weak? Yeah, not strong here. Oh, damn. Oh, double damn. Well, I could energy ball you. Doesn't miss. 100% damage. It's still special. Right, and he'll be expecting a psychic attack, which makes this so much sweeter. Die! Uh oh. Well, that was meant to be a bit more sweet than it was. It's going to hit me with that dark attack, which I do not like. So I need to switch out here. Maharaja gets to go first and would probably annihilate the thing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that ghost attack. But you do not, and I do not like it. Psychic twice would kill it for sure. Yeah, I won't get it twice. Well, actually, as a, I'll probably get another shot on it, but... Uh, I can't take the risk of hitting it with Psychic right now, because it could turn around and kill Azagal. 
Or can I? I'm probably faster than it. And I hit it with a 90 power non-same type attack. If I hit it with a 90 attack same type attack, it would probably do quite a bit more. Would probably kill it. And again, I'm probably faster than it. Mm. I don't have my booster on though, though. I have my booster on my Razzle Dazzle Beam. I'm assuming that same type attack is going to do a lot more here. T, I think, has decent special defense, and its regular defense is crummy. If this goes south, Alakazam dies, and that's a huge risk. Whereas, what am I risking by not doing this? It's going to bulk up its speed if I switch out. Potentially more than my Volt uh, Electrode, and that's too much to ask. Too much. Firo doesn't take damage from the Shadow Ball. <sighs> That's a good point. That's an excellent point, and I firmly believe it's going to Shadow Ball because it would kill Azagal with that. Firo is flying normal, and normal negates Ghost. And I'm definitely faster than it. I could go and swoop in with Brave Bird and annihilate it, and kill Red Crane at the same time, allowing me to pull out a fresh Pokemon. That's a pretty pretty nice move. Stab bonus of 50%. I can't risk it, but I can risk Red Crane's life. I hope it doesn't buff, though. If it self-buffs, that's a bad, bad, bad thing for me. Please, you Shadow Ball! No, that's the worst! Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Why? Why did it do that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's bad. It's gonna kill you. I mean, it's, sh it's speed sharply rose. It is much faster than us right now. It's gonna kill us, but it would kill us if we switched out anyway. Someone else is going to have to pull the fight through for this one. <laughs> oh yeah, Giga Drain makes Kaladin and... Oh, everyone really. A hey, uh, sitting duck. Right, Maharaja. You have 193 speed. That might be faster than it. But it might not. I could send you out. And you could... Um... It's very fast now, so Electro Ball won't do much. Flash Cannon might do something, but I should probably hit with uh, Electric. I could Volt Switch to something else, but I don't know what. It's about my only choice, I hate to say it. Unless I try Negi and hope that Negi survives, but it's had a sharp increase in Special Attack. So it would probably floor Negi. Giga Drain is not same type attack, but it's twice. Yeah, I can Volt Switch to Negi, but... Mm, Giga Drain's powerful. So it's a question, do I think I'm fast enough, or do I think that... Uh, hang on, if Maharaja is fast enough, I can Volt Switch over to someone that can just die for me. Someone like Kaladin, because Kaladin's going to die to Earthquakes anyway. Kaladin has served their purpose. And then I redeploy Maharaja and do another Volt Switch until I cleave the way through. But that is asking for a whole lot here. I need to be fast. And I debuffed Maharaja's speed, thinking, oh, I'll never need to be this fast. Also, you're getting your hit points back. That's pretty bad news for me. Don't Volt Switch, says Kaladin. Why? Giga Drain will drain Negi's life, but it might not, uh, it might not Giga Drain us. Also, Volt Switch is more powerful than Flash Cannon. The Stab, 
And my booster makes it more powerful. Giga Drain is a grass. Oh damn. Well this is this is a problem. Problem and a half. But I don't know what else I would do. Flash Cannon isn't going to do more damage. And it's so fast now. I mean, what are my alternatives to Volt switching to somebody else? Doesn't look like it might paralyze. Might lower special defense, that doesn't matter. Speed, what matters here? Well, I might lucky crit with the um, with the Volt Switch, that's another possibility. I'd flash cannon, he's gonna giga train no matter what. In that case, why don't I go over to Azagal, who has decent special defense? Nah, you'd still get des destroyed. Electro Ball, the Blasted Pot. That should have high attack. That's... Electro Ball does less damage than Volt Switch because it's, speed it's sped up. Mm. It's going to drink whoever we switch to. And that's the problem. Physical attack is likely needed to knock the teapot out. Is there anything else that it might use against us? It might not drink us. It might try something else. No, but it would drink whoever we switch to. And I don't have priorities on anybody. <laughs> As a gal, your time has come and it's not a good time. That teapot has half physical defense, a special defense. Yeah, but I don't have physical attacks here. It's all special. I can't think of anything other than Volt switching. EV, its max speed is roughly 150, so maybe, just maybe, the trick is to go over to Azagal and, and kill it like that. It's not impossible. Actually, I have an idea. I'm going to Electro Ball it and not switch out. Actually, Flash Cannon does more damage, but they're stabbed with Electro Ball. Stab it then. Oh god, it's faster than us! Well, that answers that. Oh Jesus, what? Who could have seen that coming? Negi would get hit with Mega Drain, and that would be the end of Negi. Also, Negi doesn't have anything. Well, Negi has Bite, I suppose. How fast is that thing? The teapot alone must have about 95, 6 speed. Well, more than that, so that when it buffed up, it became faster than Maharaja. Scary. Scary stuff. Kaladin would get drank before he does anything. Azagal would get ghosted. So, Negi, you are the last hope. I hope you can somehow bite this thing to death. There's the Giga Train. Bye, Negi. You're getting drank today. Bye, 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 bye. Whoa! Negi! Eat it! Probably won't be enough. It's not a strong enough physical. Oh my god, what? Defense fell. Speed sharply rose. Ah, oh, man. That wasn't good enough. That was anything but good enough. Yeah, Negi does have trash attack. And here comes the Giga Drain. So it's goodbye, Negi. Priority wouldn't win me out on this one. Ice Beam with a uh, solid state would have been the only unlikely way out. <laughs> True, but now we just die. Bye bye, Negi. It's not even worth drinking him, he just shadow balls him away. Yeah, Flinch would have, uh, but. Oof. Both these guys get drank up.
And there's no chance of missing with Giga Drain, which you would definitely use against Kaladin. And Azagal is def- yeah, I, I mean, there's no way out. It has moves for both of these, and it has tripled its speed. So unless we feel like Psycho... Yeah, how would that Psychic have done? No, no, it's going to drink Kaladin with Mega Drain. <laughs> it hurts so much. Oh, it's getting cocky. It's using Shadow Ball here. But I'm sure that's all it needs. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, there was one decision there that ruined it all. If I had used Psychic instead of... Um, of the other attack, I can't remember which one it was, we could have two-shot the, um, the teacup. Instead, I can't believe it buffed up. It was staring at the Psychic Pokemon and it buffed up instead of killing it in one shot with the Dark Blast. How did it know? Shadow Blast would have 100% killed Alakazam there. Same type attack, high special attack, weakness. I got outplayed. Outplayed. People are begging for their points right now. Begging, I say. Very well. Choose outcome. No, we did not beat Gianavi this fight. Ugh. God, I'm disgusted in many ways here. Let's see if I can't get the uh, the results out. I hate overdoing this. I like to just do it for the weekly one shot, but occasionally it seems like the right thing to do, and this is one such occasion. Let's get the window capture for what do I even call it again? It's something like poll results or prediction or yeah, prediction seems about right. There we go. Gah. Two million points won by those that understood that Giovanni is just too much. Young and Cylindor and Gpic and Pandy all coming away for voting the triple figures there. And the big losers were largely... Well, it was largely Volcron financing the lose lobby there. Ah, God, this stings. Okay, right. Do we have any, any way at all... Whoa, now. I think that's the wrong one to have there. There we go. Do we have anything at all that we can still bring into this? Without Gen 2 Plus, no ch- Well, we had a chance there with scraping the barrel mons. Unfortunately, three of them, including the ones that killed uh, Genghis Khan, are now gone. Uh, whoops. Oh, this is going to get confusing. Let's mark them first. You went down, you took your first loss, you took your second loss, ah, bye-bye Maharaja, and bye-bye Alakazam, we will never see Mega Alakazam. You're not even a hero, you didn't make it that far, Maharaja did though. God, where would we be without Maharaja? And yeah, Kaladin, you failed me every step of the way, how did you manage that, I don't know. Well, um... Hmm... Porygon is trash. Unbelievable trash. Orlov has nothing to bring to this. Seeking is terrible. Yeah, I definitely had a shot that fight. In fact, things were looking so good until that teapot buffed up. I never in a million years thought it would use that over trying to kill Alakazam. The thing is, it, I, I think it would be a completely stupid idea to attack with Alakazam, because if I didn't kill it, and I wouldn't have killed it, it could have just hit me with the dark, um, the dark thingamajigger attack, and then Alakazam is gone, and that would have sucked. Then again, I could have followed up with other Pokémon, but I would have been a lot weaker against the Ground Dragon. It didn't seem like the right move, but it still got me killed. If Alakazam used Shadow Ball, it'd be okay. Yeah, but I can't teach it Shadow Ball. 
Okay, okay, okay. I think I've got nothing left for this. I got nothing but wee trashy Pokemon who'd all just ritualistically die. <sighs> I'm not sure how this is possible with just Gen 1 Pokemon Elite 4, that is. Without permadeath, this is definitely possible. Hell, even with the permadeath, this is possible, but you'd have to you'd have to know and play a whole lot better than me. I was gimped early on from losing a lot of really good Pokemon inexperience, blindsidedness. I lost some good heavy hitters. Man, think I could have done with Gyarados around here. He'd be laughing at ground attacks, he'd be laughing at everything. Oof. Difficult. But I think this is it. I mean, it's it's already coming up for midnight. Oh, it's past. Jings, it's almost 1am. Uh, I'm going to have to push tomorrow's stream a little bit later so I can catch up on sleep. But I think this is the horrible end. I've been beaten by Giannavi. Let's, uh, let's go through everybody that contributed towards the team. So we're going to skip over Proto. They did nothing. So Orlov came in. What did they do for us? I Actually, don't we have a better way of looking at this? I think we do. Hold that thought. We can actually go on a trip down memory lane if I bring up the Pokédex. So hold, hold your horses there. Let's see what I can get going. Let's call this one Pokédex. Get Rita's Pokédex on screen. Get rid of my tabs. Nobody needs to see those. And the, the link to the Pokédex is in the title, so you can play along just by checking it out there. Uh, the music is going to be gone for the... No, actually, I can I can do away with the... I can make this work. I'll make it work. We have the technology. I just don't want to spend a lot of money. So if we bring this in, hopefully, you will also be seeing the Pokedex. Let's get Orlov off the screen. No one needs to be seeing Orlov right now. Uh, th this is going to sting for a while. I think it's the first time I've actually just lost on a long play, and it hurts. It hurts quite a bit. Okay, let's get the music back, because I, I want the music. I get nervous at background music, but I will throw you away. So, over the course of this, I put together a Pokédex, and some people, some more than others, have been contributing to it, helping me keep an eye on who fell in battle. Um, can we get some better music than... The Pokemon Stadium, actually. We've been... We've been in there a long time. Where has good music in the game? Not the cities. Oh, well, the sad music is Pallet Town music. We'll have that. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds... That sounds like we've given up on the Pokemon journey. Right, where was I? So this is the Pokedex. Uh, people helped contribute it because it's hard for me to keep track of everyone. And obviously it's not up to date for today's session, but I figured we would go through it and reminisce. Part of me wants to put a verbal pat on the back for the Pokemon that served me so well, and the others to scorn those who just fell to the wayside, even though it's all my fault. They could have done better as well. So, our starter was Bulbasaur. Uh, named Green Giant, very fitting name, but they died very early. Remember that first time we got blindsided by Faulkner in the museum? I wasn't ready for a fight. Back then I didn't even level up to the stat cap because I thought oh, it can't be that hard. And I got rolled. He completely chewed up Bulbasaur and the rest of the team. And Green Giant took further deaths to Arkin. And who would have expected Brock? I only use rock types to have an Arkin. And Misty Stormy finished off the job, so Green Giant's down and out. We never saw Charmander or a Squirtle. They were available in the wild, but the game has plot armor preventing us from going past the Snorlaxes until we get that Sabrina badge. We brought our Caterpie straight up to Butterpie, uh, Butterfree, and Super Pie survived. Although in this case, surviving is just an ultimate mark of shame. They were taken down by Arkin and... Uh, I, th I threw them out to die just to scout out Erica's gym, which was a good call, but Erica's gym claimed a lot of lives. Similar story for Weedle, straight up to Beedle for our Darth Air. Arkin consumed them, and then uh, Misty's frog, I don't know what frog monster it was, but it slaughtered Beedrill. 
Tenebo I always thought was going to be useless, but they knew Frisk and I could teach them Thief, so they actually ended up being one of my best Pokemon just for going and getting all the items and the nuggets that I needed to fund this operation. They didn't die, they're still stuck in the box, I would have never given them a third chance to die. My top tier Rattata, and to think we never got our Raticate, I was going to catch a Raticate uh, A variant in the wild, but never got that far. Consumed by the Aerial Ace, killed off by Misty, and slaughtered by the Starmie. But you know what? Ratata is a hero. And that is because Lord Bane stood up with their dark status and was able to take on psychic attacks. Very good. Wish I had Eraticate. Sad times. Red Crane as a hero? Well, they, they went down there, didn't they? It was close. Could have roosted, right? Well, it's a good thing we didn't roost. We probably would have died to... Um, Died to that Genghis Khan. Maybe not died, it was possible. But it wouldn't be taken out by one more sandstorm. Tough call, but you gotta make tough calls in the fights. At least Firo took it out. The MVP of all of this, Spangler. One of the only dark Pokemon we had access to. One of two, in fact. They took down Misty's Starmie. They sacrificed themselves for the team. They performed well against Lieutenant Surge with Sucker Punch. They were somehow the best in the team. They died to Surge's Bolt Hand, but didn't die the third time. It was the Mega Venusaur that took down Spengler, and I'm sure they're glad to have given their life. Baron the Pikachu, just so spongy. I had no idea Pikachu was as pathetic as they are. So I had to run out and get myself a Raichu for Dream, and they helped out quite a bit, but in the end, Rillabloom decided to kill them. A remarkable milestone in how much the rules of this run will be twisted just to survive. Grim. Rested Pandy was one of the earliest MVPs, if not the earliest. It is thanks to them, with the ability to defense roll and roll out, that they were able to take down, uh, I think it was both Faulkner and Brock. Whatever that, yeah, sacrificed against Arkin. Brock fight too. Brook fight? Ah, uh, we'll leave the typo there. It's for the better. Sadly, he was crushed by Havika Volt in Lieutenant Surge's fight. Straight up to Nidoqueen for Monochrome, they achieved nothing of value, and they died against uh, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu for no reason. I think Andarius wanted to be a hotshot, he's like, I'm the Nidoking. Nidoking is the Gen 1 Pokemon, great stats, easy to buff up. Uh, no, you led the charge against Surge, but you died, died, and died some more, and you were so cowardly, you didn't want to be deployed. I think that's what did you in. My first attempt at Sweeper Keeper was Pizza the Clefable. I learned that uh, Cosmic Power could stack up pretty nicely. Unfortunately, Heldin crushed you, then Surge crushed you, and then cr Surge crushed you some more. So you didn't get to live out much of a life there. We caught a laughably weak A Ice variant of the Vulpix. Uh, Surge crushed it, and then Erica crushed it, and then Erica's Superior crushed it some more. I learned how poor Ice is as a type defensively. Thanks to Detour, and Detour says that Vulpix and Ninetales are their favourite Pokemon, so I hope they enjoyed dying as their favourite Pokemon. TBW stole two Moonstones for us, the biggest contribution that Sticky Fingered BR could ever do, and whilst it's not really shown here, they got knocked senseless today. Orlov lived on, crying away in the box because I couldn't find a good use for Golbat. Poison Flying opens yourself up to a lot of punishment, and Golbat isn't that great. But it's Orlov. Orlov's a bit of a princess around here, and they will be treated as such. Married off to secure an alliance. Oddish to Gloom to Vileplume. Oh, I had such high hopes for Vileplume. And they performed admirably against Giovanni, but it was not enough. Otherwise, they failed to achieve much, although they did get consumed by Rufflet. Rufflet swept us with that aerial ace. I was disgusted by it. It really opened my eyes to just... Uh, the difference in power between some Gen 1 monsters and beyond. Maybe I'm just sour from the experience, and that's why I'm saying that the the other Gens are power crept to hell, but it certainly feels like it. It feels like I'm fighting a losing battle the entire way for this. But I wouldn't have it any other way. I am so hard-headed about Gen 1. I don't care about Gen 2 and beyond. I don't have nostalgia for it. I look at them and I think they're stupid. Gen 1 also looks stupid, but at least it's my Gen 1. So, it's like having a baby, right? They're all ugly, smelly, horrible creatures. But when it's your baby, it's the best one in the world. Probably. I wouldn't know. Any babies I've had around here, I couldn't stand. 
Right, but let's not cloud over Rakusa's accomplishments. There don't appear to be any, so what a shame. Slaughtered by Starmie, slaughtered by Floatzel. They just died in all three fights against Misty, although I do think they were integral in getting us along through that fight. No fight with a boss I was going to make it through without taking some losses. Not sure if I did any of them flawlessly. What a shame. Uh, Venonat into Venomoth. I couldn't believe it. I never even considered Venomoth before. In Gen 1, I think you caught a Venonat in the Safari Zone? If not, then you're about it. So it's kind of late and you don't want to switch out your party by then. So you'd never bother with a Venomoth. But here, amazingly versatile, came a hair's breadth away from Crushing Surge. It was so close, but that one turn wake up twice got us killed. Katak, you're very special to me, so thanks for trying. Well, thanks to you, we were able to carry on beyond Surge. Okay, Diglett into Doug Trio. Fast, I think they're very good, but in the end, surprisingly, Doug Trio in Gen 1 is just what you get to win against Surge, but here, Surge cleaned you out. Killed by the Bolt Hound, although you did slow it down with your hair. But I think that was still one of the fights that didn't work there. Beat Surge's Mega Evolution Menek trick with one hit point left. Worth remembering, that was our first encounter with a Mega Pokemon and Doug Trio took it out. Still failed to net the win. Meowth, my early money bag. Ugly, mangy, slaps Pokemon to fill up the coffers, and it was tactically sacrificed to figure out the tag battle. We never got a Persian. I wanted a Persian. They're in the wild beyond... Uh, if I could just beat Sabrina, I'd get Surf and go and figure out the rest of the world, but we couldn't. We just couldn't. Uh, Psyduck into Golduck, they're dead. This isn't updated, but they uh, they also didn't accomplish much. I think I had a Mistfire on Golduck at one point, but yeah, they got dazzled to death in Sylphco tag battle and otherwise didn't do a whole lot. Mankey to Primate, my early fighting type, but uh, no. Rufflitted, Mighty Enid, and surged away. But he did kick the crap out of Brock's Onyx and live to tell the tale. Most people don't tend to survive their encounters in the boss fights. Growlithe into Arcanine. I've heard from people that take Arcanine all the way to the end, even on this brutal mod. But unfortunately, we were a little too keen to use Outrage in that tag battle. That was a complete miss... well... Not a misclick. I wanted to see how effective Outrage would be, but it turns out if you just click Outrage, it counts as using it in a tag battle. I wasn't happy with that, and I'm sure neither was Chumro. They died for it. However, they managed to take out that grass monkey that Erica had in one shot, so good job, Chumro. Wow, Polyrath did so much for us today, beating up Kangaskhan's, and it's not even here in the Pokédex. I'll have to fill this out later. People deserve a fleshed-out Pokédex. But that was Paxam's claim to fame. Azagal, what a wasted Alakazam. I believe it's the Gen 1 Pokémon. I didn't get it mega up. And it just died horribly to the most buffed up teacup in the world. Then there's Moss Maurice, the Machamp. They were pretty good, but honestly they didn't accomplish much apart from when they were a Machop, when they took down Mighty Ina. And of course they kicked every ass on Nugget Bridge, but rando trainers are nothing. Don't forget I bench pressed Giavabi's Nido King with my Ice Punch. We'll all forget you, Moss Maurice. Other than that, uh, Mighty Ina beating up. You couldn't save us, you couldn't become a hero. Ah, Bellcat could become a hero, because we had a very hard time with that Floatzel, and Weeping Bell drank it to death. And, on top of that, despite being on their last life and deployed against Erica, they survived to tell the tale of it. Very happy with Bellcat. Such a shame they had to also die. Tentacruel, we got them early, and they died early, and they died finally here without accomplishing much. Sorry, Rosa. Surf another day in another game. I've been very unhappy with the Golem. I thought, um, Rock Electric Pokemon sounds amazing. What I didn't think was, okay, everyone seems to know Earthquake, and that's going to kill you. You're four times vulnerable to ground attacks, and Rock Attack makes you drank by several other attacks. You were just a liability, and we could never put you to good use. However, we did fight, uh, pit you against the Snorlax, and... Despite almost dying, you did bring it down and get it caught. The golem was uglier than Sin. But was it uglier than Meowth and Rattata? Grabbed ourselves a Ponyta. It was a very flamboyant uh, fire fairy type. Yeah, says right here. Does it? No, it doesn't. Anyway, destroyed by Arkin, destroyed by Mytina, 
and kamikazed himself to take down the fighting dojo's Lucario. I've had very poor fire coverage all game, you were my best shot at it, and we suicided you in the dojo thinking we'd get ourselves a Hitmonchan or a Hitmonlee, and we didn't. We fought that dojo for nothing. We got an expert belt, but that doesn't help us out too much. Damn you, Borm. You had one chance to save us, Borm, and you freaking dropped it. Okay, Finboy, early one coming along, achieved practically nothing, too slow to be of note. Mag- okay, Magneton, Donimo, the absolute MVP in the tag battle against Silphco, the only Pokémon we've ever had that scored a double kill. Now granted, one of those was our friend, but that doesn't matter. You really made it matter there, I was very happy to see it. Although I can't believe you got wi- uh, what's this? Wishcash? Oh, Wishcash is one of the Pokémon, but uh, Water Ground Pokémon slaughtered you. Because I thought you had Levitate, but you don't have Levitate. There's a lot I need to figure out in this game yet, and I probably never will. Ugly, horrible, angry, fighting, flying variant of Farfetch'd. I hate it, I never want to have it again. It's slow, it's not very strong, it's, and it barely learns any fighting moves, so no to that. Dodrio was our answer to speed until Voltorb came along. And it did save us from Budget Heldon, a.k.a. Brendan, and uh, unfortunately, you were hoodwinked. I thought Dodrio would have it in Erica's gym. How was I meant to know how priority moves work when they only happen if you use this move when the environment's are full of grass? This game is... this ROM hack is definitely made for people that know the game inside out. I clearly don't. Someone was asking about Seal. We had no access to Seal. Uh, to Seal. I imagine we get that if we were able to clear out and get Surf. Grimer into Muck, our si uh, there we go, our sick sock. I thought uh, Muck would be really good for us. They were pretty strong, uh, and they actually managed to destroy Serperior, but the focus. Oh my! So this is the thing: you play through this, you don't know the game very well, but you're figuring it out, and you think I've got it, and then you eye up a Pokemon, and you're like, I've got you. You hit it with everything you got, and it goes, ah, 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 I have Focus Sash. And you go, oh, okay, and now that you haven't killed me, I am going to hit you, and kill you, and I'm going to get some buff-ups in the meantime, and now I'm sweeping you. It's so painful to deal with, especially as a blindy, and I am very blind here. But that was part of the experience. It was kind of enjoyable as well, coming across so many things, so many unknowns. I was hoping for kind of more of the experiences with uh, Faulkner, and I kind of got that with Mighty Ina and the tag battle. Shifty into Cloyster. Now I like Cloyster. I really like it as Pokemon. Strong defense, a rare case of getting ice in Gen 1. And hey, it was the first thing that we ever got defeated in the wild. Marowak killed it, and I think it remains the only Pokemon to die in the wild. That's how we should all remember Shifty Theory. Here's one of the more painful losses. I got myself a Ghastly into Haunter. Unfortunately, it also died to the Aerial Ace and the Mighty Yina, and it got slaughtered by Misty's Lantern. I bent the rules a bit and I said, well, we may have lost Haunter, but we're not going to use Haunter, we're going to use Gengar. We got one, and it was very strong, but unfortunately, you deploy them, you hope you win with them, but occasionally you get blindsided and down he goes, three strikes and he was out. It was the only ghost type of type of a Gen 1. It's really good for bringing in to dodge those normal and, I think, fighting attacks. But three strikes and they were out and we could never do it again. I'll miss you, Aether, our Gengar. I won't miss our Onyx, though. The last thing I saw before Archer's Mighty Eno wiped the team. You failed to do anything of note because you're really slow and useless and pathetic in every way. Uh, SNP? Drowsy and Hypno was better than I expected, but still just not good enough. You look at Hypno, and you look at Alakazam, and you think, why would I ever use Hypno? They're a bit tanky, but I need things that actually kill around here. Kingler. Kingler, our Karth, uh, destroyed all expectations much stronger than I expected, and you kicked so much ass in that Giovanni fight. Losing you was one of the more painful things to lose in that uh, slog against the boss, except for all of my money, of course. Uh, there's also would have been an Aloan Marowak, which is Ghost Fire in Gen 1 Ghosts. Yeah, if we'd caught that Marowak that uh, actually managed to kill our Cloister, then sure, we would have had, would have had Ghost Fire. Probably would have been more useful than Heldon. Uh, not Heldon. Sorry, when I think useless, Heldon comes to mind. Would have been more useful than our Brelix, but I didn't know that. 
Sir and I already had our Marowak by then, so too bad. Oh man, speaking of people that came out of nowhere to carry the team, Maharaja, our Electrode, MVP in the Silphco fight, brought down Mega Charizard of Helden. That Helden fight was tight, but thanks to Maharaja we came out on top and Maharaja was the sole survivor. I believe you were down to 13 hit points as the Starling, was it a Starling? I think it was. Desperately tried to kill you, but couldn't quite make it. Ah, another another Pokemon that we sorely missed, and newly respected. I had no idea it could be so fast. Execute just straight up died, although... <sighs> getting, <sighs> getting tired from all this reminiscing, but we're two-thirds of the way through. Glad to have served the cause. There we go, Maharaja. At least you have the balls to voice it. People should be proud that we stood up to Helden and beat his ass black and blue every time we saw him. Right, the rolling N, our Execute. I was really hoping to get exec uh, Executor. I thought Grass Psychic would be a pretty good type. I didn't really know any better. Uh, unfortunately, you got... Uh, well, you sacrificed yourself putting down that Leech Seed onto Rufflet. Um, <laughs> and then R can have you for breakfast. And Stormy wiped you out. Sadly, you could not grow up to be the Great Executor. I don't know if that's a level uh, evolution or a... A grass stone? Leaf stone? Something stone. The green one. Brelix, our Cubone, part of the disastrous BR team. Ice punch to death by Heldon's Electrify. Who would have seen the ice punch coming? Well, Brelix did, and it's the last thing they saw on their first strike, and then they just continued to die without achieving too much. That Bone Meringue. That Bone Meringue helped us out in a tight time, but... I did you dirty. I was meant to teach you that break wall fighting thing and I didn't, and for that you couldn't stand up to Genghis Khan. I'll go back and watch the one time you dipped your toes in Hardcore Pool before jumping back into the kiddie pool. If we were still playing Hardcore, uh, well, for one I would have wiped out before I'd gotten to Brock. I don't think I ever would have managed to beat Falconer, and uh, yeah, Permadeath would not be working there, which means we would play without Permadeath, which I don't think would be as fun. Knowing that this loss was possible, helped keep it fun for me, because otherwise it's just, oh, well, I didn't do it there, but I'll just do exactly the same thing and maybe not get unlucky paralyzed and win. That doesn't hold an appeal for me. There needs to be something on the line in these kinds of situations. Anyway, we got a Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. They haven't been filled in because we got them today. I didn't think I'd be able to get them, but turns out they evolve, and I gotta say they performed so much better than expected. Uh, if I hadn't had them die so early, I think having them around would have secured the win against Giovanni. Maybe the problem with Giovanni was I had it staggered so much. Every attack had some good Pokemon and some garbage filler and should not be chosen Pokemon. Unfortunately Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan were great for it but couldn't quite do it. Hitmonlee kicked so much ass with fighting moves and Hitmonchan had so many different things they could do. Ah, uh, I miss them both. Wish I could remember their names, but I don't. YouTube Scrub, our lick -a tongue nothing but a sacrifice. For some reason they were infatuated with pizza. But they were they were sacrificed against Surge, and sacrificed against Surge, and then sacrificed against Surge. They're, uh... It's a lot like when we got YouTube Scrub and Death Road to Canada. Just cast aside whenever we could. No coughing and no wheezing. There's a wheezing with Top Hat, the British variant, but we never came across it. Kaladin was very insistent on being Rhyhorn into Rhydon, and unfortunately, even though you hit like a truck, you get hit like a truck. I had no idea how vulnerable Ground Rock was but you get drank like crazy. Water and grass just destroys you, and those Giga Drains were unholy against you. No Chansey, no Tangela, no Kangaskhan. I wanted a Kangaskhan. I even had the thing that would mega evolve it, but I couldn't get to Safari Zone, so it was not to be. Man, I could have used those tricks against the enemy, the double power-up punch, the slamming for paralyzing with same type attack. Ah, I feel it, it's kind of dirty. You fight Mega Evolutions as early as Surge, and even at Giovanni and Silphco, you don't get one yourself. Although, maybe it's somewhere and I've just been missing it and people have been too cruel to tell me its location. There we go. Calden, you did your duty, but you died on duty. Desmodor came out of Cedra. I looked at Cedra and thought they'd be rubbish, but uh, they're, uh, they prove pretty good with special attack. It's just pretty good doesn't cut it around here. Seeking was garbage. I mean, maybe there's some niche way to use Seeking, but the stats are so, so bad. I also misspelt the name. It's meant to be Yedrello, not Yerello. But honestly, 
And I deserve to be remembered, because they're just so bad. They were just a throwaway Pokemon to scout out, and they should never amount to anything more. No star use, no star maze. I need a better fishing pole or surf for that. Mr. Mime the Cursed JJ. Funnily enough, when we deployed JJ with his uh, ice attacks, he was actually pretty promising. I got the screens up and I thought that would save us, but I think we got buffed out, and sadly that killed JJ for good, so um, that didn't become an option afterwards. Very sad. Um, there was no Scyther, no Jinx, no Electabuzz, no Magmar, no Pinsir, no Taurus. I think all of those are things we would get at or around the Safari Zone. And I think they're all pretty good, so that sucks. Could have used, could have used a lot of that. Could have used some ice. Could use some fire. Right, Magikarp into Gyarados. Wonderful. Got it early. Unfortunately, underperformed at every opportunity. Lantern destroyed you. I think was that Lantern the electric type? Whatever the case, you went down. Starmie took you out, and then head smashed by Erica's pseudo Wudo. It hurt. I think I brought you in for ice coverage, but I don't know what that pseudo Wudo was on, but it crushed you. We got a Lapras. For a long time, I only called it Lapras. Uh, deployed every time. Oh my god, that was another one. I was so poised and ready to destroy that dragon Pokemon, and it hit five times with its dragon attack and murdered you. That... Uh, it's been a lot of bad luck. I mean, sure... Luck comes and goes, and it can seem a bit petty to blame it on luck. But there's been a lot of bad luck fighting Giovanni. A lot of fights where we've won, but one bad luck thing killed us off. Lapras getting five struck. 15% chance of it, and you got five struck to death. Ugh. Well, that's how Rudels went down. I've been given a comment in the YouTube uh, videos about when I get my Ditto. Uh, ditto. When I get it. Uh, to give it its hidden ability so I don't waste a turn with transformation. Well, that's never gonna happen. Negi was desperately turned into a Vaporeon and even that wasn't enough to save the day. Vaporeon's kinda crap, lots of hit points, but uh, pretty weak and spongy. And very slow. My god, how can something that looks that fast be so slow? I guess that's the thing, you're the special attack one, you're the speed one, and Flareon's the don't bother with one? Not even worth thinking about Power Gone. Protozimac was terrible. I I can't I almost can't believe it. Why does Porygon exist? Normal type, nothing special, very low stats. Why? Why would you have it? I think it learns Hyper Beam in Gen 1, which is a great move because if you kill with it you don't need to recharge. But still, awful. Sad I didn't have the chance to die for the cause. High school all over again says Protozimac. <laughs> it was your choice to be Porygon, and a poor choice it was. Omnistar? Well, we learned that Omnistar is faster in water, but that wasn't enough for you to carry us, to be us. And Kabuto into Kabutops. Still alive, still sitting there. You know, maybe, just maybe, I get a second win and, and bring it all back with Joseph, but I sincerely doubt it. Very cool Pokemon, I like it a lot. But unfortunately, dual type hurts in a lot of ways, you're just open to so many weaknesses. Same type attack is not worth the, the pain of eating. I mean, look at this, this is four times weakness to grass, you're weak to fighting, uh, you, you balance out your strength against electricity, it's nasty stuff. Aerodactyl, Sabletooth, very good. The MVP, Aerial Aced Erica's Mega Venusaur and Meganium and Serperior all to death and lived. It's not often you get deployed in a boss fight and live. It's Probably never that you beat three of their Pokemon and live. It doesn't even bounce out. Rock isn't resistant against electricity. What? Okay, well I am. I am bamboozled here. Maybe it's because in Gen 1 I'm used to rock and ground being side by side. Uh, we got our Snorlax. Worm. <sighs> Snorlax was so good. I had it. I had Giovanni beaten. And then we got the... Uh, we got the something percent paralyze on Worm. And then Borm got the 1 in 3 stunned, and then Borm died. All you had to do was not do that, and we'd won. But you did, and we lost. And then we had wipe after wipe after that. Borm, I see you in a different light. A different, very disappointed light. I did so little, says Worm. <laughs> ah. 
Uh, right, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Mozart. Could he still be alive, hiding at Nintendo HQ? We don't know. And we never will know, because we didn't get the legendary birds. I'm moving my mouse across this, and you can't even see it. Because if I tab over to this, we lose the uh, we lose the sound of the game. Terrible, but I'll keep the sound. Uh, Dratini to Dragonair to Dragonite. I expected so much out of Dragonite, and man, you got kicked in. Now, Dragon Flying is a pretty good combination. I'd probably just rather have Dragon, though. Uh, Dragon balances out against a lot of weaknesses. And you're pretty strong, you're a little slower than I'd like. And you hit pretty hard, but it just, it didn't come together. Uh. Oh yeah, this was the big problem. Dragonite fell asleep against Heldon, and that's when I thought that fight was over. But it was over for Heldon. Uh, you fell asleep, and then Charizard, who was just big and up in the sunshine, melted you. Your only claim to fame is how shiny you were. No Mewtwo, no Mew. And that is the end of Rita's Pokedex. I wonder how it looks in the game, actually. Because honestly, we came across and caught so many of them. Could we get rid of my Pokedex? Yeah, let's look dangerously. And load it up in the game. Uh, wow. 131 Cantos. What have we not seen? Uh, we haven't even seen a Squirtle, or a War Turtle, or a uh, Blastoise. Didn't catch Eraticate. God, I, if, I'm not even sure I filled out my Pokedex in Gen 1. This might be the most I've ever done. Never saw or caught a Persian. I wanted to see how ugly that ma uh, mangy variant is, but now I never will. Look at all these. Uh, who comes after Dodrio? Who comes after Dodrio? Man, there was a time in my life I could name every one of the 151 Pokemon. Uh, Seal and Dugong. Never saw them. Never caught them. Uh, down and down and down and down and down. Uh, never saw nor caught Executor. Never caught Coughing or Weezing, but we saw them both. Uh, 113, 114 for Kangaskhan. Is that Tangla? Uh, no. Yes, it is. It is. It's Tangla. It's Tangla and Chansey. Never saw either of those, because no Safari Zone. Didn't catch Kangasan, because no Safari Zone. And that... Ah, oh, it's so bothersome. If we didn't have that just wall of can't go any further, could have gone and gotten some better Pokémon. No Star You or Star Me. I think I get these two switched around all the time. Mr. Mime, that means following it is probably Jinx, Magmar, Electabuzz, Scyther... Tauros, and Pinsir. Out of all of those, we only saw Electabuzz. And oh, was that Heldon's one? No, he used some other Electa thing. What comes after Lapras? We didn't have that. Um, what does come after Lapras? Ditto. We didn't see any Dittos there. Eevee, Vape Joel, Porygon, Omnistar, down we go. And then we get down to the Mystical Realms. Well, I don't think there's anything... Uh, Alright, no, we can't scroll down further here. What a shame. No Articuno, no Zapdos, no Moltres, no Mew and Mewtwo, but damn! 131. You know what? We'll go and speak to Oak. Maybe he'll have some some words of consolation for us. We tried. We tried so hard, Oak. Now, to be fair, he wants us to go and find every Pokemon on Earth. And his Pokedex was empty when he gave it to us. You even have the evolved forms of Pokemon, so, <laughs> so after a hundred Pokemon, he goes, wow, you know how to evolve them. Yeah, not gonna happen, Oak. Alright, that concludes this long play. A very sad way to end it, but you know, it's like Bob Ross says, you can't have the good times without a bit of sadness, and uh, oh, we certainly got the sadness in bulk over this. It was great fun. Um, who recommended this to me? There must have been someone that said, try this. I must, I must check. I've got a list here. I make a lot of lists. Who suggested a Pokemon ROM hack? Uh, huh. Pokemon Blue Kaizo was suggested by Napthus. Now, we didn't end up playing Blue because we found this better version. Um, but the whole idea of this came from Napthus, so thanks to you. Their original pitch for this said, Pokemon Blue with some fixes and more difficult. No X items, stat boosts, moves gotten a lot later. 
Technically doable with Nuzlocke, but only if you're feeling particularly insane. And all that advice still still works for Radical Red here. And it's been so much fun. Let's just get the music back, because I miss it. I never imagined I could have this much fun playing Pokemon as an adult. As a child, amazing, mystical game. It'll always have a soft spot, but I could never go back to Gen 1. It's awful. It is just objectively terrible. But this, this is so damn good. And I'm very happy to have, uh, I'm not happy to have lost, but I'm happy to have given it a shake. I wonder if I could, hmm, no. I was thinking I could do it for a mod game, but it would be very long, and I guess people would just figure out the winning solutions and do that, and that's not what the mod games are about. Ah, okay, that does it. It means that we're going to have to figure out the next long play. This one went on for a long time. I thought I would die much earlier than I did, but... We're here at Stonewalled by Silphco's Gianavi. I'll prepare a vote probably for tomorrow in the evening. I'll figure out what we're doing then. For now, i got to rest up. It is quarter past one in the morning. Cheers, everybody, especially all the Pokemon and especially my goddamn heroes. But that's it. So until later, it's a cheers and a cheerio.